that sounds awful. A uh, patrician TV. I hope they put him in jail for having, uh, you know, this opinion about this game developer. Like I, okay, this is this is. There we go. And we are live, Mr. Sessions. Oh boy, it's been a while. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, folks. Mm -hmm. Me and Pat are here, celebrating our. <sighs> It, it's complicated, you know. Mm -hmm. We got divorced, but we still we still endeavor to be friends. Well, that was for legal purposes. Mm -hmm. Actually, it turns out that being married in the state of West Virginia has some serious downsides. <laughs> it was actually funny because we were gonna do the we were gonna do the stream yesterday, but I had a snowstorm hit me, so I had to delay it because I was out yesterday shoveling for two hours. Any context? I mean, I had a snowblower. We'll but... talk about the context. Don't worry. But yeah, so. it's been five months since our last stream. Uh, we were going to, we were talking about, get this, this was about like almost exactly a month ago. I pitched you on like six stream ideas I had. And then uh, something happened. What happened? What happened? Refresh my memory. Refresh your memory. Chat, do we know what happened? Do we have to talk about what happened? A lot has happened. Yeah. Uh, Enshrouded came out. I played mm. like 50 hours of that. I have 100 hours. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to anybody who's waiting on my Starfield video. Uh, Enshrouded might have deleted a few days. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Please make sure to spend your Valentine's Day with somebody that might be a little lonely. <laughs> uh, yeah, I pitched you on six streams. Tez 3MP stream. Halo co-op stream, a WoW area tier list. This would be after we played. Uh, Alpha right. Protocol stream, uh, Metal Gear Rising stream, and uh, getting you to play the intro to Dark Souls. I don't remember that last one. Yeah, those were the six streams I pitched you on. Uh, on Weren't we going to do another Halo tier list stream? What's left Isn't in tier there? list? Uh, multiplayer maps. Multiplayer maps. I can't speak on too much authority with that, though. Hmm. I forgot. Who was I talking to about that? Might have been Salty Shrimp Pasta. I think he said he played it a bunch. Yeah. I mean, I've played it, but I couldn't, like, off the top of my head, rattle off multiplayer maps. I just... Don't get me started. <laughs> uh, wait. Alpha Protocol's being uh, remastered or something, right? Or remade? Mm-hmm. But they still haven't announced it. Weird, ain't it? Oh, we're oh, weird... they revealed um, we're they weird... revealed avowed, or more yeah, avowed, anyways. More avowed. Yeah, they're doing an looked... Xbox thing tomorrow. You know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. They're well, doing like a podcast. Gonna be... Yeah, I think they're just gonna clear the air over like what's going to be multi-platform and what's not. No, no, no. So apparently, let's, let's be clear here. Not... I did not decide against doing Alpha Protocol. Something happened five days after I pitched all these stream ideas. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they're clearing the air on what exactly? Um, their video, their games going multi-platform, like Microsoft mm -hmm. basically throwing in the towel, being like, "Yeah, we don't want to be like a, we just want to be a games publisher at this point." Dude, like Sony, they, they Sony can do so the hardware hard. thing. We got Game Pass. Like, fuck it, YOLO. Uh, and, and I want to stress, you were there, and I was there, for the pre-Starfield Xbox era of just mm -hmm. unashamed con overconfidence. You know, I mean, these people these people <laughs> completely were completely unearned. Yeah, I mean, you know, the way these people talked, Xbox in every home. You know, everybody will have played Starfield. Everybody at your they job will Xbox be having one for reason. Will be having water cooler moments talking about Starfield. What happened to that? Why aren't we still uh, talking about Starfield? We're still talking about Baldur's Gate 3, and that came out a month before. Um, I don't know. So I tried looking into... Because I remember hearing, like, a few months ago that, like, uh, Microsoft's Surface Division was doing poorly. And that got me thinking that maybe they, uh, they just want to get out of hardware pretty much entirely because Microsoft is notoriously fucking terrible with hardware. But sur <laughs> like the surface was literally one of the only things that's ever gone right for them, it seems. Yes, 
That's what I've that's what I've heard. I thought actually thought about getting one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think everybody's considered getting a surface at one point or another. So, yeah. But I couldn't find any news articles about that, so maybe I'm just misremembering. Well, but the whole... there's definitely there's definitely a disconnect between what's going on in Microsoft's gaming division and what's going on with the rest of Microsoft because Microsoft right now is flying really fucking high. Like they're mm-hmm. beating out the tech, the rest of the tech industry and stuff. Like their stocks climbing. They hit three trillion market cap a few days ago. The same day they <laughs> laid off nineteen hundred people at Blizzard and yeah, Activision. But listen, that was pre-planned. Okay. God, they, they do that every year. They cut it so hard. The FTC came in and cried foul. Yeah, like that's that's impressive. That you had uh, you had people at microsoft calling up uh jason schreer asking Mm -hmm. if they still had a job because he had knowledge of like the cuts before anybody else did before they did which is funny because he covered it he um sat on information about the gamer moments that were going on so he could write his book (laughs) so i don't know why they why they trusted him with that uh unofficial role but yeah, uh, post Starfield, Microsoft had quite the uh, quite the fall from grace as a as a gaming publisher. Mm. Mm. And you got the Microsoft fanboys literally having existential crises right now. Yeah, the uh, d- dude, they were fucking like. Some of these people were had to be, uh, you know, wellness checks and stuff called on them. Like, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and sure, you could say that some of them were dramatizing it, but I mean, like, law of averages. There's got to be at least one person that just, you know, really? laid in bed yeah. all day, got to process the news that Starfield might be coming to PlayStation. The, the world's worst buyer's remorse. And then, like, I fucking bought an Xbox One Series X, and but, I played one game on it. You want to talk about buyer's remorse? Mm-hmm. I'm not sitting here saying that uh, the world is going to end because Starfield's going on the PlayStation, which the leaker who claimed that back tra- like backpedaled on it and said mm-hmm. that he uh, he mis like misunderstood the information that he was given, and it looks like Starfield will not be going multiplayer. Which immediately said to me they seeded that rumor in order to test the waters on how the market would receive that information which was that mm. the xbox fans had a fucking existential mm. crisis and the playstation fans didn't care because it's starfield yeah <laughs> because it has uh it had a mostly negative recent review score over oh. christmas time and they had yeah. to fucking discount the game 30 percent. it's climbing back up again Oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, you know, th- listen, they're, they're getting the patches out. It's going to be they back up to added, 76 levels by the time your video comes out. I doubt it. But they, they <laughs> added FSR 3 support. Mm-hmm. They fixed the vibrating clouds. I sent you that article, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to my video. It's so funny. When you have the game journalists like s- making snarky snipes at Bethesda for taking fucking forever to just, you know, do anything, add like quality of life features. Well, like anything, it, anything. This, it's just, this all goes back to what Elminster told me, which was that their own official support for the game might be a logistical clusterfuck based on how they've structured it. Mm-hmm. Like Starfield might legitimately be a house of cards that they're having to like slowly take apart again, just to <laughs> add in basic things. Which is, you know... Uh, it might be interesting. You should look at where, like... Where was Skyrim at at this point? Like, wasn't <clears throat> Dawnguard already, like... Didn't we wow. already know what was up with Dawnguard at yeah. this point in Skyrim's lifespan? Well, uh, uh, fucking apparently Shattered Space is supposed to come out this month. This month? That's what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, for one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what the hell it's about, you know? Six weeks, guys. Come on. Every six weeks now. Remember. Mm-hmm. So Starter pistol. So do, do we do we start counting the six weeks? Was it like the, the patch that came out in January? Do I start counting from then? Or do I start counting when they did the beta release? You got to count from which beta, was like, beta updates. These are big. These are big quality of life updates. 
Yeah, yeah, quality of life updates that had no quality of life improvements to it. And then they delisted the fucking thing. So yeah, <laughs> that's the Microsoft front. Um, thankfully, I'm out of that game. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I got dragged right back in because they decided to buy the next company that I was uh, going to cover the game of. Oh, man, I, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I literally can't escape Microsoft. I mean, well, that's because what they, happens they, when they buy half the fucking industry. I quit. I quit on ODST to go to Elder Scrolls. They buy Elder Scrolls. Quit Elder Scrolls to go to uh, go to Classic WoW. Guess what? Guess who's there? They're gonna buy <laughs> so the my, whole fucking industry. One of my and then, theories. And then die. One of. Oh yeah, they're gonna. That would. That would be great, honestly, if they just bought everybody out mm -hmm. and then just died. We just had a nice, great reset. But um, one of my one of my theories was that uh, they are doing the multi-platform thing to like put the FTC at ease. So when mm -hmm. they buy another like when they buy like EA next year, is EA they'll have even like ammunition in court. Like unironically, and... who's the next biggest company that they could even buy? Probably could... Ubisoft. Actually, it, it it's a toss up between Ubisoft or fucking ea I ea think. was just complaining that their 125 million dollar game that they showed us once before releasing it uh didn't succeed <laughs> which game was that are you guys gonna play halo or no don't be silly we've got one big topic we got to talk about yeah we're just we're we're, ge we're waiting we're giving people time to come in you know mm -hmm. you got to work up to it so uh 114 I pitch all these stream ideas. What happened 5 days later? Um I went on this really nice hike. Mm -hmm. You got uh, a new camera? It, it was it I was snowing. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a new No, I didn't have the camera by then. But but uh yeah, I went I went on a nice hike and right before literally I'm in my driveway uh, about to leave. Right before I'm punching in like the GPS information, my fucking Discord starts blowing up. And I'm like, all right, what the fuck's going on? I got like six pings at like once. Before you I'm say, like, okay, this is keep going, keep going. But before you say it, I got I got my own part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was getting all these pings and stuff, and I go and I check, and I was in disbelief what I saw. <laughs> yeah. So at the same time, I was lying in bed. Uh, I had a sinus headache. Okay, it felt like my head was going to explode. No, it. There was just a lot of pressure in there, and the way you resolve this kind of particular issue is blood flow. Uh, mm -hmm. you get your blood flowing so that it goes away from the part that's swollen up. That'll relieve the pressure. And uh, same as you, I started getting Discord notifications. Um, something had happened. What happened, chat? Please, somebody. Okay, fine, I'll stop bearing the lead. Never Knows Best made a, a faux documentary about Emma Pagliarillo that was actually like a, just a takedown video. Yeah, now, and then the next day I, I retired in quotes. Now, Patrician, please inform the class. Why did Never Knows Best make this takedown video? Until we get Never Knows Best on a podcast to talk to me where I can ask him the pertinent questions... I think I'll die not knowing the true answer because because I've bounced back and forth on what the re on the what the real reason is. Okay, right, so let, let me ask you this um, before you continue: Are you still on Team Trap? Um, no. Was I ever really on Team Trap? Okay, and that's not me. That's not me walking it back. Team Trap is the most charitable interpretation of what's going on because the alternative is that he's just dumb. Right, like, at least with Team Trap, I'm, like, complimenting his intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we said it when, when you proposed the Team Trap idea. Mm -hmm. uh, that it was implausible, we said that it, it was made in too short a time frame. We both said it, though, that, like, we would have to, like, just give him a crown, because that yeah. would be the most incredible troll in the history of the internet, basically. Mm -hmm. But he only made the video in three to four weeks. And it was two hours and 17 minutes long. So that kind of eliminates the possibility of it being a trap. Because I had that much time and I came out with 13 minutes and it didn't fool anybody. 
yeah. <laughs> so um, he made this video, and uh, a lot of things were said in this video. Oh, their drama stream. They're... Well, what w- what's going to happen is we're going to be probably be asked about it a lot, and so we're just going to talk about it a lot. But we are going to yeah. play Halo eventually. Yeah, eventually. It's we'll it's. We're only 15 it's been, minutes it's in, been guys, five probably. months it's been five months we got to catch we, up with the chat we used to just yeah. be like a chatting stream okay we're not we don't yeah. usually play games that is true I, I was thinking about that i was like wait i have to play on a patrician stream i'm used mm-hmm. to just like showing up and just talking for six yeah, just, hours just hanging out for eight hours yeah well yeah speaking of long streams uh we'll get to that so yeah i put out retirement.mp4 as a response hopefully you've seen it but uh I know a few people haven't because they didn't want to like click on it and find out what the fuck the context is. I don't. I, mean, I don't I, blame you. You said, like, hopefully you've seen it. You mean me? No, I mean the chatters. Oh, chatter. Yeah, yeah so it's like I. Yeah, I paid to watch the video. Yeah. I had to give it the approval. But yeah, uh, retirement.mp4 was basically just a response to the most serious parts, and then because, mm-hmm. and I want to stress this, the EFAP that would come from this whole situation was going to happen before I even knew it was going to happen, right? Yeah. They were looking into whether or not they would were going to cover it on their streams before Rags even reached out to me. <laughs> and even if I had said no, they I, still, they still would have done it because cre- there's no... Kratosis would have to be catatonic. <laughs> in the hospital <laughs> to not go on EFAP. <laughs> so I, I knew that was going to happen. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stem the bleeding, do the quick retirement.mp4 video, and then we're going to do the EFAP. And I'm going to say it right now. EFAP number 270, one of the best streaming performances I've ever done. It, dude. And it's like, it's a progression like that. It's a journey to watch that one because, like, uh, after a point, you got you guys start talking about like what what like the crew thinks about the video and they rank it and they're mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's like a three or a four. We've seen this shit before. It's not until the last hour where the, suddenly that jumps up to a seven. So I will mm-hmm. not spoil it, but let's just say I was like hyperventilating, laughing so hard at two in the morning when that part came on. But yes, um, if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. If you have reservations about seeing it, I actually do recommend that you still see it. Um, so uh, I I asked my cousin uh, a few days ago because he's like plugged into both of our channels. He's you know he's mm-hmm. a fan and stuff. And uh, I asked him, I was like, did you see the the drama? And he's like, no, I haven't. So I kind of sat there and I was debating like, do I send him the Never Knows Best video first? Do I send him the patrician right. thing first? And I just I decided on just sending him the EFAP. And I was just like, <laughs> just watch this. Yeah. Just, just, I, I gave him like a little bit of context to what happened, but I was like, just just watch the whole thing. I know it's twelve hours long, but yeah. So we, he's going into that completely blind, pretty much. I, I it was. I, I envy that. <laughs> there's a few regrets for the EFAP. Um, we did skip the part where he talked about rags. I'm sure rags would have had a response to it. The problem was that because it got divided into two streams, I think Mahler was very anxious about actually hitting the 12 hour mark. Mm -hmm. I think he didn't fully know where, how much time we had left. And so in the end VOD, we still have 30 minutes that we could have done, but at the time, you know, we we didn't know, we didn't get to finish it. But yes, that is EFAP number 270, highly highly recommend not just because it's about me cucked by emil never knows best love story I, that's mm-hmm. that was actually going to be the bit that i was going to do when i was i was going to open with that yeah but uh we're kind of we're kind of past it at this point yeah uh, in, we, we instead had some i, I want to talk nice about movies. i want to talk about that that friday though because that was very it was very interesting like how um how events developed it's like once one because like once i got like all right so you know they sent me this shit on discord and i was like okay what the fuck is this i'm gonna go out hiking i like i need to go out and touch some grass <laughs> before doing this shit or snow actually it was snowing that day it was it was a wonderful night uh 
So then I got home and I finally watched the thing and I just kind of started making fun of it in your Discord. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I sent it to you and like you were, you'd already heard about it and everything, but I, I had to reach out and touch base with you and be like, all right, like, what do you yeah. want to do? So we ended up sitting down and just watching it together for six hours. Yeah, six, the six and a half hours of us watching it. Yeah. And uh, that was basically, we never ended Which up, we never watched in its your own right. part. Yeah, we, we never we, watched We didn't your even part. get to my part. Yeah, we saw the flying nun part and the Kratosis part, and then mm -hmm. we called it at that because it was like fucking four in the morning. Uh, but it was interesting that night because like um, Rags reached out, yeah. and then um, like uh, we, like so I, many people, so I many people like the group chat. Um... If if Never Knows Best's goal was to like divide our community or something or like cause us undo like cause us harm. Uh, it had like the complete opposite effect. So like Kretosis, like I feel like Kretosis came out of this the best out of anybody. Yeah. It's just like because I've been on EFAP already. Content. I didn't have a good appearance, but I was on EFAP before, and I knew Rags mm -hmm. at that point. But uh, yeah, so we all, man, that was such a a bridge moment. Where, yeah. When like, I got the group chat, everybody that was named in the video, even fucking Zarek was in there and stuff, mm -hmm. and like we were all just chatting everything. And, uh, you know, Salty Shrimp came out and so, like, like all of us, like everybody even remotely related to our group, like touched base that night. And it like we just basically it was like kind of like a circling of the wagons moment where we're just like, all right, what's going on, guys? Let's figure this out. And then, uh, yeah, we ended up going to sleep at 4 a.m. trying to strategize, like figure out like what we're going to do with EFAP and stuff and then wake up in the morning and Asmin Gold popped yeah. off with his, with his thing. And, and man, like, all right. man, that was like that was like the perfect smoke screen, right? Because Asmongold <laughs> didn't engage with the video critically at all. <laughs> it never knows best talk about you, Rags. Yes, he did. In in um in the Reddit section, he put played part of the It's a Gundam video, and you're in the It's a Gundam video, like uh fuck, I forget the exact context, but yeah. I did, uh, unfortunately, have a skip over the part that you were featured in. I didn't know the oh, exact right. time stamp to skip to, but yeah, that part where he's talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah. It's a Gundam video. Yeah, yeah, like, I remember that now. He was, like, describing it as, like, uh, out-of-context memes where Maddie plays and Rags fight each other. I'm in a Gundam video. It's, uh, it's interesting. You should check out that It's a Gundam video uh, where he reads the Reddit post. I think it's at the very start. But yes, um, Asmongold uh, said I should go to jail. That sounds <laughs> awful. Uh, Patrician TV, I hope they put him in jail for having, uh, you know, this opinion and, about uh, this game. I'm very like, grateful I for this clip since I'm doing WoW. Uh, classic WoW. Um, so he didn't engage with it at all. He just wanted to know why the fuck he was catching strays from this whole situation. And uh, yeah. so all his viewers are jumping in and doing what Gold viewers do, you know, leaving comments, leaving dislikes. He got to use it as a smokescreen as well. He got to say yeah. that all the dislikes that he had accrued before Gold reacted to it were all part <laughs> of that, like, Gold hate wave. Uh, but we know, we know what the dislike ratio was before Gold showed up. But, uh, yeah, and then I got my reaction out. Uh, or my response out, I should say. Which, that was a pretty good response given the... given the amount of time I had. It was pretty amusing, yeah. You you got right to the point and stuff. I mean, a lot of it was what you and I were talking about the night before. Yeah. So I think, I think that helped a lot. Which was kind of one of my goals there that night. was like... Yeah. I just wanted to reach out and make sure, like, everything was going fine. Because like I was getting, I was getting worked up over it. So I'm yeah, because he he uh, he described you as just my fellow podcast host. Which oh yeah, like, yeah, you're, yeah, my, got, you're my I, husband. But I got I got demoted to podcast host while he has like my Skyrim also, video on yeah, screen. He, he also tried to say that like I only recommend your Skyrim video because you're my podcast host, and yeah. it's totally <laughs> not because you saw all the same fucking garbage Skyrim videos I saw and like decided to make a good Skyrim video as a consequence of that. That has nothing to, I mean, it's ignoring the fact that we 
sat down and watched my first uh, Skyrim video and made fun of it. And this is this is something that I wanted to bring up. Um, this whole thing is like, if you watch the EFAP, you'll uh, this comes up several times where it seems like Never Knows Best is kind of just like missing jokes. Like somebody makes a joke in their video and he just interprets it as like literal yeah. fact and stuff. And it got me thinking about this this idea that like there's a lot of people like a lot of youtubers and stuff who do this professionally and who make jokes for a living where they just miss jokes they just well, don't understand jokes or they cannot they cannot abide by jokes at their own expense even if they engage in self-deprecating humor in their own videos there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of people out there who just they just can't take a joke and uh I mean, should we talk about the, you know, the, your initial uh, interface, I guess you should, you would call it the stream uh, the, that started this whole thing? Well, what's funny is he, he seems completely unaware that there was another Never Knows Best reaction stream during the Oblivion era where I was much more positive <laughs> to his video. Well, nobody's going to, you know. Nobody's going to send him the good well, stuff. And that's that's why I'm confused about the motivation. Because I feel like on the one hand, I feel like there's a Never Knows Best fan out there that has led him astray. That's like been feeding him information about this stuff because he didn't want to like engage with it himself. And so like he has this it idea of the like stream. That. I was going to say about the like humor that. thing, though. It's a very common tactic in political engagements to take jokes literally in order to kind of misconstrue the other side make a point mm -hmm. but uh yeah you just you just see it a lot and i feel like at the end of the day there's like there's kind of like two two groups on youtube it's the people who can take a joke and the people who can't never that. made a patreon post two days ago know anything about that i saw the patreon post i think he wasn't saying what he was alluding to I have to wonder if there's a follow-up to this whole thing. I hope so. Yeah, I keep, unironically... Keep the, keep the ball rolling. I, mean, I unironically a... gave that video a thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, I know it has like a 50% ratio at this point, but I gave it a thumbs up. You always like the worst stuff. It's... <laughs> I have trash taste. What can I say? Yeah. I mean, it's... keep the content rolling because, I mean... It's amazing. You don't want me to engage seriously with it because... Do you know what I think uh, that hasn't been said dude, in this I just, whole thing I just... because I realized it watching a clip from the EFAP? What I realized was that Never Knows Best comes out in my part swinging straight from the hip that I was lying the entire time. Mm -hmm. You know, up to that point, he's talking about charitability and maybe this is what he meant and all that. As soon as he starts my part, it's just right out the gate lying. He throws everything at it. He throws everything he can at it. You know, he's a plagiarist. And he called me a cuck. You know the connotations behind that <laughs> word, don't you? And uh, he's a VTuber too. Uh, so. Oh yeah, that was a weird. That, that, was, that a was a weird, weird pattern, take. wasn't it? Because why did he include that particular Kratos' clip of him being a VTuber? It's weird, yeah. isn't it, Chad? Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um... Did you ever figure out what that thing was with that dude posting on your Discord every night? Uh, Gerg? Yeah, this, this yeah. Is, this is the more recent funny drama. Um, <laughs> there was a guy who joined my server and started complaining about the Skyrim video. And uh, we were kind of fucking with him because this happens from time to time. People will just join the server and start ranting. And uh, so... <laughs> We were well, messing around with this guy. Uh, he he has the patron <clears throat> role. I faked a Patreon thing where it sh <laughs> I said that he joined the Patreon, and then I gave him a role. And uh, <laughs> so I pretended that like he signed up for the Patreon, and uh, we were just like messing with this guy. Um, <laughs> turns out he's a three hundred and sixty thousand sub Minecraft YouTube Shorts YouTuber. Like we we went to his uh, Discord server and everything to verify that yeah it's the same account that's uh, been joining my server. 
And yeah, so, uh, Schizo posts at like two in the morning about my Skyrim video and how dude, pissed every, off he is. every night I would wake up to one of to you DMing me just like a screenshot of whatever the fuck this dude posted that night mm -hmm. before. It was hilarious, absolutely amazing. Uh, there, I don't know. There was a meme if he was it. doing it ironically, if he was just like he genuinely had it in for you or something, but whatever it was, it was fucking funny. Somebody asked me too. They DM me. They're like, or uh. Yeah, uh, they added me, and they're like, "Like, what do you think about this?" I'm like, "It's hilarious. I hope it never stops. Like, this is just, it's, mm -hmm. it's gold. It's beautiful. Everything this dude posts is hilarious." But like, I saw, so I, I saw that, and I saw um, the description of his channel where he says it's like unhinged Minecraft content. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. maybe this is just like his thing. He's just like he likes to schizo post Minecraft videos. So I clicked on the videos and stuff, and it's like, no, this is like perfectly normal, just minecraft videos so i have no idea what this dude mm -hmm. i just became instantly even more confused i'm like you know what i had enough drama with yeah. it if it was best thing this one's just funny yeah yeah uh anything else chat that you want to mention before we jump into jump into this Gosh, man, you guys gonna finally play mm-hmm Yeah, go watch EFAP270 after the stream. Just trust me. Trust me. The punchline's 10 hours in. It's so worth the 10 hours to build so, up. It's, it's a journey. It really is. And there's some good discussions along the way that have informed the conclusion. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm on the fifth revision now for my Starfield's con uh, Starfield video's conclusion. It's another reason this video keeps getting delayed, is that I have to All keep right, stopping starting. to rewrite my conclusion. Alright, so, what are we doing? Uh, we are playing a uh, firefight on my favorite map. But not just any firefight, right? No, it's just, it's just regular firefight. Just regular firefight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing weird about it. Oh, I forgot to check who I was playing as. I just got the buckskin today. Oh. It was on, di it was on sale. Did you see? I think the buckskin's like Fire always fight. on sale. You're probably just the rookie. Yeah, you're just the rookie. Set, start, tough luck. On. Actually, this VTuber setup's not too bad because I'm basically just covering up the gun, which is a huge model anyways. Sensitivity's fucked up. Did this did my settings change again? I bet it got reset. This is yeah. Over a kill. Oh no, he's I'm moving! I have a Double kill. I might have messed this up. Oh Turn god, my, my key bindings did get changed. Yeah, go ahead and look into that. What? I, I was playing around with the settings, and I might have changed, changed the enemy layout. Mm. Any cultists in chat? Yeah, he... That was the fun part, was he called us uh, cultists. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't know why. Speaking speaking of cults, I was watching, uh, I was watching Mad Dog play, um, was it before dusk? After dusk? Until dusk? I don't remember. It's one of those, like, interactive, uh, interactive book games. And <laughs> right off the bat, Sam Coe is the voice actor. Of, uh, what was he playing? The, for the husband. Uh, until, uh, before dusk? After, until, Rank the no, covenant, not until dawn. Rank the Covenant Something species dust. from most to least hot. Um, what the fuck, Rags? <laughs> I'll do that for Overwatch. Fire I've done that for Overwatch before. Alright, this should be not messed up. Hey, uh, 343, when you allow people to make custom games, Set, have them start, name the custom game on. when they make it so that they don't, it doesn't just inherit the name of the, what they're editing. Because uh, the, this whole thing would have been messed up. Oh. 
double kill. Are oh, right Wouldn't that be the uh, bugger? Kill. No, that's not. That's not how we do things in a civilized house. <laughs> Is your camera at least inverted still? Oh uh, yeah. I think it inherited that because I've used this account to play Halo One. Okay. Uh, if you didn't know, chat. Why is it so loud? It was so quiet before, wasn't it? It's a game with no sprint. Aren't you bored? There's no sprint. Now here's the problem, chat. You can't boost. You can't just boost voice audio. Unless you want to die. Well, you came to the dance just in time. We'll turn the whole game audio down. Private sessions. Where is Skyrim, Thief, and Starfield 2? Thief. Yeah, did you promise a Thief video? I think I alluded to me maybe playing Thief in a stream. I don't remember publicly announcing that, though. Yeah, you alluded to it because you were looking for, like, stealth games to play. Yeah, 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 cause I was afraid uh, I wasn't going to have enough content for my Skyrim. Oh, thing. right, I forgot this detail. The infection forms oh, reanimate right. the... Uh... Yeah. Oh, shotgun already? Yeah, it shows up pretty early. Because the flood, the flood will be using it, which uh, nightmare scenario. Uh oh. He thinks he means the Skyrim thief section. Then why do you say Starfield two? Because the whole thing came off as a joke after he said uh -oh. Starfield two. Uh oh. Hold on. I I gotta fix something real fast. What order do you rank the Bungie Halo games? Or chronological? Uh, I put two at the top, but that's just me. Yeah, he's a big old Halo 2 fan. I'd go like Halo 2, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 3, Halo 1, Halo Reach, and then who gives a fuck after that? Double kill. <laughs> Double kill. Starfield Part 2 video. Now, that's just the Starfield video in general. Yeah, it's it's like a week away ironically I I've been saying that for like two weeks straight but I'm starting to run out of stuff to do in, a in Shrouded so I gotta actually go back to work now Good. he's just saying it at this point did you see Mahler go insane playing through the Suicide Quad Squad game poor guy that sounds like something that would drive him insane oh right the, the throwing arc for the uh, grenade is different for uh the ODSTs. Neat little detail. Mm -hmm. It's a little thing. Neat now. little detail that you would only notice if you play Halo 3 and like ODST side by side. Yeah. Which I mean, in fairness, when it came out. And you played it like a lot. Oh no. Thank God we don't have to defend something. Oh god, oh god, it's the big guys. Yeah, already. <laughs> Come on, I'm not even like warmed up yet. You can't do this to me. My fucking look sensitivity's messed up too. <laughs> Compensating with my DPI, but. Hey Chad, any mouse recommendations? I need to buy a new mouse soon. I hate every mouse that I've seen so far. What mouse do you use? Uh, Matt? fuck, I forget the name of it. Whoops. I'm using a Death Adder V2. It's a League of Not Legends big. mouse, whatever it is, because it mm -hmm. was cheaper than like the actual baseline version. <laughs> Trackball mouse. Unironically, I've been considering that actually. Uh. One of those like weird ones. Who cares for about editing? Neat, who cares about neat gameplay details when you can write about Spartans being sad and having PTSD? <laughs> I saw that. I watched the uh, watched it as part of our EFAP thing. I gotta watch that at some point. You don't actually. You don't have to watch it. 
believe it or uh, not. I, I really do. <laughs> you think I'm going to miss a dumpster fire like that? I, season well, so, one is more of a dumpster fire than season two. Season two is my, just kind of boring. My strategy was that I was going to wait for it to get canceled. Here's another trippy figure, thing. Battle rifle and then, ODSTs. Because I still have like a... Uh, oh yeah, battle rifle and ODSTs. Um... I still have a, you know, free member, like, free one-week trial or whatever for Paramount+. Plus. So I was going to just wait for, for it to all be out, and then just binge watch it, and then never actually pay for Paramount+. Plus. I'm not going to pay for a service that's going to get, like, deleted in, like, another year or so. The first thing that stood out to me is was, was how, like, just dumb the timeline was. Like, it, did, it really didn't make sense. The time when does it... Oh, wait, aren't they showing, like, the fall of Reach that's in this the season? That's the season, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, the ghost is already out. Yeah. It's a you fast time to kill, that. but now I know the button. Oh, to mount? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, have the you, thumbnail, I literally have you your know, stream that, up. Was, uh, we've actually done this before. It, it was like two hours, and we were not going anywhere. Was it two hours? I think it was longer than that, wasn't it? It, no, no, there it was, was longer it, because we did like a did Halo recordings. 4 Spartan Ops before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was during our, it was like the tail end of a recording session. We needed a we needed a palate cleanser after yeah, that shit. Yeah, because we had <laughs> we had tried it out. <laughs> Alright, it's 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 slowly coming back to me. Dude, oh, I did Fuck die. Off. It's all coming back, and then he dies, like, mm -hmm. 20 seconds later. Yeah, you're gonna cost us all our lives. Do you think the timeline would be better if Peter Jackson did the Halo movie? Well, our, I was thinking about this. Oh, yeah. Like, in a broader Halo kind of topic. You just gotta start with Halo CE, right? You gotta do a Halo CE movie. If you can't do a Halo CE movie, you cannot do anything else. Okay, don't do insurrectionists. Okay, only fucking book people know who insurrectionists are. I don't care if they they're in one scene of Halo Reach. They're in Halo Wars multiplayer. Yeah, okay, that doesn't count as like normie gamers knowing who the fucking Halo insurrectionists are. So mm. don't do plot lines about them. Sorry, we... uh denied. We're going to actually have to cover the Covenant insurrectionists during <laughs> during the events of the Halo games. You fucking wish. <laughs> I wish the Banished were in this show. I should actually like explain. Because you know what? That's not the worst addition. Well, I mean, it retroactively shits on like the players and the you know the humans' accomplishments and stuff. Well, like, no, I, I, I think reason... it's neat. There's some there's some neat elements to it in terms of like. It explaining why the Covenant was so trained, despite their encounters with humans actually being somewhat infrequent and all that. Well, I thought it was, it had to do with, like, they, like, subjugated a bunch of other races and stuff, like, and that's why they were all, like, super militarized. Yeah, but you, you don't have, like, that powerful of a standing military just because you're, like, occupying, you know? It makes sense if there's, like, some other mm. faction that they're fighting in the background. Because if you kind of look at it like it's Warhammer, then it makes a lot of sense that, like, they got to be training constantly in order to be I ready. Like, like, that was a plot point in Season 2 was, like, my God, they're using energy swords in combat because they're training to invade Reach. Yeah, I'm so that, all the rounds on this. That Let's ghost go. is still out there. Oh, right. The splazer spawns. Yeah, I was trying to snipe out the the gunner. The driver. Tribes 3. Don't get me excited for something that isn't oh. going to happen, okay? Yeah, I heard about that too. Did you ever play Tribes? Uh, No, I played and like a Tribes derivative. and uh, This was after Tribes was basically dead. And I was like, Yeah, Ooh. that's the thing. I, discover I discovered it too late. I died. I've got the ghost. My, okay, my sacrifice was not in vain, though. I'll take... 
I'll, t I'll take a... Yeah, because once we have on one, one ghost, then it tends to snowball from there. <laughs> like, we'll get the lives back. Yeah, would we end that night with... We ended I, that I, night I... with 23 ghosts. <laughs> and there was, like, a point where we had, like, 12 lives or something. Like, some obnoxious yeah. number of lives. We were, we were concerned. We were like, are we going to, like, just be playing this all night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it, that was not, like, naturally ending anytime soon. Nice. Just watch you splatter that dude. Halo should have been easy to, so easy to adapt. Well, that's the... Com okay, on paper, you're right. Because how many, like, action movies get made every year, right? You know, you got you like your John Wicks and nobodies and stuff, right? Just make a Halo action movie. But the problem with that is that you have a lot of CGI for the Covenant that you got to include, right? You know what's easier than CGI for the Covenant? Uh, repurposed sci-fi sets for showing the insurrectionists. Yeah. And it literally only happened because of the streaming wars and like we got to get we got to get stuff on Paramount Plus that people want to watch. What's an IP we can get? We can get Halo. Yeah, because cool. Microsoft's fucking giving that out for dirt cheap. So. What, a, what a fucked up world where Paramount gets uh, Halo and Amazon got Fallout. Because Amazon <laughs> could have done a Halo show. Yeah. They put the money in, into stuff like that. Yeah, the Fallout show. That's going to be airing soon. Now there's... There is an EFAP. For uh, for Kratosis, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> they gotta get him on for that shit. What was I gonna ask? Um, who else was on the EFAP with you? For the was, Halo uh, show? Yeah, was uh, Mr. Arby and Chief in there? No, I think he was going to be, and then he had to cancel. Oh, oh, okay. he, he was either that, or he's gonna show up on like the actual, like live stream. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've got no achievements on this account for ODST. Uh, this is actually the first time this account is playing it. You want the ghost? Uh, sure. You can get the, the tail end of its life, because I think the stream is going to get annoyed listening to the ghost shooting sound. Does Emil have anything to do with the Fallout TV show? Not Emil, but Todd. Yeah, Todd's... I think he's being credited as executive producer, right? Yeah, which who knows the extent. Yeah. One of those wait and see moments. Oh yeah, oh, yeah this is why it's the... so easy because they knock they they flip their own ghosts over. Yeah. We saw the um, Indiana Jones game. Yeah, it's first person, which is a yeah. I was surprised surprise. the ghost is gone. So am I. That's fine. We've got another one out there. Yeah, we saw we saw that we saw avowed. Avowed looks. I feel like I'm having like dissonance with the rest, um, with everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're not the only one. Well, I felt vindicated because Paul Tassi on Forbes posted a thing, posted an article basically saying exactly what I was saying that the game looks really jank. He's like, I don't know what everybody's talking about. I'm like, you and me both. Well, it's it's a weird thing because I think a good avowed would play like that like it's would more of a, it's like more, a vr game it's more of an rpg that way i don't know if if that makes a lot of sense but it's never gonna it, be no, like a arcane game you know it no it just it looks like a vr game <laughs> like the combat looks like it was designed for vr and then Somebody like during development, they were like, "No, we can't do a VR it, game." It looks like fucking Outer Worlds melee. That's what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. It looked fucking horrendous, though. I I was saying, I said it then. I'm gonna say it now. This is gonna be another fucking Redfall. Listen, if you've got a question on why X didn't get to make a Halo thing, what Microsoft. Fuck? Yeah, I died again. Get your head in the game. I'm really. This yeah, is I'm for the stream. Okay, they're not gonna believe it, even though I still have the recording. <laughs> I think I have the recording too, for my 
whenever I do a Halo project. Mm -hmm. The Forever Project. Oh, there he is. I'm, I'm just gonna hang back. Can this carrier just die? The Halo 3 carriers are tankier. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Terrible with the Spartan laser, can never get a kill with it. You gotta lead your shots. You play with a controller? That's probably why. There's a lot of movement side to side, and controllers kind of lag side to side. Nah, they kill me before I can use it. This right, is let's the problem. Get the, the charge, the let's charge get the up is what gets the me. Come in. Ooh, that's a fuel rod. Which of you is better at video games in general? No clue. Probably Pat. I mean, it's. I I've guess it I've played more competitive shooters than you have. I think. Probably. I mean, it like depends what we're talking about. If we're talking like shooters, yeah, probably. Oh, I'm not very good. Also, my play style is usually just like chaotic. You're see, that's the thing is like you're a lot more methodical. Mm -hmm. I'm more like just do crazy shit have fun yeah have fun i was the guy who always played social like i never play ranked so i like uh halo 3 social i played more reach ranked halo 3 ranked just felt sweaty <laughs> like sweaty and degenerate and just not fun Literally, you need to settle this in Morrowind multiplayer PvP. God, I don't even know where to start on, like, trying to figure out Morrowind multiplayer PvP. <laughs> well, co-op, it definitely works. I like how that fucking carrier took... Yeah, I, like, bounced off him. Yeah. Like, you really gotta hit him. You guys can ask like us how... anything. We'll uh, we'll talk about it. I like how effective all the weapons are in uh, in this mode too. Like even the AR is yeah pretty good. Halo Three Flood are underrated, and I think it's because like the main Halo Three Flood level is one of the worst Halo levels <laughs> ever made. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They they kind of suck in Floodgate too. Uh, but that again, that's a level issue. We talked about yeah. this when we were doing the Halo level tier list. Like, the problem with Flood is entirely the levels that they were, they've they've been given. And that is how you do it. Um, excuse me. I remember you saying the library was actually a good level. I'm gonna die again. Don't die, please. The library die is again. a good level. It is. I feel like it's underrated. I died. It's a really good level co-op too. Like a lot of the uh, the tricky parts of that game or of that level get smoothed out if you have another player there. Library is unfairly maligned. I agree. I will say on Lasso it's a pain, but that's because Lasso was made by not Bungie. Oh yeah, yeah. Someone asked me a question. What do you think about certain affinity handling Halo multiplayer projects? Um, I 
I thought the just make a good Halo... game. Just make a good game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought they did a decent job handling the multiplayer for like the Halo Two anniversary thing. Like the dedicated multiplayer thing. Mm -hmm. Have we ever I, talked I thought about played... that? Yeah, nobody talks about that, which is a shame because I thought it played pretty well. I thought like that's what a modern Halo game should play like. Sentinels. I love Sentinels being thrown into this for fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, in case you're getting a little bit too cocky. Ouch! You. The fuck is going? Is hitting me. Sure you Have you played Wrath of the Righteous yet? There's a question aimed at you. What is Wrath of the Righteous? Pathfinder. No, I haven't. They said you had mentioned it. Yeah, right, gotta, yeah. I, I bought it and stuff. Gotta deal with the Sentinel problem. God, fuck. This as I get killed by one. So, alright. You died once, I've died five times? <laughs> Yeah, you bring it. You bring in the stream down. We might have to play campaign. Imagine the horror. Don't expect good writing. Is that why people don't like Wrath of the Righteous? I just thought the gameplay looked cool. Actually, uh, Kingmaker. I think I might like Kingmaker oh. more just because. Oh God, that that ain't good for me. Oh, uh, we could have practiced this. Play ODST mm. campaign, please. No what left. mission? What? Okay, hang on. What did we say was uh, S tier? Mm, the one with the bridge. That's you have this to level. The bridge. Believe, funny enough. Yeah. Uh, the one on the rooftop. Uh, no, we're listen. We're not. We're not gonna do it because we're gonna bring it back from this. Yeah, we can't. But we can't already be talking about our backup plan. Yeah, Pal World fell off. Uh, well, I mean, I talked about this when it was blowing up. That kind of growth is not sustainable. Yeah, it's always gonna well, it's be seen as having fallen off and having been a flavor of the month. When I think it's just stabilized with its audience and yeah. Uh, also. Like it's an early access game, so wait for the wait for its first big update, and it's gonna be huge again. It's like Valheim, you know. You go back to it every every year or so when they have their big update, and you can't hold it against the game either. Like nobody anticipated it to get as big as it did. That not. I enjoyed it for I oh, enjoyed it for what oh, it shit. was. Oh, well, this is. <laughs> I think I got really unlucky with the spawn wave. Uh, do I? Yolo All right, no. In the ghost. No pressure, chat. Ghost is almost dead. Yeah. Let's see. You don't have a uh, lot left to deal yeah, with. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Get the Spartan not... laser. It's on the left side, of the like top area. Mm -hmm. And you can like snipe the ghost and a couple other guys. Oh, is a ghost out there? Yeah. Opinion on Baldur's Gate 3. Fun game, but really hard for me to play because I don't like the encounter design. And it's 5e, so. So you did play it. Oh god, I forgot fall damage in this game. <laughs> I'll play it when I have time for like a massive game like that. So never? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we were talking about your video plans for this year. <laughs> Just plays with them. We're taking these risks. Oh, 
Baldur's Gate 3 Waifu Minthara. I hate Power World because it's a nude ripoff by a company that only ever makes ripoffs. It's getting famous is a bad precedent. See, you brought it back. Nah, there's no bad precedents in the uh, fucking gaming industry. Oh. That's what you meant. You're back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, once I saw like all this shit popping up, I was like, uh. uh. <laughs> right, now nah, I just gotta retreat. Mm hmm. Don't die. It's that easy. Have you tried being good? First things first, don't melee. I'm dead. There we go. Game over. Nice. Oh, you... Yeah, I took the risk too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell private sessions hi. Tell them yourself. Hi. I saw that because I died. So I gotta to, I gotta read chat. People hate Power World because it's popular. Darianism. Uh, there's definitely that component to it. Mm -hmm. It is obviously like a very cheaply made game. Like the Fortnite animations and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I just found it interesting from, uh, from the perspective of somebody who plays a lot of factory management games. Uh, seeing the uh how the pals like run your base that was a very um unique what dutch is speaking hurry up look you want to do this be my guest but this ain't a job you want to rush that do it signal's good arm the other detonators and pull back to me Come on, tough guy. We gotta blow this bridge. I can't tell what they're feeling because I can't see their faces. Mm -hmm. Which is right. funny because this game solved the whole face thing. Oh, the the visors yeah. becoming transparent when they need to. Forget about them. We gotta Except in the rookie's back. case, they just focused on like really subtle animations and things like that. And... This part's easy. Yeah. Look, we've got ladders. Well, Starfield has ladders. It has too. ladders. Now you press E to interact with it. <laughs> you know, baby steps. They at least got them working, right? Uh, wow. Did I die? Did you die? And instantly respawn? What are, your, what are your thoughts on the yellow line discourse? My problem with the whole yellow line thing is that you're tipping your hand that you think gamers are stupid. Gamers are stupid. Don't tip your hand. Do it in the Oops. myriad of ways we we have shown that you can convey information to gamers without just get, putting yellow spray paint down. Lights? Yeah. Level design? I liked like the one where they were bringing up uh, the cut their arms off necromorphs thing even though that yeah. was not yellow spray paint i was going to do an edit where i recolored the writing in blood to be yellow spray paint remember that point that you made in your star in your skyrim video about uh the charcoal rubbings and uh how i couldn't find an example of somebody being lost on that quest yeah Granted, the broader point was, how do we know if ga the gamers are probably just looking it up, but I feel like the average gamer could figure out. I think, uh, yeah. Half-Life 2 does guiding it's... the player very well. A little too well. I think it's a bad... It's a bad uh, idea as, like, a 
designer or creator or anything like that to assume your audience is stupid and that you have to like seriously dumb down your content in order to appease like appeal to them i'm just saying because if i see yellow spray paint and it's not the butt of a joke in your game that i'm gonna be more <laughs> persuaded to uninstall it yeah <laughs> so like because the way i the way i look at it this is how i approach like when i'm making my videos it's like if somebody doesn't get the joke and they continuously don't get the jokes that I'm making, then they're just going to stop watching the video. And that kind of solves the problem then, doesn't it? Because I'm not in the business no, of hang trying on. Where's to appeal the, to everyone. Where's the yellow spray paint line so that I know where the top of the ridge is? <laughs> the, the whole discourse is dumb. Why did it even come up again? Oh, right, it was the Final Fantasy, like, climbing ledge. That would just have, like, oh, the really? yellow, yellow spray paint on a random wall. What the fuck is my melee button? What did you do, 343, with the fucking keyboard controls in this game? Oh, I died too. Damn. I bind that shit to my, uh, mouse buttons. Whatever they have it set to is wrong. You. Q? Fuck off with that. Can I get a one in the chat for people who use Q as their melee button? Oh, wait, is that what you're setting it to? No, that's what it's set to by default. <laughs> Alright, good. As I said. What do you set it? What do you have it set to? It's on Q right now. I'm not changing it on stream. Maybe should have playtested it. I was busy last night, okay? Yeah. I'm hitting milestones in the WoW project. How will I know what Dutch feels about Mickey dying? I think you're Mickey. I mean, there is a Mickey running around. I don't think you're just a copy of Dutch, but you could be. But how will I know if I can't see his face? Your stance on Sprint and Halo? Uh, Necessary. that's a level design issue, really. Extremely destructive to, uh, level design. Hey, remember in Halo 5 where every level was basically mid-ship, but, like, six times the size because Sprint? We finally go inside so the building. So then in Halo Infinite, they literally made it so that Sprint's, like, what is it, like, 1.2 times speed or something? Like, some, like... Yeah completely just worthless no, halo, speed increase. Halo Infinite Sprint is like actually a newbie trap. Yeah. And it's just because 3 for 3 are a bunch of cowards and can't just like sit there and tell people to fucking deal with it that Sprint doesn't need to be in every fucking shooter. Hey, man, check those charges. I can become a different kind of YouTuber. Yeah, what gives? I we were to oh, I got locked out, so they just teleported me inside. I was about to die, so I appreciate it. Yeah, it was convenient. They're cutting through the door. Saddle down, people. Find some cover. Someone man that turn. Please cover something you like for once. Sure. I have to make more than two videos a year. That's what you're doing right now, right? You're like, wow. More than two videos a year. I mean, this project's probably coming out, like, at the end of the year. Oh, wow. I like how I died and just instantly respawned. I'm starting to feel... Was that not just a Halo 4 thing? What, the... The instant, instant respawn? Respawning? Maybe it's a 3 for 3 thing. Did they fuck up this game? <laughs> yeah, 3 for 3 is a touch of death, let's uh -oh. be honest. And remember, this is their most functional product. This is the thing that at least gets, like, praised. Uh, I'm sorry, have you played Spartan Assault? <laughs> Alright, this, this is a turret sequence, isn't it? It technically is. The turret's really for the bugs at the end. 
No, it's it's for this part, and then they start showing up in the back. Oh, that was another bird there. Yeah, I just like instantly respawned again. It's just it's really jarring. I know that there was a change they made to the elite AI that like fucked with speedruns for a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, for Halo One, it actually messed with my uh, lasso progression because I couldn't do the skip during that time period. Uh, when is your lasso video coming out? Uh, <laughs> possibly never. <laughs> I have to live with that reality, you know? It's just, I gotta play more Enshrouded. When's your Final Life video coming out? <laughs> Probably after I do Enshrouded, finish up with Enshrouded, I'll go back to Valheim. Yeah, we we played that once, and then in Shroud came out. Well, I'd played more on my own too. Mm. What yeah, I played a little bit more, but oh look, Mickey's gonna do the turret sequence for us. Nice. What's that AI that actually like adapts to uh... what you're not doing? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, the best. Oh, he model. got it. Well, they're, they're switching to dropping them off in the back. Oh, right, yeah. Helldivers 2, good game. Yeah, yeah I'll, be, I'll be looking into it soon. Saw that, yeah. It looks kind of interesting. What's going on? Like, we're getting good games just like back to back right now. It's bizarre. Yeah, I had this thought I used to associate today. January with like the dump month, but. I know it's yeah. not January anymore, but... Well, I think it's just, like, this is a continuation of the, uh, 2023 Bang Fest. Where it's just, like... This is everybody who was late. Week after week. Yeah. Where they saw, like, the releases of last year, and they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do 2024 instead. I think my modeler would kill me if I asked him to put the anime girls' faces onto the ODST model. <laughs> We gotta do Anime Girl at least once. You know, in honor of Never Knows Best. There do you go. have a Serana one? Uh, no. It's actually interesting that nobody ever asked for that. Or that, like, that never came up. Colonel Anti-Cheat, though, that's what I had heard. Oh, really? Hopefully they figure that's... out a better system. Yeah. Yeah, it looked interesting, but, uh, you know, I, I have enough on my hands with Enshrouded and trying to finish the Starfield video. And then I have to get working on the Skyrim video again. There's no PvP. Why do they need anti-cheat? Sorry, man. Everyone on the elevator. I put enough charges in this shaft to blow this building twice. All right, that's it. Transfer the detonation codes to my comm. If anyone's taking this place out, it's going to be me. Why, Mickey? Why do you feel that way? Are, are you going to betray us and, like, kill the rookie in the future? Evi Bird's going to meet us on the roof. This section's so dark. i got to turn the VTuber model off. <laughs> Just so the audience can see what the fuck is going on. Oh, right. The buggers come in on the elevator. I thought they came in... But during the turret sequence? Yeah. No, what's a what's an elevator sequence without without drones? Classic. It's a Halo Bungie staple. Mm -hmm. Then you got three for three uh Halo. Just drop in five hunters. Five hunters. <laughs> we gotta play Spartan Ops. We gotta, we gotta play one. Yeah, yeah. We could we, do that. The, one of the what are the infinite ones? When they're on the ship? Yeah, that's gonna oh. make, that's that that'll get chat really laughing. <laughs> the one where <laughs> Palmer yeah, don't, just disappeared. Don't, for yeah, don't. <laughs> well, yeah, you can spoil that. They're not gonna get that. They're not gonna understand why it's funny that Palmer just disappears for an entire episode. <laughs> My favorite part of Spartan Ops is that the fans of Spartan Ops don't know what it's called. 
Oh. Not even, and we're not even talking that it's technically called Halo Infinity. I mean, like, they call it, like, Spartan. Yes. Spartan Operations Spec Ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you like being on EFAP? I liked being on 270. 268 kind of sucked, but 270 was really good. There's all right. Go, go, go. Are you already done? Yeah, I mean, this is a short game. And I told you, it's no joke. It's super easy. Spartan ups the line. <laughs> oh, man. So, like, they delisted Spec Ops the line. And uh, so immediately I was like, all right, I got to go get on GTA, uh, G2A and like buy a, co buy a copy in case I ever want to do a video on that. Uh, you could just uh, acquire it. Yeah, true. Well, anyways, so I bought a I bought a key and then six hours later, they sent me a, they sent me a notification like, yeah, we're going to refund you. We ran out of keys. So I think like everybody had the same idea. Probably. Yeah. Straight to Mombasa streets. E1, M1 before ODST. What the fuck are you talking about? I love the unique, like, camera stuff that they do with ODST and, and Reach. Mm -hmm. They would do, like, different things. And a new MCC update is available. Wow. Um, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Do I even have 4 installed? Oh, no. Yeah. That I'm... should be... That's not a big download, though, right? It's only, like, 4 gigs. Yeah, I mean, it's an Xbox game. I have no clue how you normally do it. I just like try to play the game and then it says missing content. Grab it. But is it campaign or multiplayer? Ooh, that's the that's the pertinent Ooh. question right there. Is Halo Ooh, 4 yeah. considered campaign or Ooh, is it even gonna download if we're not on the right version? It's not it didn't pop up. Oh god. <laughs> the things we go through in order to play in order to play Halo, Halo Infinity. 4 Halo Infinity, yes tried Halo 4 campaign with a friend and couldn't make it past the first level well, that was your mistake, you played the campaign you gotta play Spartan Ops <laughs> Spartan Ops, where there is no death penalty <laughs> I have reach installed Oh, this is an ODST stream. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I, it's gonna take. I I did say in my uh in my announcement that we were gonna be we were in for good vibes and happy times. Uh, Halo Spartan Ops is not good times. Happy vibes. Alrighty. ODST missions. I want to play. We're gonna like fuck this game up. I'm. I'm I want to play Coastal Highway. Mm. I like a good Coastal Highway. Uh, I sent you an invite. Oh, okay. We got separated. Suffer with Cursed Halo. What's to suffer with Cursed Halo? Is it going to give me the invite? Don't tell me that it's going to, like, fuck up because they updated it in the middle of our stream. they updated it? Microsoft. Microsoft. Unironically, please. Burn down. I hope your corporate headquarters just burns to the ground. Uh, uh maybe... Steam? Join through Steam. No, I know that E one M one is Doom's episode one map one. What do you mean it's in ODS? Wait, are you playing right now? No. Oh, you're not in game. Okay. What would that change? Wait, are you restarting the game? No. Did you? No. I think it's not literally not going to work because they updated the game. Because <laughs> I'm looking on Steam right now and it's 
it just says you're online. It doesn't say you're playing MCC. I'm going to fucking burn down 3 for 3. <laughs> what the fuck? They updated the game in the middle of us playing. All right. I guess we'll... Uh, oh, just... It's going to be like 30 gigs, too. Or something. Oh, of course. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 gigs. Let's... You shit Oh, me, it's right? patching 10 gigabytes. It's probably literally just to add like a fucking nameplate, but it's got to add it to every single map. Oh, in the game or yeah, shit. you're right. Yeah, because they put the AI generated nameplate up. I don't know if you know if you noticed knew that. Your AI the new, generated. The new Mardi Gras nameplate. Yeah, it's AI generated. And you know what's funny <laughs> is MCC takes fucking forever to update too. It's one of those games that like updates yeah, because super it... slowly. Yeah, because it has to sit there validating these 69 million fucking gigabytes. Oof. Mine, mine's saying 19 gigs. I cannot believe that, that they are... <laughs> Three up, that megabyte I, download? That this is a problem I'm having in, my, in a stream of mine, is we're playing games, and they updated the game. Because, like, fuck. I guess we gotta go play Halo Infinite. No, that's not installed. Halo Infinite either. got an update as well. It's not installed anywhere. No. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely a nameplate thing because Halo Infinite got an update as well. Unless they're doing like some sort of update in ahead of the thing tomorrow. What thing tomorrow? I thought you said they were like doing like a podcast. Or they're something they're like doing that. a podcast. Why are they updating fucking MCC? To you know like. This is something. I didn't know that if I was going to sit everybody, down and play Halo with the boys, I got to have a backup game ready. Everybody needs to. This is this is corporate mandate across the entire Microsoft gaming division. Everybody needs content to be delivered that day. On it's tomorrow, right? Thursday, mm -hmm. February fifteenth. Thursday, February fifteenth. You fuckers, every one of you, every one of our products needs to have new content. I want to see new Skyrim creations. I want to see... <laughs> uh, I want to see more Overwatch skins. God damn, imagine that. Imagine that sort of mandate, like how many games would have to get updated. <laughs> That's all right. Every uh, ninety-five percent of developers are working on a live service game right now, so mm -hmm. no big deal. I'm at eighteen percent. I am sending you a watch together link. <laughs> what do we want to watch, Chad? Do we want to watch Never Knows Best? Do we want to watch that guy that folded immediately. Let me make sure. Oh yeah. Um, I can always count on you watch together to uh, be good to go. Oh, right. I closed that program. That's what I was doing. Patty Taxon video. I saw you guys talking about that. No. Man, I'm proud of you, chat. Not one of you mentioned Vosh. You said not to interact with NKB. I didn't say we couldn't watch his videos. Can we watch one specific part? Uh, the part where he talks about how he's going to ban you? Man. <laughs> the, reason, the reason I gave that video a thumbs up is that there's like a good quote every like two minutes mm -hmm. except when he's reading the fucking reddit comments when he's making sure to bring bring up the deleted reddit comment <laughs> the game on his video but, like, is now flagged as uh skyrim but that part of the video is like in a meta sense it's still like just gold I do wonder if uh, if I would have been featured in that video if my Starfield video actually got released on time. Oh, that, that is a funny like reality to this think about. This is a video about a man accused. Also, I 
after watching like after this i literally went in this in my fifth revision of the conclusion and i added a whole lot more stuff about emil so it's like he got the reverse uh reaction out of me because i only mentioned emil like for two sentences now he has like four paragraphs yeah because how do you not mention this drama I know, and like, how do I not, how do I not put my own thoughts on ML out there now? Because if somebody else is going to come out and do it for me, I got to cover my bases. I didn't know you were such a big fan of mine. I like this facetious part <laughs> where he's like, I didn't. At what point did he give up on this video? Right, because he was doing like a, it's a, it's a veiled animal documentary, and then at some point he just gives up and like and just makes it a takedown video. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like he hasn't given up on the video yet, and the, this next video better be about this whole situation. On the or, one hand, or... I want that to happen. On one, on the other, I want him to like never acknowledge that it ever happened again. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, well, I was well. Let me finish my thought from earlier. Um, I think the video was always envisioned to be a takedown. Yeah, so, of course. Um, but either his next video is you know like a, a addressing this, or his next video is him abiding by all the rules he laid down in this video about like. No, I'm gonna need to no make a hypothetical. No like hypothetical a scenarios yeah, yeah. yeah um you have to think accompany jokes with laugh tracks so people understand that they're jokes <laughs> um you can't extrapolate or infer anything yeah yeah that was the big one that was the big one there you have to take every like in never knows best world you have to take everything literally at all times speaking of which what did you have to say about me you're a cuck. You're a fucking cuck. I like that. Even in the video, it looks bad. Yeah. You can tell that there was a cut there, right? Because, like, this is a stream. It says it's a stream. So why would the VTuber model suddenly cut? Like, well, he was pressed for time. But yeah, it's he had to get two to get the runtime video. Down. Yeah, he had to trim the he had to trim the fat. Come on now. Everything at face value except Emil's jokes and never knows best's own weird hyperbolic statements. Mm -hmm. The worst, the worst presentation ever in the history of video games. I mean, like, it, it's funny too because oh, fuck, I was gonna mention this earlier. The the comments, like some of the top comments in in the video is uh, like people's reactions to it was that that statement is just like really too hyperbolic. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of other stuff. I agree with the video, but there's a lot of other worse discussions. I was going like to say Truman one. he had a road to victory. There was a way he could have won. Have I told you about this? My, my uh, belief on how he could have won? No, I don't think so. All right. Here's how Never Knows Best could have won this drama. And here's why he didn't do it. All he had to do was talk about my part and say, because of my imprecise language, I inadvertently caused them all to receive unnecessary harassment. That's all he had to say. And those is very short. Now you got to flesh that out, examples and all that. But I mean, yeah, it would only be five minutes, right? But I think he'd have a point. I think if his point was just, the clarification at the start isn't sufficient, which I disagree with. But every time I mention it after the fact, I should have said no central design document. I think I say it like 25% of the time, even like, you know, four and six hours after I'm still mentioning that it's no central design document. But you know what? All I got to do is add one word to those other like eight times that I bring it up. So I yeah. always say no central design document. And then that way, maybe Emil doesn't get harassed so much, right? more precise language, be more careful. He could have had a point. He, he could have won, he, right? 
That would have been a reasonable thing to say, but here's why he didn't do it. He didn't do it because it wasn't good enough. He wanted an absolute victory, right? He got greedy. He got greedy. So he threw everything in the kitchen sink at me, you know, out the gate saying I was lying. He never entertained that I could be wrong. He never entertained that I could be uh, communicating my ideas poorly. It was always about you're lying and you're a plagiarist and you're defaming Emil and uh, you called me a cuckold and you're a VTuber. I think he just doesn't like you. I'm looking like I'm looking at this frame that you have frozen on the stream, and it's like, you, this is the you had problem, the yeah. you had the gifts and everything on the right hand side of the screen there and everything. I think he just saw this, and coupled with the you know your comments, he's just like, this guy is he's a bully, and I don't buy a, I I don't abide by bullies, and. uh then he saw the opportunities like he's out there bullying Emil right now. Like, mm. this is my chance. Take him down. No, he got he got blinded by the prospect of like getting an absolute win. <clears throat> and so he didn't want he didn't want to settle for like the kind of meek victory he could have got, which is that I could have been a little more precise with my wording and that would have cleared everything up with people, which we don't even know is true, but. I think that that was the way that he could have he could have won the situation and the video would be fucking an hour shorter. So that would be a, a benefit too. an hour shorter. Shit. Fucking could have. Uh, if we're talking about being that That's charitable and stuff, that whole that whole video could have been like 15 minutes then 10 minutes. I mean, you don't even need the flying nun section because it's like. Oh, yeah, it was absolutely about wanting to nuke me. It was, yeah, it was, it was absolutely about and Kretosis trying was just to sabotage like my image collateral. and our mutual mutual viewership. Yeah, well, that's that's the weird thing is why is Kretosis in it? Why was anybody other than me in it? Right? Because it's not it's not supposed to look personal. Yeah, it's spread I mean, out. He said it. Out. He's. I like he said he, it. It's not personal. He watched two hours of Kretosis videos just to make it not personal. <laughs> You could have done the entire thing as a Twitter post. It's fine if he wants to do it as a video. And it sounds like an interesting idea. Let's talk about the history of Emil Hay. You know what? You know what? Interesting idea. I wish that's what the video was actually about. <laughs> I think we pointed it out with like the timeline thing that like the timeline didn't make any sense with it. I wonder how he felt after Emil posted on Twitter that he thought this whole thing was stupid. <laughs> like... he was like well hopefully my audience doesn't see it all right let's boot up mcc again hopefully my audience doesn't use why was uh... zarek in it uh, again strength in numbers and uh affiliating with the wrong people you know he took a he took a shotgun approach to this you know he threw through asmund gold in there which was mm -hmm. definitely ill-advised it is an idea of all time yeah. <laughs> oh, putting fuck, asmund gold the volume sorry chat putting asmund gold in like a well it's kind of smart in something like is it i is equated he... it to sticking your dick in electrical outlet because you know he's gonna clap back and uh, Why because am I suddenly getting all these achievements. Uh, maybe we couldn't get them because we were on the previous version, and now they're all flagging. <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> what wow. a game! Well, maybe that's a, maybe that's a Steam issue. Yeah. Hey, there we go. The infight actually sent. All right. So legendary. Uh, what? Oh. Fuck, I forgot we were doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's do some uh, coastal we're, we're, highway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get some skulls on here. Wait, which ones? Some fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got the... I still got the stream up. 
Oh, oh, you hit it on the stream. Damn it. You should be able to see it. You called me a cuck. Well, see, I don't buy that that's what this is about. Really? Oop, did you get dropped? Uh, I'm loading. I'm on the main menu. Uh, Spartan Ops, everybody. Yeah, this was like half the time we'd boot up Spartan Ops, too. <laughs> I'm still loading. Maybe it was because I alt-tabbed while my, while my game Rookie was loading. mistake. Yeah, it's like taking forever to load. Yeah, it just says like connecting now. I, I got know this a, game installed on an SSD. There's I know no a forum full anymore. of idiots who are agreeing with Never Knows Best. Of course, there's going to be people who agree with him. The reason the video on, was successful on Reddit. The video was successful subreddit. among people who already disliked me. Case in point, uh, super rad strategy. Um, Didn't even think about super that? rad. Did no, he, he make it? Yeah, he made a comment about how, like how it was a really good video. Super rad was your favorite part of the Never Knows Best video when he weaponized his dead sister and played sad <laughs> violin music in the background. That was my favorite part of his video. Who is uh, Emil's? Yeah. Yeah, that was... De definitely one of the tactics of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Emil's, like, he's a, he's a really cool guy. He just, he posts really fun, upbeat stuff on Twitter, and, uh, oh, yeah, he's, mm. he's, I don't give he's a going fuck through what he does on Twitter. You know what? He's a nice guy. You don't know if I'm a nice person or not. So shut up. It doesn't matter. Strategy you dislikes you? Oh yeah, strategy's like really fake. Oh, okay. Remember, some... remember when I ranted about the fucking strategy comment that he left while we were watching the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking a. And that guy flopped like a wet noodle too. As when my response came out, he was in Zarek's chat, like walking back what he said. Walking back what he said against you? Yeah. Did which which was interesting because his comment was like more something that we could engage with than anything never was saying. Yeah, I don't know. This this isn't gonna work for some reason. It, oh no, Halo Four doesn't work. Crashed again. It doesn't. It's not crashing. It's just going I was to main like menu. like booting you to main menu. I wonder if like it's just. Uh, Nat, we gotta check our Nat settings. Remember that. Oh yeah. Yeah, because they fucking reset the thing. All right. Uh, it's literally going to be quicker if I alt F. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you do it? I don't remember. MCC, could you just work? No. The, the, it was functioning too well. They had to give an update. Well, we can always go back to Spartan Ops, or not Spartan Ops. We can always oh, go back to ODST. That was the joke I was yeah. saying, was that, uh, oh no, it's a terrible... <laughs> yeah, going through all this effort to fucking play Spartan Ops. And this is how Spartan Ops is. They don't want you to play it. Yeah, they want you to forget. At work. Xbox Live. How do you do it? I thought it was just like in network settings, but I don't see it there. I remember we had to do something like in our fucking like control panel. That's the thing is like, I don't think this is, I think uh, Halo ODST, safer bet. Mm -hmm. Guys, you're missing an amazing, amazing set of missions. Watch this be broken now, too. Yeah, if this is broken, then we gotta fix it. Thanks, fucking 3 for 3 for updating in the middle of our stream. <laughs> Listen, this is part of the I fun swear. of playing Modern Halo, is it just not working. I swear, like, some of these developers and stuff just... Watch our want stream. us to make yeah just want us to make fun of them push they that update now so ammunition listen patrician 
the streaming. Okay, so ODST works. Well, they wouldn't dare fuck this game up. How would we know what he feels unless he takes the helmet off? You know, Dare ne Dare almost never wears her helmet. They blew it up in the first uh, mm -hmm. in the first act. They had to get that off. Nope. No idea what they're thinking. Nothing at all. How would we know? Captain, how about you hang back? Let us clear a path. Agreed. I'll stay with the asset. Give it close cover. All oh, right, my. She looks like Willem getting... Dafoe. She looks like a, a a female model on the Xbox 360. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it was a rough time. <laughs> Two hundred fifty-six megabytes of RAM. That's what they had to deal with for like. I think it was five twelve. The uh, PS3 was, was two was two fifty six. Yeah, but the cell, the cell. What a just interesting time period for video games. It really does make me wonder how poorly uh, the new Xbox is doing in terms of sales. If like, because they stuck it out with the one. Like, they really, uh... Well, that was going to be a TV platform, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I sure am glad go. that part of video game history is dead and forgotten. No, we're still living with the fucking stupid-ass aftermath of it. Remember Quantum Break? I remember uh, memes of Quantum Break. Uh, you, there, people were bait posting. It, right? No. What? What do you mean you didn't play Quantum Break? <laughs> I didn't have an Xbox One. What about Heavy Rain? Did you play Heavy Rain? That was the same developer, right? I thought Heavy Rain was a PlayStation game. It was. Oh wait, no, no, no. Quantum Break was made by Remedy. Who's, who made? Who later who made, made Control? Yeah, yeah. Who made fucking Heavy Rain? Uh, David Cage's company. Yeah. Whoopsie. You're mixing up your TV TV games. <laughs> and the Last of Us is actually doing well on HBO, so. Well, what's funny is Death Stranding 2 is a thing. So. It's almost like at least having some interesting gameplay is important. <laughs> is it Jason or I Sean? Just... Sean. No, 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 it is Jason. Yeah, it's Jason. Sean's uh, Fallout. No, there were multiple Sean games. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> it's both. Jason. Jason. Oh, there's a Sean in that game too. Press X to say to yell Jason. He has two kids, Jason and Sean. He lost both his kids. <laughs> parent of the year, right there. Average PlayStation parent. <laughs> the big question is: Do I have to have Jason on my ship? Fucking Sam Co. <laughs> Ooh. The uh, voice okay. actor for Sam's pretty annoying too. Uh, old DSX guy. Oh, that's where he's from. Yeah, he's the main character from Deus Human Revolution. Oh, Adam okay. Jensen. He's really annoying on Twitter. Yeah, I saw like some drama or shit going on with that. Where 
you going exactly? Waterfront Highway. No, oh, let's do that again. That was really fun. You know, they um can't that thing move any faster? All the shooting is frightening. Want me to give it a little push? Sure try to help. Banter? God. Uh, did, that, did, that just, <laughs> uh, did that just happen? God, I was Heller playing in my head right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to spoil the spoil the, the discovery? Oh god. No, I don't I don't know, should we? Uh <laughs> God. I, I'm gonna leave that up to you. That's your video. I th I think we could spoil it, but you have to you have to pull it up. You have to pull up the video and shit. You have to pull up the uh, the clip. God, that was insane. Let me search our chat or Reddit. Okay. Well, okay. Hit it, rookie. Starfield's the game that just keeps on giving. Well, yeah, that's exactly what fucking Todd Howard said. The more you give Starfield, the more it gives back. God, it's a Reddit link, though. Hang on. Uh, need to... Mute Halo. I know. I know, chat. But you can blame Reddit for this. That's, the That's barely audible. No, wait, that, that showed up on your channel. Listen closely, chat, okay? That's the okay. So what you're hearing is from the July 2022 kind of demo that they did. Um, yeah, the first the first gameplay reveal. Yeah. And that was uh, what we strongly believe at the time was the Rick and Morty actor Justin Roiland uh, playing Heller because that's the way that his lines are written and then I just realized to watch together just like in the background uh, that was from 2022 and then Royland got cancelled when did this happen they started showing up he got uncancelled later but he was cancelled until now to tell me that Oh, he got uncanceled? Oh, yeah, I'm he sorry. Got let off I was a little charges. busy making sure perfume over here didn't take oh, around really? and blow us all up. Yeah. Eddie Buck, always thinking of the dumb, never seems to want to work. Me? What about you? Oh, yeah, so he got canceled, and then they changed his voice actor, and then he got uncanceled, but that was after Starfield came out. Well, here I am. That makes it even better. And then also, it's not even like far fetched because he did the crossover, mm -hmm. the collaboration with Fallout seventy six. No, I fully Ninja, believe that Heller so. was voiced by uh, the Rick and Morty actor. Yeah. Yeah. So the adoring fan wasn't the only meme follower we were gonna get. Mm hmm. I what? I want to believe that the adoring fan was like emergency backup meme follower. <laughs> Listen to Rick and Morty. Why did they Rick emphasize Heller so much? I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, what's that? The face? He, you could see his face through the visor? I like how this game doesn't have the issue that uh, Starfield Ooh, how do we has. Even, how do we even split this up? What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Dude, you guess... could take the gunner and let Buck be in the passenger. Well, once we get like ghosts, yeah. Hey, uh, Captain? Pick a lane. I like how I'm having input lag now. Thanks, three for three. <laughs> they patched the game to uh, make Halo Four not work and give uh, ODST input lag. Um. Oh. I swear I saw that grenade go past us. <laughs> we're we're Plus, too thrown because I swear I saw it like fly over the hood of our three four three. 
just released an update. We gotta it's give it. It's gonna the... be a bit rough, you yeah. know. They're gonna. They have to release a hot fix later tonight. Hey, uh, Captain. It's not like they've been developing this game. You know what's crazy? Three for three has had the Halo franchise longer than Bungie did. Yeah. And literally, all they have to do is just make the games accessible. Uh oh. Buck knew what to do. <laughs> I instant respawned. Oh. Uh, all right. I'll drive then. I'll let Buck drive. How about that? You want to get sticky needed. Ooh, let's drive into that. That looks like fun. I remember in uh, Spartan Ops where we'd give all the <laughs> all the fucking Marines like uh, fuel rod cannons yeah. and shit, and then get them get we them into the party. Die. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Oh no, party. that was infinite. No, it was in both. Because you could both. You could spawn the party van and yeah, yeah, yeah. and rocket No, it was, it was in both though. I, I I think right. We were just doing mongooses. Yeah, there that's weren't what enough. There were enough power weapons in Spartan Ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anybody, did anybody ever mod this game to replace the brutes with elites? The brutes aren't bad. It's just good question. I want to play a version of this uh, with the elites. Oh shit. Still going. I like that he remembers his position. I gotta get the medic pack. Yeah, I've been beeping for like a few minutes now. What's that? There's two med packs there. Consideration for co-op by instantly. <laughs> instantly dead. Whoopsie. <laughs> that, like, didn't even have a chance to react there. That's alright. Oh, did you give Buck the fuel rod? Yeah. Well, that's what you do. Mm hmm. I always felt like this set piece was really cool. It is. This, yeah, and this, this game has a lot of. has its moments. It has a lot of moments. You can tell it's a game that was crafted with a lot of care and love. You know, they were like, okay, we're contractually obligated to make this game, but that doesn't mean we're, we're at least going to pass it. Yeah, we're not going to phone it in. Halo Reach felt like they were phoning it in. I'll say that. Uh, I feel like that's kind of a controversial take. I think by that point, they were more like, we're this game is just a test bed for uh, ideas that we're going to be sticking into Destiny. Ooh, nice hitching there. Is that a functional wraith? Rouge was made by a different team. Oops. Ooh, no, don't don't start that narrative. Oh. Uh. Actually, Reach was made by uh, Bethesda Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but people like to Reach. No, 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 it was made by Bethesda, Maryland. We like Reach this week. <laughs> That's what it is, too, is just keep flip-flopping on whether Reach was a good game. I still have Fallout 76 installed. I'm tempted to boot it up and just see what the AC DLC is like. I heard it's a fucking expedition, so it's probably like a two-hour thing. It's probably like two hours of content. Yeah, I have it installed for B-roll for uh, Starfield. 
I'm glad. You know, I saw Starfield in this account's uh, it, library. That was the first time I've seen Starfield in a while, and... Uh, that must be a nice feeling. No, it, it was like a, it was like seeing your ex in public. <laughs> the input lag is getting worse. Uh, it's just, <laughs> listen, Spartan Ops. You it's wanted to play Spartan Ops, right? It's now affecting my mouse. Like, before it was just my movement. Now it's my mouse and movement, and the lag is getting worse. It's like I said. It's like the developers watch us, and they just want to give us ammunition. Yeah. And this is how we end up committing, to, like, saying we're going to do, like a destiny project or something like that it's just because like when we're playing the games yeah they're like horrible live shit happens it. yeah and yeah you had somebody laughing. reach out to you uh offering to yesterday. do yesterday yeah yeah I, I gotta respond back to him i haven't responded what's I'm the secret like to making spartan ops fun in co-op uh irony Ooh, goss I like how we both had the same, like, thought, so the goss, not even any discussion, it's just like... Fuck. <laughs> Hurry up. He's gonna, he's gonna walk. We were complimenting you earlier, don't make us look foolish now. At this now we got a party van going the party van uh the party bus and in infinite was fucking amazing though infinite was like uh, gameplay wise it was fine yeah it, 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 it had it the had same like, network issues yeah oh well i mean it's 343 product so you know that yeah. game still has like serious net code desync mm -hmm. issues and they've like basically said they're done working on the game yeah well, they got to no. make Halo 7. Yeah. Uh, war so war like, never ends. So, like, yeah. All these shots, by the way. That game's just going to forever be this sad, fucked up. It's going to be like Anthem, pretty much. It's had, like, such big ambitions, spent all this time and money on it, and then just fucking abandoned it because the launch was so abysmal. I would have liked if they had made no, a single player expansion for it. I liked the, funny the goofy grapple shot and like infinitely spawning yeah. things. No, that's the funny thing is like they abandoned the part that they should have focused more on to work on the part that was like basically dead on arrival. Yeah. But listen. It had like a week. They it could... had a week where people were like, "Yeah, Halo's back, baby." Oh, we got Halo's so again. fucking back. Yeah, you who take. Uh, who should take the scorpion? I guess I'll take the scorpion, and yeah, you. Take it. I'll try and find a ghost. I no, no, let Buck, Buck is kind of doing work. Yeah. Yeah. Let let him cook. Yeah, I'll let you take the scorpion because the input lag is getting worse. <laughs> Yeah, I realize like, oh, driving and shooting. I don't yeah. think uh, that's gonna work. With the input lag. <laughs> At least with that, you just have to drive Buck around. It's like almost a full second now. <laughs> it's a degenerative issue. Uh, it's the rookie's. Uh, he's a flash clone of the of, my, <laughs> of me. Like he's falling apart for our eyes. You know what I wanted from a Halo TV show? Alzi like interrogating a Flash clone to get information. Because apparently cl Flash clones inherit the memories. I guess they'd have to. The whole Flash clone plotline in the books at least made sense because they were cloning kids and the dumb fucks. Yeah. I remember in Starfield when they just introduced cloning. Yeah. Just, it was offhandedly. Just, yeah. Adrian, yeah, she's a clone. 
never literally has nothing to do with anything. She really could have just been his daughter. Yeah. But no, she's she's a clone because we're going to introduce cloning into this setting and never use it for anything. Never do anything with it. Did you add in parts about the uh, side content or is that still out? No, nah, I'm not not really getting into it. That's the amazing part is it's... The video is four hours long and I'm just talking about the fucking yeah. gameplay and main story. Well, it's like all the side content adds nothing positive to it. It's the whole deal. No. Well, like I say, I say my conclusion. The reason I'm not talking about it is because I would literally just be, it, it would be me padding the runtime of the video because yeah. everything that I said is just as applicable to uh, the side content. It's literally the same. Like Starfield's issues are systemic. Man, Buck is just on fire. Ooh. Veronica, please. Back to whiffing shots. I don't know why I decided to go through Starfield to see how mandatory space encounters are. So far, I've done the four main factions and have eight. And most of them were probably in the Crimson Fleet. Yeah. I mean, I'll give the Crimson... I'll give Emo credit with the Crimson Fleet. At least the Crimson Fleet remembers space exists in this game. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, like, those other factions could just have been, like, fallout stories i wonder if they were like yeah reject fallout stories <laughs> like they were doing fallout texas and then like uh had to cancel last minute bring it marty I can't see his face. How do I know what he's feeling? <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Fuck. Please don't get in that. Uh oh. Alright, I guess we're getting back in the uh, blown out. Oh no! Well, alright. I guess, guess we're walking. Unless you want to get in the, uh, in the gunless hog. Sorry, Dare, we're having a bit of a situation back here. So do you think they're going to add vehicles to Starfield? Man. They need to. Add a, add a Mako. I'm trying to, like, envision it. I, I can't see it is the whole issue. Right? Like, bait, launch Skyrim, I could see mounted combat. I couldn't see vehicles in Starfield. We do work streams for the WoW video. That's the complicated part is... Uh, how does that work? There's not very many WoW videos. That's one of my reasons for picking up yeah. it up as a topic was that almost nobody's actually tried to do it. Uh, we might want to grab one of the party vans just to. Uh... That's yeah. Hey, you can shoot from the back this thing. I did not know that. Nah, she's fine. You have to have four players for the Vidmaster achievement. 
but I don't know why you keep bringing it up. Yes. Veronica, wait here. Rookie, let's secure that building. I remember when we were playing Firefight? Yeah. Remember when we were fighting the flood in ODST? <laughs> Which, uh, like, OD ODSTs would be wiped by, uh, flood. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Thoughts on the recent Avad showcase? It looked like Fantasy Outer Worlds. Looks really like clunky and weird, and the writing felt really off, and the voice actor didn't match like the uh, the character that they were playing as. So high hopes. And that was the thing that they said best represented the writing and stuff in their game. So yeah. Redfall 2 confirmed? Outer Worlds 2. Remember Outer Worlds 2? Oh, yeah. That that trailer? Why did they make I, that trailer? Uh, For the investors? Was that around 2018? Mm. The Fallout 76 and that whole thing? Uh, No, it was after that. Were they already owned by Microsoft by then? Yeah. They were owned by Microsoft before Bethesda. Oh, right. Yeah, I I've, I was thinking they got bought by Microsoft, or uh, bought by Bethesda, and then Bethesda... Uh, no, it's the other way around. Oh. Oopsie. I guess my response to every death is just, oops. <laughs> Ooh. Reminds me how some Armored Core 6 story reviews said Armored Core 6 story was bland. We couldn't see the characters' faces. No, like, uh, it's a, it's a modern plague. Sure. These are the reason... These are the people that, uh... They're the reason why we can't have, like, uh... Why North American covers have to have, uh, characters on them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's just like, you know, I went to theater when I was in high school, and like, half the time you can't even fucking Jeez. see their face. <laughs> I mean, we had some shitty-ass seats when we would go to plays and stuff. You basically just had to go off of voice. You didn't bring binoculars? <laughs> God damn, that would suck. I bought a pair of binoculars recently, and after like 10 minutes of using it, I was getting a headache. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's why, like, in the movies and stuff, they kind of just, like, peek through them and then stop. Yeah. We need a pistol for these guys. Whoa, five hunters. <laughs> we need a... We need a firefight mode that's just hunters. The I Halo mean, Infinite you can make mode. That now. <laughs> you can make that in this. You can set really? all. The, yeah, you could just set all the waves to be hunters. I didn't know you could do like custom waves mm -hmm. and shit. The rare three four three W. Hmm. I wonder. What's going on? Oh, he's driving in. Who said that? It was you. This map's pretty a pretty good uh, firefight map too. Yeah, that's why they uh, they end the game with it here. You know, yeah, get it's you, like go play firefight like, now. Yeah, if you want to keep playing. Or go try out Mythic Edition. 
We could uh, go play Halo 3 multiplayer. Just, like the disc also had all the multiplayer maps and stuff installed on it. And the Halo Reach beta. Right, yeah. No, it was $60, but Bungie, like, they really tried to make it worth your money. Are we missing somebody? Yeah, the wraiths. We gotta go over there and destroy them now. It's like that, uh... That uh, map No, we are in... missing somebody. You know, the, He's, uh, like, caught on a piece of terrain. Really? He's, like, stuck jetpacking, yeah. <laughs> Bungie. Now, is that a... See, that? that's what I love about, um... About MCC. Is that, like, you can just give, like, all the credit to Bungie when things are going well, and then all the blame to 343. Three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if they would just, like, port the game and have a consistent version... Mm -hmm. Like, I don't get the constant updating. I like this body that's just, like, frozen in the air. I can't tell. Is Romeo hurt or something? I need to see his face. I need to see the pained expression on his face. Play Spartan Ops. That depends on 3 for 3. <laughs> we can try again. Maybe maybe the servers were broken or something like that. Yeah. Maybe maybe they're... I don't, they had to be spooled I don't know. up. They were like, oh, somebody yeah. wants to play Halo 4 Spartan Ops? We'll have to spool it up. Maybe they'll try again <laughs> in 20 minutes. We have to boot up the server. <laughs> We were right, uh, using those surfers to train, train uh, chat GPT. What's he, what's he feeling right now? What is, what's this alien character feeling? We need to make this alien character a human in the adaptations. Make the Arbiter a human woman. I really do love how like Bungie stepped up to the challenge with this, and they're like. Yeah, how do we how do we humanize the rookie without ever showing his face or giving him a voice? And then they gave him like ambiguous animations too, so you can read different interpretations of like what he's thinking, so you can better self-insert. It just no, just how the would little you know? things, you know. How would you know? Nah, next time they need to make the rookies. Rookie, take off his helmet, and it needs his uh, armor needs to be painted in yellow. <laughs> paint his lips and eyebrows with yellow spray paint. <laughs> we actually found a uh, high contrast colors makes it so uh, people can the audience can better relate to the uh, to the character. Helmets off. What about you? What about us? What I like to do is like the, the animations are so basic and rudimentary mm -hmm. that like they might as well have their helmets on. Yeah. I remember when uh when the humans were forerunner. Oh my god, it's doing the thing for my video. <laughs> How do you communicate that we're leaving a place? Oh god, I just remembered I have to go back to editing Starfield tonight. <laughs> it's a project that never ends. The never-ending Starfield project. I don't get I don't give a fuck. Like Bethesda can shut down tonight. I am not revising my uh my <laughs> conclusion anymore. Beyond beyond this. Five times is enough. I'm done. But Todd Howard just got fired. <laughs> It'll be in the live stream. Yeah, the after show live stream. Oh, and Todd Howard fired. Invasion, home field. I'm not even going to bother with the skulls. 
At this point, I yeah. just want to see if it works. Yeah. I mean, we we know the answer, but... And I'm on the main menu. <laughs> Alt F4. I bet what... I guarantee what happened is probably just... It, like, failed to install it correctly. Mm, probably. Have you tried verifying? See, the thing is, is that you need to download everything. Oh yeah, it didn't have the, it. it didn't have the multiplayer mm -hmm. selected. All right, cool. We're downloading something now. Let's see if that works. What are your tips for analyzing games, specifically in the context of a video? Just make it really long, and nobody will ever criticize you. <laughs> Make it long enough that people just second monitor it. Tips for analyzing games specifically in the context of a video. Um, if you're asking that question, I'm assuming it's your first attempt at it. Um, in that case, pick a game that you're familiar with and that you're passionate about. Yeah, you could like and talk to find... somebody about and like really yeah. go in depth, like. When we talk about the little things in Halo, that's the kind of like passion you should feel when you try to analyze something. Yeah, pick a idea like think of the games that you've like talked your friends' ears off about and go with those games as your first uh as your first few projects. Which usually and for the love of God, advice. don't do an eight hour video like right off the right off the bat. Yeah, do like ten minutes on some specific part that you really like. Yeah. Oh, I got more points. I can buy more stuff in the exchange now. Oh, thank God. Uh, I can get Hurt Romeo. He's he's on discount right now. Mm -hmm. I, see, I see that. You want to play as Hurt Helmet, Helmetless Ro Romeo? Did you get Sergeant Johnson? No, I don't. Oh, I can. You can get Bug Splattered Buck Helmet mm -hmm. on. Yeah, all the variants. Injured Romeo, helmet game. on. I mean, that's another thing about MCC. They added all those uh, variants for the cutscene characters as playable. That's neat. That's like a Star Wars uh, Jedi Knight thing. They have poses now? When you would play multiplayer Jedi Knight, it's like, select your character model, and it's like some random guy from some fucking mission that's like on screen for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to main that guy. That'll be twenty bucks, please. Yeah, and and a ten ninety nine a month for the battle pass. That's that's what the that's what the kids are missing, you know. Hmm. Uh, Chungus Gamer has a good suggestion. Don't make yourself the cuck in your own analogy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one. You have been sent an invite. Oh boy, I wonder what we're going to be playing. I hope it's like... Um, I hope it's something fun. It's this like, new game, uh, Halo Infinite? Uh, yeah, like Halo 3. The... Oh, yeah, I think it... oh god, it's actually going to work now. Yeah, I like that it didn't tell me what the issue was, which was that I needed to, to go re-enable Halo 4 multiplayer because it didn't save it because it was fucking... They updated the game. Oh, God, no loadouts. Oh, my God. Yes, this is even better. <laughs> oh, no. What happened to my loadouts? Uh, Look at this cutscene. This is this is a cutscene, guys. <laughs> Going from Halo ODST to this. Wasn't this on another console generation, too? No, this was still the 360. Oh, this is still 360? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so you instantly died. Don't worry, though, chat. Don't worry. My We're both dead. fucked up, too. Because it's Halo 4. <laughs> One second. I gotta change my keybind. <laughs> Welcome to Spartan Ops, fuckers. <laughs> 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 this is the 
This is what this was three four three's first entry. <laughs> This this is uh this was them trying to do the uh, infinite business model, infinite episodic business model. All right, can we actually spawn in now without being murdered by people? <laughs> nope. Sorry. Uh, armor ability will put on Q. You you, you specific you really feel like a Spartan, specifically the Gen three <laughs> ones that died on ma in mass. <laughs> Yeah, this is that one operation that they did with the Spartan 3s. I just... I just love Spartan with the AR, dude. Oh, at least I have a pistol. All well, right, listen, all right. the meta is to assassinate. Oh, 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 remember? Oh, God, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, the skill set. The... No, 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 the, the input lag. Oh. The input lag is even oh. worse. Yeah, because it's My... Halo 4. <laughs> My input's like a full second delayed right now. <laughs> I'm getting fucking bodied by a crate. Damn it, I had a DMR too. Welcome to Saving Private Sessions. <laughs> oh no. You know what we have to do? Oh god, what's. Oh god. Do we have sprint? We have sprint. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, what's you my know, armor? You ability? know what we have to do. What's my armor ability? We do I have, we have an one. armor ability? The default loadouts don't have armor abilities or any of the modifiers equipped. <laughs> so they've really done us uh, a favor. Alright, alright. I'll... Oh my god. Alright, alright. So... Uh, we know what to do here, because these are all gold elites, right? Yeah. I almost had one. <laughs> Listen, you did it to yourself. You turned the fucking skulls on. Yeah. It wasn't made <laughs> to be played with skulls. Alright, I almost had one. <laughs> This might actually be impossible without custom loadouts. Because custom loadouts get, include, like, this... like e extra shields and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting, like, horrific hitching and stuff, too. It's great. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. <laughs> Why are they so gang fast? Gangbang, gangbang. <laughs> oh, there you go. We got one. We killed one. Two more. Uh, yes, I got one. This is what you. This is how you play Spartan Ops, <laughs> folks. I'm so glad that people are finally oh, getting exposed clown cars. to this. Oh god, I'm dead for the clown car. <laughs> How many hunters? Oh no, uh, it's just more it, gold just elites. More fuel rod elites. <laughs> is this a mod or legit game? No, this is unironically <laughs> Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Sorry, Halo Infinity. Uh, the Spartan Ops mode that 343 released. <laughs> Three grenades just came at me at once. <laughs> oh god, this is this is this is like the first night again because I'm it's like it's it's slowly yeah, it's got coming the back lag. to me. Yeah. The input lag is like genuine to our first night doing this. Oh the input lag too, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean like just my reaction to this, because it's like I forgot. Or rather I suppressed those memories. And just in case anybody's wondering, One yes, we did play time. through the entire campaign like this. Oh, except <laughs> for the last mission, we did use, we uh, use cheats on that yeah, one. Yeah, we used the cheat skull. Used... Yeah, yeah. And then we're just flying around with the fucking, with the hard light shields yeah. just splattering them. <laughs> I think we, we do have to show that one off, too. That is a that is funny a tactic. Classic. I feel like I should take care of some of the ads. <laughs> so, so Chad, do you like how uh, do you like how death is literally meaningless? <laughs> well, death can't have a meaning when you got to clear six gold elites. <laughs> oh my god, my face hurts. 
This is like, uh, for <laughs> gamers, this is like 80s uh, VHS movies. <laughs> Just bad co-op modes that from uh, like the mid-2010s. Oh. They're all there, too. Oh, my God. Uh, you're, you're seeing all those grenades pop yes. up on your screen, like the six grenade indicators. We took two of them out, though, yeah. so. Yeah, we got a third of their force down. See, this, this is when it sucks, when you have to clear the whole room just to get to them. All right, one. There we go. The, the input lag does make it really difficult, though. Two. Nice. And notice we're not picking up the Fjord guns. <laughs> no, they're fucking worthless. Oh, yeah, the roundhouse kicks. I forgot about that. Three. I think he got stuck. Four. Yeah, the, uh, the, the input lag is kind of busting my balls. This is it. baby stim videos, but for overweight men. <laughs> oh my now god. You take so what, what was this even mission even about? I don't remember. Uh... <laughs> I feel like uh, I just got an adrenaline shot. Is, is everything on the ship busted? The ship's new. So why was it called Halo Infinite? Do you think they were pissed off? They were like, fuck, we can't call it Halo Infinity. Yeah, we can't reference because the we already episodic that episodic business name. model. Because we already... <laughs> God yes. forbid we, you know, like, come up with something. Like, just pretend that Spartan games, Ops never happened. I think Halo the Infinity existed in. The infinity in infinite? Yeah, it's at the start. They blow it up. Yeah, because it's in four, it's in five. It's in this. Yeah, they kill like and all then the it Spartan gets blown up. Halo Infinite is like very cathartic in those ways. <laughs> What's this? Headshot enemies? You can actually like kill something? I can actually use my gun. Oh man. Dude, the input lag. It, the input lag so bad. Listen, you're doing your best. You have six kills. And most of them were probably elites. <laughs> that you assassinated. Oh, yeah, the ammo. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> oh, oh, no, okay. I thought this this was the wave. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nondescript up. ammo boxes. When the, when it calms down, we have to we have to show people the ammo box ads. <laughs> I love dying because it gives me back my fucking piss. Oh yeah, <laughs> intentionally dying so you get your loadout yeah. weapons. Back. <laughs> I can't not hear what the fuck the whatever the dialogue is supposed to be going on. <laughs> is it because the the dialogue is just like screaming, or is it because of the fucking? It's like, because the dialogue music. <laughs> they're doing like there's gunfire going on in their scene, but it just sounds like gunfire that's going on in this scene. Oh my god, I have rubber banding now. <laughs> Listen, it's degenerative. You know, they're giving you the the Stephen Hawking uh, <laughs> roleplay. I wasn't even landing those shots, but it was still registering it. So at least the the lag the lag is counting for something at least. Hey, you know what to do. I'll take care of the uh, take care of the headshot enemies. Crimson, deactivate that lift to gain access to the all right, all right, all right. Come over here. Come over here. All right, chat. Whoop. What do you? How do you think these work, chat? <laughs> yep. That's the best part. There's no They're sound. Even... There's no sound. There's no like in. There's no haptic indicator that it's going on. Just whoop, more ammo. <laughs> At least we can get a DMR. I feel like I'm playing on ice right now. <laughs> Does it get more authentic than that?
love this now, art was, style too. This is what human ships looked like before, definitely. If there was ever, uh, if there was ever there? a game that needed yellow paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because this oh is like a brain off game mode. I mean, this is just <laughs> dude. Like... The hitching is getting. I'm, I'm like hitching every uh, ten seconds. Oh, now. thank God, the saw. You want a saw? Absolutely. And thank God for the boxes of grenades. Oh no, this... Oh God, it's all coming back. Yeah, this part. <laughs> these pointless hallways. This, such a good... Dude, such a good choice. These are like Doom snap maps. Oh, thank God, the shotgun. Hey, remember like that map that we went back to 10 times? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> uh, the the one <laughs> the one with the fucking grav lift saw that you have to like run for ten miles because the spawn points on the other side of the map. And there's no cover. Oh my god, dude, it's all coming back. I, ser I, I seriously repress these memories. I still have the footage, too. Yeah, I've got all the footage, too. Oh, my sprinting's, uh, my sprinting is now lagging. Oh, this yeah. It's fascinating, you... like, watching my, uh, experience just deteriorating. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing they gave me so many saws because I right, just one elite keep is dying. Down. Oh yeah, and if you, if you get a power weapon in this mode, you won't have it for <laughs> long because you'll die and it will despawn. <laughs> you can't use the saw. You, it's your own damn fault. Like you're playing with skulls on. You're not supposed to be playing with skulls mm -hmm. on. It's ex it's an experimental feature. It says so in the UI. It really should say that in the UI. Like, this experience was not designed for yeah. skulls. Halo 4, Are you sure Halo you want 4 to Spartan Ops yourself? did not have skulls back in the day. It was not this bad back in the day. <laughs> so if you don't have that esoteric knowledge... You're I mean, just it's gonna... still bad with, with the skulls off. Oh, yeah. But, like, if you don't have that esoteric knowledge, you're not going to know why the experience with skulls on is so fucking just whack. Oh god, guess what? We I think we only have elites left. Fuck, that's preferable. I feel like we make more progress when it's just elites. <clears throat> I thought Sour was missing in this. Is this I think the one it's where she just next keeps one. calling them hinge heads? No, that's every episode. <laughs> every episode, Sarah Palmer <sighs> uses racial slurs to describe the elites. I am, dude, I am literally skating around right now. This is insane. Fuck, I can't even make fun of Starfield here. This is worse. No, this is worse than Starfield. This is <laughs> funny. <Yeah. laughs> I genuinely Man, think that like this is like our... Uh, red letter media, best of the worst type. Oh Shawan. yeah, this this is the room of uh, co-op experiences. Can we play something good. No, we, we have to, tried. We have to finish the 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 infinite. What is it? A two or three parter? What? The the number of missions on this fucking ship. Ah, uh, it's definitely a three parter. I think, isn't it the whole fucking thing? It's like the whole episode, isn't it? It's like five. <laughs> I don't think it's five. I think it's well, four. Is it, isn't episodes like I think the first four? the first mission was like us being kidnapped, and then we had to like escape. Remember when we were kidnapped? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you kidnap people who are immortal and can just continuously <laughs> respawn? You just don't let them kill themselves. Unload is gone. He's gonna shoot himself. So 53 kills, 36 deaths. I still have a positive KD. <clears throat> nice.
Now I'm telling you, like the input lag is, just, it this is like almost impossible for me. Oh shit! I got an elite. All right. I died doing it, but you know what? I'll take a trade. At least we on haven't gotten to the part of this mission that the Prometheans are in. <laughs> Please no. Oh. <laughs> the hunters. Don't you love the music that's playing yes. right now, too? <laughs> it's just like the same four chords repeated. <laughs> can I, uh, can I get some markers on the stragglers? <laughs> oh, yeah. The, uh, the inconsistent use of, like, the red markers. Because, mm -hmm. like, sometimes they'll say, oh, pick off the stragglers, and they give you markers. And then, uh, like, right now, they don't. Oof. I, I like the the one second lag that I got in the middle of a firefight. This isn't a firefight. <clears throat> it's a slaughter. This is Soviet wave tactics. Oh yeah, the plasma pistol charging sound effect too. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. The fact that we're doing this without custom loadouts is like... Yeah, is even better. Oh, the music <laughs> just turned off. <laughs> that didn't happen the first time. <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh, do you like the fucking dogs materializing in front of you? <laughs> oh, All right, my chat, shot. Now I know why it. they gave a sh why they had a shotgun in the map, mm -hmm. and it's gone now because I died and dropped it. Uh, what was the strategy for the for the knights? What do you oh, think that's it is? right. You run up in me. <laughs> so, um, I think, I hope people are starting to understand why your name, your gamer tag, is what it is. Yeah. Why? Why? Why am I named Promethean Dog? <laughs> And ironically, this Promethean section is better than all the Covenant we fought so far. <laughs> Just because they, they die quicker. <coughs> oh, look. Which is a weird thing to say. Markers. I felt like it wasn't usually true that the Prometheans died quicker. I remember I, there's when no he was watchers, telling us so. to mop up, the, uh, mop up the stragglers. By the way, don't that... question how the Prometheans <laughs> can just teleport onto the Infinity and how this isn't an instant game over for <coughs> humans. No, nah, I, I love how, like, you're, uh, like, how hey, useless the radio chatter is because they're literally giving you misinformation. Oh, yeah, the animations. The random uh, first-person animations. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Hey, weren't we, like, just here? Are we already backtracking? Yeah, we, have, we, have, we have to go back to the hangar. Remember, the whole goal is to close that ha original hangar door. Why are we backtracking? What the fuck was that? Why are we backtracking? Because this is all the level they have, and they don't want to blow the engine room assets for the next level. Hey, remember how, like, some of these levels literally just reuse multiplayer maps? Yeah, like half of them are just multiplayer. Why maps isn't this a multiplayer map? This seems like a not... banger. This seems like a banger TDM map. Oh yeah, with all these choke points, especially with that Halo Four gameplay. Mm -hmm. oh, man, I can't even imagine. Hey, uh, three four three, Mass Effect One called. It wants its soundtrack back. I was just thinking of that. <laughs> earlier this stream.
I like the. I like how. <clears throat> what do you like? Go ahead. Uh, how Halo Infinite multiplayer has like a different soundtrack from its single player, and it's just like post rock. Yeah. It's just a com like completely different genre for like a completely. You want to talk about lack of cohesion? But go ahead. What were you gonna say about what? What you like about? I have no clue. I like how we're giving the audience like the true experience here of mm -hmm. us just laughing. Try dying, this out with your and... friends. <laughs> Play this with your friends. Yeah. Try this with your family. Make it a drinking game. Yeah, just pass the controller on death. <laughs> Take a drink every time they drop an odd number of <laughs> haunters. Unironically, don't do that. You probably will get alcohol poisoning. Well, I don't know, because by the time... The time it would take you to kill those five hunters, you probably would have sobered up. You know, sometimes I get the DMR and I'm like, cool. And then I die. Yeah, this is making me miss the, the DMR and the battle rifle. I don't Ooh, miss this... the battle rifle, it sucks. So... Th this uh elite just started like sprinting at you um but he was stuck against this railing and he just like which is literally yellow. just oh god the just... clown car is spewing out yeah. more <laughs> well, at least they're headshot enemies all right they're not gold elites <laughs> with fewer rod cannons oh my god i just remember that fucking boss fight in infinite yeah with the two brutes that had the uh whatever the, the concussion turret the is. concussion rifles or whatever the concussion no it was that weird turret yeah 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 god that was awful i didn't mean to shoot that what the fuck? uh the ai is like it's getting dumber well, it gets dumber as more enemies spawn in. <laughs> because even though this is running on modern tech, uh, the, okay. it's still limited by the, the limitations the of the 360. Yeah, I like how it dropped out. <laughs> the dynamic like, music can't die? even keep up with it. Yeah, so the problem is, the problem that I'm having right now is like, yeah, the AI is getting dumber, but my input lag is getting worse. Yeah, it's like a race. No, I'm... Dude, it's... It's so bad. Like I'm really struggling to melee those uh those elite. I'm just trying to hit the hands on these jackals. No, like serious seriously guys, we have how many hours of of okay. this shit did we play? Like probably 15 hours, 15 I think? 20 hours. Yeah, so we just have, we have like 20 hours of shit that's just, it's just this. And it's great. I feel like I could just like upload it unedited. The only problem is it has our old gamer tags on it. Oh shit, I forgot about that, yeah. That's and why, also, that's I why lost, I've never I uploaded the first the night. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, well, you know what we have to do then, right? We have to <laughs> replay it. Annual tradition, just replay Halo Halo uh, 4 Spartan Ops. Oh, Christ. Play it in the original Wait. weeks that they came out. Do you think it would be worse or better if we had two other people? If we had four people, like four content creators, this would be amazing. Yeah. Because I'm willing to bet the experience, like... Like, the net code crashes even harder. Mm -hmm. Like, just... The game's... The game has to fall apart with four players. There's no way. But yeah, like I was saying, the enemy AI gets dumber for each, like, unit that's spawned. Yeah, I'm literally counting right now. It's about three quarters of a second. 
black. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's considered firefight. <laughs> All right, do we play a better game or do we make loadouts? Uh, we make loadouts, dude. Come on. Uh, what was the god loadout? How do I make loadouts? It's in customization. Remember. Right. God it's loadouts like DMR, uh, fucking plasma pistol. Buried. Even though you eventually stop using the plasma pistol, LA is king. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want weapon skins. Would you rather play Spartan Ops or Starfield? No, Spartan Ops, absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, this uh, is at least like probably funny res and Resistor. Resistor, because it lets you not get slowed down by enemy fire so you can melee better and recharge. Uh, what were we using? Jetpack? No, Hard Light Shield. Hard Light Shield's way better. Jetpack was. Oh garbage. wait, one of one of us. I, I'm gonna roll the regen field. Yeah, you got. We got to show <laughs> how fucking terrible the regen field is. Uh, and what'd you say for the resistor? Resistor and the one that recharges shields. Shielding. Uh, Speeds up your armor's recharge. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, right. This is what the support fucking package. Which, like, none of them are really useful. Survivor prevents the operator's death. Yeah. It's four, oh, it's, right. uh, four missions. I forgot when you're changing the, oh. the level. It kicks me out. Yeah, okay. I'm done. I just want to get a second loadout. What's up, chat? Anybody donate? Customization. Just run around on a Halo 4 multiplayer map. It's the same thing. It really, it really isn't. No. It's a totally different experience. <clears throat> what a... God, man. This game has gone through so many have iterations seen... of its UI, and it's still just abysmal. Have you seen the fan funding tab in the, in the chat window? No. You can sort it by donations now see uh really yeah see to just get a few oh of all the yeah donos. and funding so what you're saying is set it to that and make everybody donate mm -hmm. donate to chat i mean i'm sure that's what it's for you've got like ten thousand viewers yeah starfield is a stream killer it actually is it is unironically like a content killer. Uh, there's been a bunch of content creators who've had uh personal you wanna, issues. You want to bring it. up? You want to bring up uh our ranter? Oh yeah. Uh, maybe you should introduce him, considering you've quarreled. Hey, has with it... him? Are you done? Uh, one sec. I'm almost done. I'm I'm putting I'm putting hard light shield on one of my fucking things. Remember Bethesda's Magnum Opus? Uh the guy that uh, what did I what did I pick out of his fucking review? He was talking about planets, I think, in my part. I picked some pretty inoffensive parts of his video. But TKS Mantis has uploaded not one but two rants and he's unlist unlisted one of them. Uh, ranting about why people didn't like his uh, Starfield coverage and how frustrated he was with the loss in viewership related to Starfield and how like right, I'm good it didn't turn into a, a opportunity like a connection to work with Bethesda uh you've he seen did. them more recently what what else what else what other funny things in the, is in there because it's like an hour <sighs> of him just ranting about uh Different the things. fact that their youtube Twitter... is his therapy oh yeah yeah youtube youtube's his therapy um the the hey the input you lags uh, i spoke too soon
Oh yeah, the inconsistent like some people get the get the camera fucking like face face cams, some people don't. Um but yeah yeah. The therapy uh they're not following him on Twitter. He did all this work for them with uh with his events. Years, years spent talking about their games. All that free advertisement. Mm -hmm. They won't even follow him on Twitter. It's disrespectful. Wasn't he like jealous of other people getting like retweeted and stuff? Yeah. Is this the same map again? No, this is a different part of the same <laughs> map. You may notice that this hallway is pretty similar. It's totally not a snap map. But the lighting's different. Uh, I, I mean, the, the the lighting engine in Halo 4 is not the greatest, I, I will admit. So, oh, but it I'm is out of ammo. I guess I'll just die now. Or do I even use armor abilities? There we go. Nice helmet. You'll spawn eventually. There we yeah, go. I, 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 it's not like your situation changed. It just finally decided that I get to spawn. Oh, hold on. Is is your health low? Hold on, I got you. <laughs> uh, yeah. My favorite part. Okay, I'm wounded. Slow recharge, fast recharge. Oh, what happened? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? But they gotta hear it. Like, hold on, it's... Oh, the, they're already here, huh? They were here last mission. Don't get to, don't get dementia on me. Hit me, hit me with it. Where are you? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Finally, it sounds like how it's playing right now. Really slow and weird and awkward. Hey, here's another sound. <laughs> What happened to the... Like, the sound disappeared when she started talking. Listen, there's too many audio sources right now, okay? <laughs> Every fucking Promethean dog is shooting their stupid suppressor. <laughs> At least they're headshot enemies, okay? Oh, we can bring the gold elites back. <laughs> no, level designer Sama. Not the gold elites. Actually, I prefer the gold elites to the fucking hunters. The hunters really are the worst. Because you can't backsmack them. There's just, like literally just nothing you can do. Oh, I lived long enough. Oh, finally, the best weapon in the game, the battle rifle. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's get crunchy. <laughs> what this battle rifle is so bad. fucking bad. Holy shit. Is... <laughs> Wait. Is that what it looks like? What? It looks like everything else. Were we in this room before? <laughs> Did we just come into the same room from a different direction? <laughs> I would believe that, except there's no, like, way... There's no, like, connecting hallway. I've... Literally, my bases in Enshrouded are more creative and more, like diverse than these fucking maps. Definitely more visually appealing. God, I, I love 343's, like, design of just, like, like, panels everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember the utilitarian design of, like, Halo CE? You know, humanity's kind of on the back pedal. They can't, they can't go all out with their designs. They gotta be simple and straightforward. Oh my, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. This is the same room. Oh yeah, this is totally the same room from a different different angle. No, you're right, because that, that door wasn't open before. Yeah, this is, I'm seeing, I'm mapping it out in my mind now. This is totally yeah, the we, same we, room. We came in from the right over here. Yes. <laughs> Spartan Ops, everybody. <coughs> it's 
still less reused than Valhalla. I like how we just played on that map too, and like it's so forgettable. Like <laughs> everything is so fucking bland that it took us this long to realize, like confirm that this is the same fucking map. Or the same room rather. Is it though? Is it? Crimson Watchers. Do I have to press this button again? No, no, it's, it's, a it's down here. It's down here this time. Oh, where'd they get a nuke? Thank God, nukes can just hold E. Remember the banter in uh, <laughs> ODST? <laughs> Crimson Watchers. Get off the channels. You know, you know what I love? Hearing Spartan 4s die. <laughs> that was the best part of Halo Infinite. Was every time we would find an armor ability, it, it came yeah. with a dead Spartan 4. We got to watch that one Spartan get tortured and die, too. That yeah. was... That was, that, was cool. fucking, that was awesome. We just, like, stood they there really knew the, the boss fight. And just... God, I love the Mangler in that game, though. What a gun. See, they they nerfed it in multiplayer, but they didn't nerf it in single player. So it's still just it, fucking It's absurd. like the opposite of this game where they the multiplayer balancing is in Spartan Ops. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't die in vain, brother. It, Dude, it's, it's hard. I am struggling right now nice i got Oof. stuck what a throw not like i would have been able to respond though because my character takes a full second to sidestep <laughs> god damn We will assassinate them because now they're just in our spawn. <laughs> they came here. I. Oh, that was you. Okay. That was really confusing. It looked like I spawned and immediately got super combined. Do I have to press the button again? No, we have to. That we're progressing to the engine room this time. Do I have to press a button in the engine room? Yes, we have to press. We have to defend against waves of Promethean dogs. In oh, the remember room. the defense sections that you can't lose? Yes, you can't lose any of this. <laughs> Wait, no, there's like one mission you can fail. Yeah, there was one mission that we tested and it actually had a fail state. But it took forever. Yeah, no, we were like, I think we, I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, they're giving us jetpacks. Do I dare take it? Hmm. No, my regen field is, like, mission critical. <laughs> like, what would I do without it? God damn. Oh, it's all coming back to me. It's all flooding back. L listen, Starfield, like, really just... It... It ate your memories. It... Oh, fuck, it did. Next, we're gonna be There's... playing Atlantic City on stream, and <laughs> see, we could do that, but you uninstalled it, and I don't think you want to install a hundred. I don't have the space for uh, yeah for Fallout seventy six. I barely have the space for it. Hey, do you want to actually like try and kill a gold elite? Like with our like... guns? Yeah, yeah, with our guns. No. <laughs> like Wait, why didn't I see it before? Crimson, say you didn't see the last one, dummy. Um I remember oh, this. A room. timer on this one? Oh, oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. Maybe we can end this by fucking getting the ship blown up. Uh please, you know Please tell me there's a fail state. Oh god. I remember this. Yes. 
I remember this this part. That's not good. And <laughs> that means the section really was bad. So is nothing gonna spawn while we just well until we we're, press the button? We're not supposed to take this long to get to it. Hey, you like this jam though? And don't take too long. It this one's got a timer. Man, this what a good like just this is this is my this is my jam right here. It would be funny if the fucking sound effect from the uh from the bubble shield or whatever, the health regen affected the music as well. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, I wanted to affect like in game voice comms too. Yeah. So it's just putting our voices through the distortion. <laughs> you see. Uh oh. No, Roland, we have a strategy here. We've solved the invasion. So you see how like I'm struggling to get onto this bot. Yeah, like you're struggling just, basically. Like, that's jumping. the input lag. That this this is the input lag on display. Why not use here. the loadout instead of assassinations? Because one plasma pistol charge will not break the full delete. Oh, Mass Effect music's back. Yes. Yes. This was like early seasonal story too. This was like 2010. Who was doing like seasonal storytelling before this? I'm telling you, 343 was like Telltale. Cutting edge. Telltale. Yeah, it was which it was the first Walking Dead. Yeah. I I really feel like that's yeah, where it got its sorry. start. It oh, was, this was twenty. It was, this was twenty twelve. Yeah, Halo Four was like stupid late on the fucking three sixty. Yeah. Like first mistake, not making this a launch title for the Xbox One. We wanted to make it a launch title, but hey, I was told there was a fucking timer on this nuke, and that we were all gonna <laughs> die if we didn't deactivate it. I was promised death. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, Roland, I'm a fucking immortal lich. <laughs> Just waiting for the sweet release of death. <laughs> Music's still going, though. Hey, let's see if there's any, like, power weapons. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Is this the nuke? Yeah, that was the nuke. This like um tiny little thing, yeah. That's a havoc propane, nuke. propane tank. Propane tanks are dangerous. Crimson, move. Why is this one on a timer too? No, there's enemies nearby. You need to kill them. Don't worry. We took some. We we took some mercy on you. Some of them are headshot enemies. Oh no, I'm gonna die with my sniper rifle. Yeah, you. You fucked up now. So all of these shots are actually landing on this gold elite. Okay, that one missed. That one missed. I'm here to help. I'll hit him with the okay. plasma pistol. I died. The what? Oh, I'm dead too. The uh, the vehicle immobilizing weapon. The it has the no other applications. <laughs> Fuck did that gold elite go? Oh, my sniper's still here. That's surprising. That enemy just jumped to his death. No, he. Oh, he he survived. Okay. Oh, he was living down there because I saw him jump yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he lived. He lived. Can I live? Can I jump down there and live? No. I, I'm I'm gonna go test. There's the gold elite. Plasma pistol time. Hold on, I I I gotta it, I gotta see. Didn't it's... break his shields. No, no. A magnet no. There, There's a Most there's a hit. there's a kill volume down there. Nope, still haven't broken it. He's fallen. He's fallen. Chat. Oh, he's wait, fallen. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Keep, oh, keep oh no! Oh on. no! His his oh, shields been recharged. He's... Yeah, he's back to full. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go again. We'll go again. All right. Plasma pistol's you know the, out. You know what my mistake was? You know what my mistake was? I didn't he's pop down, he's down, field. he's down. 
<laughs> I like how I pop rage and shield and it instantly got me killed. Because <laughs> he just fucking, he's like, oh, you stop moving here. Have some fucking plasma, uh, have some fuel rod. I like how they're incapable of, like, not firing their weapons, so, like, once you die, they put, like, six bullets in you, just, uh... Well, it was really cool in Battlefront, too. They had to, they had to empty their, uh... Oh, the, the... Hey, um, there's, there's, uh, there's ammo crates back here. Oh, good just, to know. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, these, like, oh, really hey, I, I nondescript killed, I killed green boxes. Elite. Oh, you killed him? Yeah, I just hit him in the back Did... one. Oh. I took you, care of the problem. You you have a plasma pistol, you know that. Right? Oh, there's another oh, one. Oh, don't worry, there's another one. I'm it but it's really hard to get behind a gold elite when you have half a second input lag. Another new Uh where did these enemies come from? They're just jumping from the ceiling. Are they invisible? They're in the rafters. They're in the goddamn walls! This game sure does feel like a schizophrenic experience. This is what a game design document game looks like. This, this is why they were <laughs> taken out back and shot. See? You can do it if I'm, like, uh, tanking. Yeah. One of us acts as the bait. I like how the music's just been on this repeating loop. the same chords. <laughs> Headshot. Which enemies. is which was too shitty to end up in the soundtrack. Honestly, the whole We're fucking soundtrack to was too shitty minutes. to end up on the soundtrack. Uh, I stuck a gold elite, and I was like, "Nice," and then I remembered. <laughs> Gang, bang, gang, bang. Will he kill both of us? I think he will. Will he kill you before I respawn? That was very awkward. All the 12 and 8 year olds playing Halo rejoice when Mr. Chief was revealed as the super special chosen one. No, we didn't. I like how the plasma pistol doesn't even strip the the shields off of the um off fucking the, the lower range jetpack elites. Yeah, you know, like the weakest elites in the game. No, those like blue elites. No, I think in terms of shield strength. I like the, that they uh, have the pathing nodes to jump up to this little ledge here and then like fall off it. And look at him. He's trying to get back <laughs> up there because he knows there's a pathing node up there, but he can't do it. <laughs> he cannot figure out how to get on top of that thing from that side. So he's just going to keep jumping this angle over and over until he gets up there. Oh, nope. Oh. He's figured out that there's another way. Hold on. I, I got you covered, though. Let's see, we can we can fight dirty too. Look at this. This is teamwork right here. I All give right. the region shields. You. And oh, oh! Second. I think he's back. I think he's back to uh, being stuck. Um, so what do we do in a situation like this? Ah, yes, of course. Beat him to death. Sorry, the input lag. I can't do it. I can't do it. The ice. I can't break through the ice. Uh oh. What happened? Do you alt F4? No, I didn't alt F4. Jesus fuck. That was miserable. We need an S tier mission. What are you talking about? That's in Reach or ODST. Oh, I was gonna say what we should do is do one of the do the one where it's like on the frozen uh the frozen like planet. I don't even it's remember. like that multiplayer mission. I don't remember which one that was. It's just like a do we box. have to do the acrophobia? 
<laughs> the frozen one or the one that has three levels that you have to climb up and down? Remember that one? They're they're both so fucking bad. I mean, so fucking good. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, All right, we're going to turn the skulls off. We're going to get authentic Spartan Ops experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fucking level. Was it this level? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. It's like every time every time it would come up in the game and they really liked reusing this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was uh, I think one of the ones that was used four times. Oh man. I think this is the one where it spawns five hunters. And it puts the power, like the the infinitely respawning. Uh, yep, there's the there's the launchers. cargo containers. Yeah, yeah. That is your spawn. It, it, guess where the guess where they drop the five hunters. <laughs> oh right, I forgot the input lag was worse on this map too. They gave. What is that? Is that a. What was that? What were you in right now? Uh, then? some kind of alternate game mode. <laughs> I think it was a bug. <laughs> I think I like uh, hijacked the developer trailer thing where they controlled the vehicles using. Uh, it's o it's okay. They, the uh the AI has it now, um, so it, it's all good. Well, yeah, the the infinite in Halo Infinity stands for the respawns. Hey, what does that skull do that uh, makes it so that like the mission resets if one person dies? Uh, I think it it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Halo Infinity right there. <laughs> yeah. So the monkey's paw that I made with my loadout, I get the hard light shield, but I also have to use the BR. Why would you do that? Because it's funny. I mean, the BR isn't terrible. Thank you. I need more ammo anyways. Uh, the BR isn't terrible in terms of damage. It's just a really annoying weapon to listen to. Gameplay. Oh, wait. Gameplay. I have Gameplay. plasma pistols, so Sorry, I can I'm, disable... I'm getting caught on all the convoluted Forerunner geometry. I, I walked into the back of the ghost it, it was not moving but an enemy was in it so i died what is this halo one <laughs> yeah but at least in halo one it has like unlimited health right no the ghosts have limited no health. no the, the, the warthogs were yeah i didn't have iframes what no you don't you can if you die while you're assassinating it cancels out and the elite stays alive I, I thought we had iframes during that shit. No, no, no. It'd be too good. <laughs> It'd be too powerful. Too oh, never mind. They don't It'd be too powerful. 343 doesn't want you to see the storm rifle being useful. You're you're already getting infinite respawns. You're not getting iframes during uh, takedown animations. Is that teamwork? No, no. What a good level. What a beautiful area. Even... This is a campaign area, by the way. <laughs> That's the best part of this map, is that it's a campaign <laughs> area. So it, does, it doesn't even have the excuse that it's like a reused multiplayer map oh, that just that. doesn't work with campaign. This is, this is campaign. Can I get those markers in yellow? I can't see them. I'm colorblind. Can we get you some yellow? Hold on. I'm actually going to check. Is that an accessibility option? It wasn't back in the day. Uh, okay, subtitle settings. Convert text to speech. Convert speech to text. I wonder if that's like people talking. UI colorblindness mode. Ooh. 
Um, ooh, ooh, this one looks. Can you Wait. make your game worse? Huh? Why are there two settings? There's UI, and then there's. Game. Ooh, you don't want to miss out on this. All right, there we go. I, I, I fixed my game. Everything is green and purple now. Thanks, Doc. Listen, functional netcode. Go ahead, open uh, that door. Eh. Being able to turn my What's, screen what are all green these and red purple. Things on, the, on, my, on my motion tracker. I don't see red. I see purple. Nice. Ooh, my reticle's green now. I think this is going to make me colorblind. <laughs> is you, this like you're just not used to it okay if that was the default color scheme you know see i was expecting like if i turn it on that it's gonna be like if you don't have adhd and you take adhd medication it like just makes you super productive for like 16 hours it's simultaneously like Uncomplicated, but super convoluted, and so I'm getting caught on, like, everything. What, the geometry? Yeah. <laughs> How do you... It's, like... It's super busy, the design language. Yeah. But it's also, like, really ugly and just... Simple. Bland. Bland is probably the better word, yeah. Like, yeah, we don't have to do the back smack thing, but let's be honest. Standard Covey encryption All right. with a hardware lock. Crimson, open it up for me. Covey with a hard R. All right. I turned the brightness all the way up <laughs> and the contrast all the way down. Oh, God, what are you doing? I'm fixing the colorblind mode. So now everything's like a uh, olive green. Go ahead and zoom in with the DMR. <laughs> Did you just see that? Yeah, I'm not sure what I saw. Uh. Yeah, it it did happen. <laughs> My character like freaking out, trying to like activate the fucking button. Yeah, that wasn't me. That was that was the game doing that. I like the sound of the phantom just Mhm. Mm it's just ever present. <laughs> we got to we got to uh communicate with it with our own droning sounds. Oh my god. Oh, it's like it's sta off. it's like it's it's producing 10 times like the noise 10 times and it's just stacked on top of each other that's so bad what the fuck is that music beep, 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 beep. okay <laughs> the, the color blindness mode and then it's gone. gotta go yeah, i was gonna say why would you make this experience worse this is already bad enough as it is because it's funny i think that's a bird call Listen, the, the input lag is fucking hard enough. <laughs> Where's Halo 5 Anniversary? Where's Halo 5 just on Steam? There, Isn't it on PC? It's, well, um, Forge was on PC. That was the weird thing, is that they made Forge. So it's like, it's playable on PC. They figured it out. They just didn't finish listen halo 5 is it's the halo they want you to forget they destroyed the infinity they killed all the spartan fours halo 4 is the one they want you to remember halo 4 is the one people get nostalgic it's over. the iconic one when you yeah. think 343 library i think halo 4 i sure fucking do
<laughs> right around the time I remember how many people got laid off there after as Infinite. a trilogy it's as schizophrenic as like Star Wars is imagine sequel. fucking up so badly that you create a live service game and then your parent company guts your entire company yeah imagine selling the uh, Halo 1 armor for like 20 bucks hmm well, at least the, you know. Was it Andy Bunker Dweller who was pointing that out? Where it's like, on launch, the... Everything was fucking busted except the store. Yes. It was like the beta or something like that. What a good video. Listen, the, the store's just web UI that's easy to work out. You know, it's hard for them mm -hmm. to screw up. It's not as complicated as, like, 3D models and... And animations and you've yeah, never like, made a about... game you've never made a game stick to criticizing the game not the developers okay? right 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 because Apologize yeah, to Emily. i i never made a twinkie so i can't say whether mm -hmm. i like them or not apologize to emil actually i do like twinkies i got these things the other day from walmart it's they're fucking cursed it's they're ding dongs with twinkie filling and they're disgusting I don't know if you've ever had a ding dong, but they're no, I have not. Good. Oh, they're good. They're like these chocolate cakes with like a marshmallow filling on. Where's the your inside. fuel rod gun, sir? I I have melees. No, we can noob combo them now. I have melees. It's fine. When haven't they said in reinforcements? Like, no is joke, every mission in this game is, like, minimum 80 enemies. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah remember, way, like, the... Way, the, uh, the, uh, fucking... Jump down. We'll, we'll show the, uh, the kill count at the end. Yeah, we're getting ahead of the script here. We The backtracking comes after we disable the button that's inside the structure. Because this map is only... It's, it's this, and it's a... An interior room yeah because in the campaign you come up here and then you just go through this door and leave yeah you're not supposed to hang out here switch back to my dmr i just don't i just don't like the br the br has continuously gotten neutered since halo 2. it's like I hate to see it. Halo yeah, 2 is They VR. have hunters, too. Do they have hunters? Don't forget the Prometheans, okay? The Prometheans were a great addition to the to the Halo roster. Mm. They should have brought them back in Infinite. You know, it's just them listening to, like, those yeah. boomers. That, Fucking... Like... Honestly, though? Honestly? Prometheans, if they made some, like, sort of, in it, like, a way to get behind hunters with the grappling hook... I could see it. I can see the vision. No, I want to fucking fight Flood with the grapple hook. See, uh, see, but I'm saying that 343's never done the Flood. Uh, I don't... excuse me, uh, uh, Infection? Yeah, yeah. Halo, 343's never done the Flood. So, <laughs> I don't think we want to find out what their vision of the Flood would be. No, just let me let me leave. Actually, no, I take that back. Halo 7, right? It's going to be 7. Halo 7 should be nothing but flood. Drop pod incoming. I swear they recorded one line of him saying that, and then, like, that's all they've ever used. It might as well, right? Does, does this what, drop off? What interesting uh, animations for the drop pods. It's just like drop out of nowhere and then just fucking fly off again like no inertia or anything like that nice. if you feather the needle you can uh hit him from up here Thanks, crimson, crimson we got person. some bad news leaving freaks well they shouldn't call them the hinge heads this time disgusting <laughs> really, freaks. really had to really had to Exhibit some restraint there. Yeah, she got some complaints from the uh, elite, am the arbiter's ambassador. Mm, that 
The constantly Dropping... referring to elites as filthy hinge heads. <laughs> oh, there they are. Hunters. There's Crimson. the line. <laughs> okay, so we've got two hunter pairs so far. Mm -hmm. So this must not be the odd pair. The odd number pair. Never, I mean, already this gonna is find, wrong. We're never going to find the fucking odd number of hunters. People are, people are probable. People are going to think we're like just making that up. Cause like that's that's the whole point of hunters is that they work in pairs and like that's how their AI works. So you put an odd number and it 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 just doesn't work. Oh right, is this the one with the infinite rocket launchers? Yeah, yeah. So like yeah, that's that's our safe word here. It's just we just run up and grab these things. I like how we're doing this without the fucking skulls on, and it's still like still a bitch stupid. because four hunters are just. Awful. And we're getting rained down at our spawn point by uh, mm -hmm. Phantom. <laughs> I killed one of the hunters. Do you like the sound of the the rocket launcher? That just like weird beep. Is that high pitched squeal it makes? It's a, it's a sci fi game. It needs no. sci fi sounds. Why is that forerunner structure green? Well, it'd be boring yeah. if it was just gray. Do you have colorblind mode enabled? Can we take these? Oh, I killed myself. At least you killed it. Nice. It's like getting spawn camped here literally doesn't even matter because it's, if anything, it's easier for us because like all of our power weapons are here and everything. We don't have to run anywhere. It's just everything's coming to us. Yeah. Just keep getting three rocket three launchers. They knew is so bad. Three for three is so fucking incompetent at designing encounters that unintentional spawn camping is more engaging. Makes, yeah, is making the experience better. Because you know they did. Oh yeah, that was that was the other thing we kept saying. Like, did anybody play test this shit? And no, because they made it like on a weekly basis. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. This is what this is what Halo Twitter wants them to bring back. Mhm. Mm I mean, fuck it, why not? It's more this is more entertaining than fucking Halo Infinite's multiplayer. I'll yeah. just give it that. Definitely more entertaining than anything in Halo 5. Jesus Christ. Ooh. The useless energy sword. So glad I just have all these rock i like i've literally been picking wow there's still a hunter alive i've literally been picking up a rocket launcher almost every time i respawn and we still reinforcements. have reinforcements thanks well thanks you don't the, understand thanks for the info this was like six weeks of gameplay testing these two these two stacks of cargo containers <laughs> I mean, they, these were the these were the QA testers that they paid in pizza. So, yeah, they're kind of weren't really filling out their reports or anything. They're just like, oh god, this sucks. If you didn't believe us, yes, the rocket launchers are infinite. Yep. No, I, I keep going back. It's two every time. It, it's hilarious how like. We have infinite rockets, right? And we're still like... <laughs> this This engagement... Imagine in like a bungee halo, if you had infinite rockets, how quickly the engagement would be over. Almost to 100 kills. <laughs> Sorry, I've been away for a bit, but it looks like 
No friendly. Sorry, problem. I've been away for a bit. No, no, no. It's fine, Palmer. We we kept the racial slur quota down while you were gone. <laughs> Ooh, that phantom. We just saw what a phantom, uh, like, the little beam-up aura looks like, and uh, this ain't it. What the fuck is this? Um, if we didn't make it green... Did you fail the first attempt? Your... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we didn't make it green, the players wouldn't know that it's a friendly uh, phantom that they're stepping into. Okay. No now, more Halo 4. Yeah. As fun as it is, the input lag is starting to get a little annoying. I can't take it anymore. Uh, let, let's hang out on Mombasa streets. If you've got input lag, then... I think that's a nice uh, moody area to chat with chat. Yeah, let's start reading chat again. It's, we've been, uh, we've just been so engrossed in, uh, in the Halo Infinity experience. It's not called Spartan Ops. It's called Infinity. Remember that chat. I want you to walk away from. Yeah, <laughs> with that bit of trivia knowledge. So the thing is, the MCC lag is so inconsistent. Sometimes you actually get a pretty decent experience. You said you don't have Infinite installed, right? You want to install that? And we never even finished, though. We never finished. We finished the open world part, and that's really the yeah, only part. Yeah, we finished the about. only thing, only shit we actually the, wanted the to actually do. actually fun part. Yeah. Infinite was more fun than I thought it was going to be. Connection lost. You have lost your connection to Xbox Live. That's problem number one right there. Um, Am I still in your game, though? Like, I'm here. I'm in the game. I'm yeah, blowing my second. hatch. I see you there. I see your marker. You're moving. <laughs> Listen, we don't need Xbox Live. Maybe it'll work better. Maybe. Yeah, now we switch to, uh, we switch to P2P. My, uh, I, I fucked up my hotkeys a little bit with uh, Halo 4, so I'm back to my hotkeys being a little bit better. Uh, still, still a bit of input lag. Actually, really, what I'm having is hitching. I will die on the hill that Halo 3's equipment was better than Halo Reach's armor abilities. But the Flash, man, the Flash. What about it? It being useless? Yeah. Uh, what was the useless armor ability in Halo Reach? I don't think it was a, as good a sandbox as Halo Reach. All right, Halo so. 3? Yeah. I mean, really? grav lift is cool. EMP's all right. Oh, are you talking about? Drop shield's all right. Wait, in terms of sandbox, are you talking like, overall? Like, no, that just the abilities. Okay, okay. Because I was gonna say, <laughs> like, no, what I can weapon bloom killed Halo Reach by default. Yeah. Like, no, I get that. Uh, topic though, uh, science fiction cities that are better than New Atlantis. Um, <laughs> how about we list the ones that are worse than New Okay, hang on. Let me get more specific. African-inspired science fiction setting <laughs> cities that are better than New Atlantis. Is New Atlantis African-inspired? That's the vibe I got from it. It reminded me of, like, the Overwatch, like, African map. It reminded me of the apple corporate did, headquarters oh did you see that uh that one urbanist channel that i linked a lot when he was like at i don't know 2k subscribers 
made yeah. a Starfield video. Starfield video. Like, like I have a not two watched hours it. Starfield video. I have not watched it. I I want to watch it. I actually want to go through his backlog and like note take some of his stuff because I've been wanting to like build up some notes on like urbanism stuff. Mm -hmm. We should watch it together. The uh, okay. two hours. Hello. We can't stream it because it's still too new. I just like that, like, Kinsler he's such on the a, same, uh, same wavelength as us, just from the other angle, that uh, he, he felt compelled to talk about Starfield. The same way that we feel compelled to randomly talk about urbanism. <laughs> I like that this is a way better, like, open world map. Uh-oh. Than, like, most oh, i worked the the visor tutorial that's insane really yeah because i'm it's it's like Pro probably it's like, three for three bug yeah yeah it's like going through all of it because i've done this so many times i've never seen this tutorial break like i said it's probably a three for three bug look at this beautiful world that bungie made and then three for three fucked it up by breaking the tutorial yeah <laughs> how do i open the visor map Man. Well, I will say the fucking net lag, net code lag that I'm experiencing is a 343 issue. Yeah. Man, playing right. this game, Mouse though. Mouse and keyboard. Just, just good memories. Because I got it for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I, like, just sat, sat home for Christmas vacation yeah. and just played through this sitting on Xbox Live party chat with my friends. There we go. It's like I got some extra extra warm feelings for this game. I can hate this tutorial though. What am I hearing? Is that you? <laughs> Are you hearing my visor? I think so. Is that a feature or is that a bug? I, that sounds like a bug to me. I've never... I don't recall hearing other people's visor. And I've played this recently, so... Do you want to repeat? Oh, man. The fucking trickiest... Uh, the trickiest thing. It asking you if you want to repeat the fucking visor tutorial and accidentally saying yes. It's cool that Virgil will show you where to go using signs. No, like, I love this game. Mm -hmm. The, hey, oh my god, it's like yellow spray paint. Look, because it's yellow. Oh, shit. Yeah, except it's not actually yellow spray paint. It, it, oh, man. Uh... Is the uh, destiny sign in this building? No. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's right it, here. It's right here. Yeah, but it says for her. Yeah. Like it, this was was the destiny sign. Yeah. Uh, there's it's in a few different places. What happened? How do we go from this to Whatever. Destiny to uh, Halo Lightfall. Four. Lightfall. Light. Like how? How does that happen? That's some legitimate like evil shit. Yeah. If there was ever ever somebody that could be described by the term Satanist. Yeah. <laughs> take a company like Bungie that made something like this it you know it just it just didn't do well you know Halo 3 generation defining game just didn't sell enough just, just wasn't good enough that did you know we, we need something that we can monetize like really really fucking 
just get the get the whales on it. Yeah. Now we have marathon. Mm-hmm. Thank exactly. God. I can't wait to see what uh they do with Tarkov. I I mean it's another extraction shooter. That's the weird thing is extraction shooters are like a pretty fairly niche genre. Well, that's why they're going for it because they're like, what's he feeling? We're bungee. What's he thinking? We what's, can do this. What's going through his mind right now? I'm confused. We make games. We we make worlds that inspire friendships. I think they changed that again. <laughs> And what what was Bethesda's? Whoa, yellow. Great games are made, not played. Or if the great games are played, not made. You know a part of the visual aesthetic of this game I don't like? The film grain during the day. Hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 not a fan of film grain film grain uh film grain. Mm hmm Usually turn that shit off along with chromatic aberration. Oh, there's a rally point for just open city. That's what I that's what we should have done. Ah, uh, okay. Um motion blur. Turn that shit off. I wish games would Give options to disable vignettes. Who brought up Risa Era? Frank O'Connor, notorious internet racist on Reset Era, is actually included in the MCC as an unlockable player avatar. How do you how do you get away with racism on Reset Era? Wait, Frank O'Connor had some But that the most damning part of that is that he had a Reset Era account. What is Reset Era? Uh, that's where all the NeoGAF people went to after NeoGAF's owner was, like, grooming women or something. Ah, uh, okay, and, I got you. What was weird was he didn't even really Wait, do what? anything that weird. I think he had, like, I think he just, like, was uh, bathing clothed women in the shower with, like, a hose or something. Really? I mean... He got canceled for that? Well, you know, this is, like, 2015. And it was, uh, it's re it was the Reset Era crowd. They're, like, super, super woke, like... You could have talked to a woman and gotten canceled. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah, so this is the. Uh, this is prior to Dave Chappelle. Yeah, well before. Yeah. And Dave Chappelle was like, "Lol." Oh, nah. this might be. Because it's like this might be a three gotta, invention. This... You gotta consent to being canceled. That's that's kind of the thing, and Dave Chappelle proved that. Yeah, someone's conclusion to that guy that made that we should apologize to Emil video was like, you should never apologize because people are gonna just gonna take it poorly. And it's like, no, you shouldn't. You should apo You shouldn't apologize if you haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. Don't tell me that you were a dev and you were cognizant when you made those original videos, but you were convinced that I was wrong, even though you had access to all the sources. That guy folded because he saw a bigger YouTuber. Which is just poor political playing on his part. Yeah. What's that? A backstab that isn't just fucking dumb sprint at them and circle around them? But it's just me. I have no clue what went on with the NeoGAF thing. I just thought it, it was like weak. I love the city. I don't like the fake rain they had to do though. It's like, it's the level design, it's the the lighting, it's the music. Mm -hmm. On a 360. It, That's the sad part, is like, this showed what the 360 could do. Yeah. I think even better than Reach did. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. Well, th this just confirms like the the whole like um do a do an expansion 
to follow up your uh, your big game before moving on. You know, like Bethesda would do that, and mm -hmm. it's like Shivering Isles was like what Oblivion oh, should have been. And... I'm gonna tell you this story because it's funny. So I had a Bethesda dev reach out to me. Fuck, no health packs. Um, and he was telling me he was telling me various anecdotes. Uh, the one dungeon story for Oblivion is true with an asterisk basically they had one guy make all the dungeons for like two years and then they started hiring other people after that guy left ah, they like they like okay. went through the hours that he had logged he had something like 3200 hours making oblivion dungeons jesus and it like broke up his marriage oh my god <laughs> Because he was That's like awful. he was working like sixty hours a week or something, just making Oblivion dungeons. So like that's the kind of thing that's like okay, I was wrong about that, but like you know, I was wrong because nobody ever, nobody ever clarified that or told that story. Which I get why mm -hmm. tell that story in a way that you don't in don't include the part where it broke up his marriage. Yeah. Uh, another one was um. They when they were like pre planning Dawn Guard, and this was before Skyrim came out that they were doing this. Uh Clyde Howard's pitch was it was basically going to be an Indiana Jones story where uh it was gonna be two competing like treasure hunting factions that were going after Ariel's bow, and then they just like split second reworked it into a vampire's vampire hunter story. Interesting. But it was gonna be like a staged heist, so there was gonna be three parts, and you were each part would have you pick one of two people that you could recruit to your heist team. Does this sound familiar at all, by the way? Um each part has two people you could recruit to the heist, and then like there's a final heist mission. Wastelanders. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go somewhere else. I don't want to add missions. Wasn't Wastelanders made by Austin? No, don't go down. No, there. no, no, it wasn't. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we found out that the Bethesda Maryland worked on that as well. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you don't activate the mission there. Mm -hmm. Why does everything have to be a heist? Well, I'm thinking that Wastelanders was like them revisiting that idea. There's a lot of stuff in Fallout 76 that felt like it was just uh, Them, table like, scraps of ideas yeah. from. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what Todd Howard's obsession with fucking Indiana Jones is though. He's just, he's just a fan, all right. Just a big fan. Now he's making that game. Which like, I don't know. I I saw the gameplay and stuff. And I'm like, you know, okay, sure. I guess. Looks like a game that would be better in uh, first person or third person, rather. Uh, that, was, that was basically my takeaway from watching that whole thing. It's just like, yeah, rather third person. Uh, um, imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine being a dev on that project, and it's like you spent years super passionate about it, and you just have like an asshole like me come around and be like, yes. Yeah, Looks like it'd be better in third person. Oh, you're, like, fine. That's you're, it. you're on a Never Knows Best team now. Mm. Guys, they worked hard on it. Mm, they worked really hard. I mean, that's not going to, you know, I'm just, Damn. not stopping me from putting out, putting my opinions out there. I'm, I'm going to even name names. What's that? You listen. Did, did you hear that? Mm hmm. Did you hear that? It, they didn't just paint it yellow? <laughs> it, it's the little things, you know? Yeah. Like trusting that your audience is going to be sitting there listening. Well, listen, they can't account for that in an open world style game. An open style uh, an open world style game with espionage 
elements to it. Mm -hmm. Who under the Remember, age of 30 uh, gives a shit about Indiana Jones? Nobody. Uh, yeah, that's... That's kind of the... That's the weird thing. And didn't they just, like, have, like, a really fucking terrible movie or something yeah. come out? And, like, the franchise is basically dead now? Mm-hmm. Nice. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. Listen, the reason that game exists is because... Todd Howard wanted to make an Indiana Jones game that was on his bucket list. And when you're at his By level God. and you've done it all, you don't have imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, this is what you do. You literally buy a studio, an entire fucking studio, just buy them out and then make them make your game. Wolfenstein, what's that? Wolfenstein sounds like it's game. for the gays. You're making Indiana Jones now. I still laugh about that person. It's like, why do you? Why does it bother you that Monolith is making a Wonder Woman game? Oh, lighting. Sorry, I have my visor activated. Jesus Christ, this game is dark without the visor. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes What's sense. What's that? Darkness. But how are players going to see the assets you made if you make things dark? Nah, that's all right. This is all just recycled assets from Halo 3, right? Mm-hmm. War Dead Elites, which didn't make sense, but whatever. They could have explained it, but they didn't. They, like, tried to put it into the, like, civil war that wasn't going on yet. They should have said, like, Jesus Christ, even with the visor, this part is still dark. Yeah. <laughs> um, they could have said that, like, the elites and the brutes actually fight constantly and they need to be, like, supervised to stop from killing each other or something. Whoa. Crimson. Hunters. Okay. I see two. Where's the other three? They're, they're in that phantom. Ah. Uh, all right. Got it. I hope it comes down here soon. We can't just fight two hunters. This is going to be such a cakewalk. Where's my crate of infinitely respawning rocket, rocket launchers? launchers? You know what I like? Not getting one shot by these guys. Like, they hurt. But they're not like instant dead. Ha ha, got you. Uh, as I get one shot, but that's a melee. All right. Mm -hmm. Like melee, melee is fair. I don't have the resources to fight these guys. What Ooh. the fuck? That's a checkpoint. That's a that's a bungee checkpoint. I'm sorry. It's okay, we get to listen to that line again about the engineers exploding. Where's my mangler? I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna have to like think anymore. We have to I just find... want a gun that lets me <laughs> just lets me kill everything from any range. Use it as a close range, great. Melee? Fucking it boosts your melee damage. Range? Oh you can a decent mid-range weapon. I was the only person on the entirety of Vancouver Island to pre-order Wolfenstein Youngblood from GameStop. Who the fuck was pre-ordering games by the time that came out? At least physically. And... I don't know. Maybe that's like a small town thing that people stopped pre-ordering here. But yeah, people stopped pre-ordering where I live. Uh, the last one I went to was Destiny 1. Oof. Did you form some positive memories from that? Uh, of that night, yeah. Because I was hanging out with my friend. 
My friends never went to opening uh, midnight releases. It was always strange. yeah. I've I've only gone to two, with and that was the same friend. What was, was that in uh, GTA Five? Which one was worse? In terms of releases, anything. In in terms of the experience of the midnight release. I mean, they were both awesome. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, I'm glad so you had a good experience. Just, Most of my midnight yeah, we were all... experiences were terrible. Really? No, we were all just hanging out there chilling. Oh, it was yeah, all like point. older people too. Like we were all the same age. So we were all just like sitting there chilling, bullshitting. Oh, it, was, uh, it was it was great. I would the game Halo fours. Oh, really? Yeah. Now there's a fucking deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that now add Man. that to the disappointment Man. of Halo Four. So how quickly did you return Halo Four? I returned Destiny within a week and I got my money back completely. Ooh. Actually, no, 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 no. I didn't return it. I sold it to them. I sold it to them a week later and. The value on it was like fifty nine bucks. So I, so yeah, I played Destiny one for a dollar, nice. and then I never bought Destiny two. I'm pretty proud of that, actually. I'm documenting this. I'm documenting this. This is a war crime. <laughs> You're lucky we're not playing the real campaign. Oh shit, there's enemies here. They won't die. They're aliens. They're ugly and they stink. I I don't feel like wasting the ammunition. I th I thought there was an enemy nearby that they were like There was. I, I killed it. Okay. They can live, I guess. If I had plasma pistols, it would be dead. But that's like a little like side area that you have to find. Mm -hmm. I loved exploring this map. You have to go out of your way to commit your war crimes. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to go there to uh, get all of the engineers but... so that you get the engineer ending. Mm -hmm. And there's also a... Uh a journal there too i think bethesda is extremely reticent about a fall in vegas ever happening again and that's why they don't want to do like skyrim licensed expansions oh yeah it's weird that a company that thought themselves infallible uh would be so uh like you know skittish about letting other developers work with their ip after well, fall out New Vegas. I, that's what we say about them. Who knows what they think of themselves? No, that's what Bruce Nesmith said after Fallout yeah, had, Four, going into Fallout Seventy Six. He said they, they had hubris. Like he admitted it, but I don't think that's necessarily like reflective of. I don't know. Maybe it was their culture as a whole. I think he was just reflecting more like the management kind of thought that they were infallible. Which fair enough. Yeah, but culture comes from the managers that's like oh, part of managers. your job what fuck the managers <laughs> no i'm just saying like that's part of your job like the job of the president isn't just to like run the country half of the job is just to set the tone of like what the agenda what the tone of the country is to not take the cognitive test <laughs> fine he's fine yeah it'll all be okay Twenty twenty four is a really interesting year i really just cannot believe we're gonna have the same fucking it's gonna be 2020 again mm -hmm. same election Am I, like motherfuckers i was saying they were both too old <laughs> yes four years then. ago and now it's just now like, they're just four years uh, older. Four years older and a hell of a lot more stressed. Yeah. Yeah, whoever um, whoever but, takes over in twenty twenty four is gonna have a poor legacy just because of what's been going on these past couple years. 
Oh, well, the economy's doing well so far. Parts of it. I mean, just, just don't try and buy a house. Don't try to buy anything. <laughs> don't try and buy anything that involves taking out credit. You have cash, right? I hope it's in your savings account because it's fucking interest rates right now. You gotta put it to use. And that is kind of the point. Where's this engineer? Oh, there he is. It's literally well, in it's my inflation that's there. wiping it out. The interest rates are actually good if you're saving cash. Which I am. It sure as fuck isn't my investments right now. I want to tell you about that. What's that? Delta Airlines going up? <laughs> Airlines the fucking, suck. fucking Boeing's gonna see to that. Yeah, the airline. The airlines have been sucking really hard since since like COVID. I was like, every, you know, everybody's gonna be doing their revenge traveling and stuff again. It should be fine. And it's like it's... then it's like every other week uh, the pilots are on strike now. The uh, the uh, what is what are they called? The flight attendants they're on strike now. Everybody's on fucking strike. The whole country of people on strike. The, what, the UK? Or is that France? Oh, wait, I think it's both, actually. Yeah. Boeing planes falling apart midair. <laughs> Listen, that was just one plane. The other planes are just service issues. Just, just not being just, maintained. Just don't look at the MAX lineup, all right? Yeah. It really is incredible. It's like Boeing sucks, Ford sucks, GM sucks. Well, Ford sucking is like not surprising. Market niche. Yeah. <laughs> Found on the road dead. Mm -hmm. Well, Ford could get away with that when they were cheap. Yeah. <laughs> are Are you telling me you don't want to pay sixty thousand dollars for the fucking Ford Bronco? No, I, I want to get to where I'm driving that to. That piece of shit. Cars are supposed to you be the symbol of freedom. You, you know what? I'll give Ford credit. At least their vehicles are starting to look good again. Uh, there was a time where they were ugly, overpriced, and they broke down all the time. And it's just like, how the fuck are you people still in business? How? Uh, Advanced money laundering. <laughs> yeah, it's called the fucking federal government. Yeah. I wonder if the Fed looks at that. Like, whoever made that decision. Like, they're looking at that now, all these years later, and like, fuck, we should just let them go out of business. No, that's the problem, is we don't allow any of these things to fail. Too big to fail. Think of Detroit. Think about... What it's about alre Detroit? It already... Think of Mexico, <laughs> or wherever the fuck Fords are made. <laughs> I'd have to look this up, but I remember that I, I recall like a statistic where it was like more Toyotas were manufactured in the U.S. than fucking Fords were at one point. And it's just like. That's keep your that's phone cool. ready when you fly Boeing so you can instantly set up a put the instant a wall cracks or something. <laughs> Well, I... and uh, trains aren't much better. They derail all the time, or they have fucking boulders crash into them. Yeah. And they're always late here in America. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 the worst part about them, is that they go nowhere, and they're late all the time. And not even by late, like, 20 minutes. Like, late by six, eight hours. Mm -hmm. Late by, like, whatever you had planned is not going to happen. Hope you booked a hotel room. Uh, I hope you steps. didn't, because you're not <laughs> going to make it in time to check yeah. in. You're going to be out of that money. Just don't just call plan. Up, <laughs> just, just, just don't call plan. Up, just call up the fucking hotel and be like, listen, I know you. I know it's past the can cancellation time, but I'm well, on in Amtrak. Fair, in fairness, Amtrak does actually try to, like, 
comp you Re for their fuck ups. Reimburse you. Oh, so it's not like Southwest? No. <laughs> Amtrak fucks up so consistently that they have to have stuff in place because they would never get repeat business. No, when Amtrak fucked up and was like over eight hours late, they con they gave me the money of my ticket back even though I rode the train. Nice. So it was a free ride. It was just super inconvenient. I remember when I showed up to uh to my hotel in um in the Adirondacks. Uh I got there and uh the room still wasn't ready. Like it was like another twenty minutes before it was gonna be ready. And the dude like apologized six times and just kept giving me free drink vouchers. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't take advantage of it because like my stomach was all fucked up, but like he just kept he's like yeah the, the room's gonna be like another five minutes here's like two more free drink vouchers and like uh okay like i just want to go to my room so i can go to the bathroom please <laughs> i wonder why they never brought back the fire grenades too powerful were they they are pretty powerful. Actually. They're like, yeah, they're like, they're like situationally they'll powerful. Like, they'll destroy if, whatever they're hitting. If you can hit it. Ooh, that's a sniper. What's that? He missed a couple shots to warn me, so I have like a chance to respond. Mm -hmm. He didn't just like insta one shot me. And he was, like, camping a spot where there was a sniper on the ground already. So I, like, picked it up, and then he fired his two warning shots at me. So we got to have, like, a little, like, engagement. Well, you say that about Amtrak being basically freight, but that's the entire problem. Is that they have to give the right away to freight trains. Yeah. Listen, there's just not enough demand for for passenger travel to justify giving more like uh priority to passenger travel or to build more tracks it has nothing to do with the fact that these trains don't go anywhere or are super unreliable or even more expensive than booking a flight no, that has nothing to do with it the upside of a train is that like you can combine it with sleeping in a hotel room yeah so it's like and you get to have a like a nice ground level view honest to god i never want to drive across this fucking country again <laughs> like short short leg journeys sure but like fucking you did that you did that yeah like uh midwest to fucking west coast yeah i've driven that before mm. shit man drove that in like three days barely slept during any of it Yeah, we've I, we've we've done some fucking crazy journeys. Uh, I wanna I wanna do like leg. a cross country road trip, but I would be like for a month. Yeah, no, you want to take it slow because there's tons of stuff that you want to see. Yeah. And honestly, I want to bike it more than anything. That would be challenging. No, people do it all the time. Just because they do it all the time doesn't mean it's not gonna be challenging. <laughs> well, they do it on like they do like gimmick rides now. That's how like. You mean Trek sells a thing where they will they'll give you the bike and they'll uh, handle all of like the planning and stuff for you for like. Oh, okay. 40, They're an twenty outfitter. to forty grand or something. That's cool. Yeah, that's how like normalized the concept is of uh, riding biking across the states. Yeah. Like coast to coast. If yeah yeah if you have an outfitter like that's mm -hmm. that's different. But I mean, like, it's a lot of money. You can do it for way cheaper. Like, people do it with, like, they'll just buy a Walmart bike oh, and go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cause, like, shit, you fucking do that. Act like a, just, you know, make a pack or whatever. So you just mm -hmm. have, like, a tent or and shit. Camp Once out. took a train from Albany to Seattle. It took three and a half days. I often reflect on what a bad experience that was. <laughs> Albany to Seattle. Which? Albany. Albany is New York. New York. Yeah. It's our it's our capital. And it only took you three and a half days. Was it bad? Did you ride coach? Because I can understand why it was awful if you rode coach. 
Okay. If you're going long haul in a train, get a room. It's more expensive, but trust me, it's a lot more worth it. Like I said, imagine being in a hotel room, but a small hotel room, sure, but still, that like moves. you have a bed, you have a charger. I just hope you don't get motion sick. Ooh, that would suck. EFAP sensation, Patrician TV. What's the distance from Albany to Seattle? That's like mm, 4,000, like 5,000 miles? Yeah. Uh, it would be about closer to 4,000. Yeah, it's a fucking it's a trek for sure, but... We didn't get a sleeper car. I know, I know. Fuck Ooh. me. Yeah, Ooh. I can see why you were miserable. Yeah. Oh, still better than Greyhound. Oh god have you damn! Seen? Have you seen videos of like people riding Greyhound? Yeah, no. God. That's damn. like that's like last leg. You know, you're only going like an hour kind of shit. Yeah. If your transit option is Greyhound, you don't have a transit option. I forgot who I was talking to. Maybe it was a video or something like that. Uh, the dude was in uh, the Air Force, right? He signed up mm -hmm. for the Air Force. And they make him take the Greyhound across the country. Ooh. <laughs> he was like from California to Texas. He had to ride a Greyhound. It was like the Air Force. You know, the people. <laughs> With the planes yeah. and the helicopters, <laughs> it's like we just fuck didn't have you. Any, we just didn't have any cargo planes going out that way that week. Yeah, I would rather sit in like the cargo hold of a FedEx, like yeah, ship yourself seven, in FedEx seven fifty seven. Then I would like. Didn't take somebody right die now. doing that? I would imagine so because like, no, like, like recently, like a YouTuber, a YouTuber. Yeah, they like oh, yeah. shipped themselves in a mail carrier and and they died because they or don't understand like that, that like those planes, like the cargo holds aren't like uh usually like low pressure, mm -hmm. lack of air, not air like so it gets like really fucking cold in there too cuz it's like super high elevation and stuff. Crimson Hunters. If America does a nationalization with all the trains, will it fix anything? Fuck no. It's already national. What are you talking about? Amtrak is subsidized by is yeah. subsidized by freight companies on order of the government. Yeah. Like it's not outright owned. You think it you think it makes so money on its own? Subsidized. Yeah. It's such a bad service, it could not make money on its own with the costs that it has. Yeah. And no like, shit. Even, even the MTA here in New York is subsidized, and that's like the most successful fucking, uh, you know, rail system the, on no, the continent. Fucking, the concept of like private transit is a meme. I forgot this is an auto, infinite where I have Even to... the auto companies. Yeah. Look at, look at your EV tax credits and shit. Can I respawn? There we go. Whoops. But also, like, our government can't... Well, what would happen is, like, it would be subsidized by the federal government, probably, but it would be handled, like, implementation would be handled by the state. So what would happen is, like, some states would build good networks, probably something like North Carolina, and then other states, and then you have Texas. like... Yeah. Actually, I don't know. No, Texas is, like, the root of all Amtrak problems right now. Oh, yeah, I mean... Like, all delays in trains can almost always be traced back to some kind of fuckery in Texas. Ooh. California's mandating all, their car mandating all their cars to be EV by 2030. Yeah, I'm really curious yeah, how that's going to work out. Yeah, that's... that's... 
I don't think they're mandating like, all cars. I, how I is that going to work out when you have the ourselves. automakers walking back on like their EV rollouts and stuff? Because Toyota is like sitting there just like all the lolling. We're just going to mm -hmm. double down on hybrid. There's instead. no way the e that California's EV plan would work if they had because they never did their high speed rail program. And so they've never solved like the big reasons why people are driving around in California in the first place. So I was going to say, I think it was pretty sure it was car sales, not all cars. It'd be pretty crazy. I like to use uh, like gun control rhetoric with uh, car sales. We need to regulate automatic cars. <laughs> I don't think the average person, but I do actually think this. I don't think the average person should have an automatic vehicle. Too dangerous. Literally make normal people make normal people have to drive manuals so they go slower. <laughs> oh, I, think we I don't backtracked. think people would go slower. They would just bang those gears. Yeah. Well, they would just tear up their vehicles. They'd be on the road less, and so they'd be <laughs> disincentivized to drive and have to use public transit more often. That rail program was a grift. The contractor was a senator's husband, made like a billion dollars on that scam. Yeah, that's the what? sad thing is that like, um, what? governments Corruption? are governments are so inept at doing it too that they cannot figure out what's a scam and what's not. And so like, you'll have fucking Elon Musk sell Hyperloop in uh, Las Vegas, <laughs> and then it's just twelve Teslas driving down a tunnel. <laughs> Oh, but they drive Con themselves. For, Con for the ages. That one was I think, impressive. I, I think, I think my the my favorite con it might be recency bias was the mm -hmm. uh, one that Aiden Ross got tricked into with that fucking rapper. He like cut a deal with him. He promised to pay him like two million dollars and like give him a Ferrari or something like that if he came on and did a stream. So the dude shows up like several hours late. Barely, it's a super awkward exchange for like five minutes and he's like all right i'm leaving so then aiden just like gives him cash and he just walks off this is fuck and that's after he got scammed the week before by another rapper like they're playing a card game and the dude was apparently using like a loaded deck but that might have been faked it's dude i fucking love e celeb drama because it's just it's so stupid uh vosh <laughs> going his porn folder on stream <laughs> and then confirming that uh guys it wasn't a joke this whole time aiden ross may be the dumbest man who's ever had ever seen success that's what i love that's what i fucking love that's is that people right there give, that's what <laughs> people like sit there just giving these people like tons of money these people should like like the fucking like Paul brothers and shit like that, mm -hmm. and they just go insane. Well, and but uh, because they're like those guys are they're, way, they're way smarter. Oh yeah, then the mm -hmm. wasn't like one of them like a fucking like professional wrestler or something. But anyways, <laughs> my point is one's a boxer, the other's a wrestler. XQC and shit like these people are just like so fucking stupid, and people just give them money to encourage their worst habits, mm -hmm. and they're just. They're just fountains of just hilarious shit. Hey, we got two more hunters down here. But yeah, public transit would get violent if people were forced to use it. But that's because like people in America are just insane. Yeah. We invest so little money into the people in America. It's actually bonkers. Well, you know, it has to do with, you know, as somebody who's paying for mental health stuff right now, shit's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty expensive. Yeah, but I think there's a difference between, you know, we can get people to pay for their own anxiety therapy because it's not that important compared to dealing with people's yeah, extreme the... violent rage. Yeah, yeah, there's schizophrenia and there. I mean, it's just other... stuff that would cause problems on a train. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Anxiety will cause problems on a train, too, but... I think you could get used to it. You can't get used to somebody getting violently angry on the train and threatening to beat yeah. people up. It's also that, and it's also, you know, lack of financial safety nets for people, so they turn to crime. Ooh, and... Down. And it's like... 
getting uh, getting was... people who have who have money and jobs onto trains and stuff. I want to see a study where somebody shows how many Can... movies have uh, like violent scenes on public transit and that the heroes have to stop. Is that normalizing the concept that like public transit's the super dangerous thing? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. You ha New York exists. But New York is ex an exception in a lot of ways. It's also it's also completely overblown. You have to remember like hundreds of thousands of people take New York Transit every day and there's maybe like one incident a week. Like your odds of getting into something on the train, you're going to see weirdos, but that's just New York City for you. Like you're going to see a woman who's wearing like just a woman who's like 500 pounds and just wearing a thong like that's that's gonna happen be be ready for that listen it was but like 95 it's the fucking same shit with that cars. day i i i i was i, I felt her I, I didn't even blame her that day it was literally the hottest day in new york city that summer and she was just yeah she had a shirt on but no pants Well, it was like the movie Nobody that made me think of it because it's got that set piece on the bus and I was like, this movie making people think that like if you get on a bus, you're just going to get raped by organized crime. Or what about um Speed? Speed also takes place on a bus. Yeah. Well, the Batman has a public transit thing. Oh, yeah. So the problem is New York is an exception in a lot of different ways. It's yeah. one of the only cities in America where the average person doesn't own a car mm -hmm. or where you have that kind of like institutional uh, system for building ownership. Like the way that they structure buildings. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, the way, the reason that building values are so overinflated because they like derive the building value from what they're charging rent and so they can, oh. nev they can never allow rents or leases to go down go down yes exactly i mean that's just that's just a new york thing yeah well that's my point is that there's a lot of things that makes new york an oddity of places yeah well, i mean like th literally like that's a statewide issue it's not even yeah. a city well, I'm just saying that's not representative of the average, even American public transit. It's just that it's yeah. the most prolific because, like, that's that's the what biggest. a lot of people are going to have experienced. I think the DC system, like, that's that would be a good system for most cities to target. You don't need a New York City system. Planes don't get much of a better portrayal in media, true, but mm -hmm. more people will take planes. So like you have to take a plane if you're traveling between two American cities, just kind of a necessity. Yeah, unless you're in. And the FAA, really, like, at least the FAA drive. does its fucking job and tries to make, like, I, <laughs> the fatality rate on planes is like stupid it's low. Super low. Yeah. It's like literally most aviation fatalities are from like enthusiasts crashing their prop. Oh yeah, no, it's all general aviation. Yeah. I mean, you look at what happened with that fucking Alaskan airline flight. They grounded that, grounded all of those fucking planes when that shit happened. Mm. It's interesting that we don't really have an organization like the FAA for cars. Like, you have the Department of Highways Safety... Well, because... Because you couldn't handle car licensing the same way that you handle plane licensing. Yeah. So like there was a there was a woman who was a YouTuber from out of Tennessee that crashed her plane recently, um, and they're gonna do there's gonna be a whole investigation into it because like she documented a lot of her planes and a lot of her flights and uh, the issues that she had as a pilot, and they're probably gonna investigate whoever licensed her and whoever uh, signed oh. off on her being like a competent pilot like interesting when the faa when the ntsb and the faa look into a pilot issue they don't just look at your license yeah they look at anybody that has like not ring to the alarm bell that you're a shitty pilot you mean you mean the my uh 
if I got into an accident on the highway, my uh, driving instructor who didn't ever take me on the highway would probably lose his license. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could never have something like that with cars because our economy is entirely too reliant on vehicles because being made available. Yeah, cars are a necessity. Mm -hmm. Remember, kids, driving is a privilege. Yeah, sure. That was, that was about that was um that was one of the biggest one of the biggest lies right up that I was told when I was growing up right up there with uh and before when you get to college and you don't drone but, licensing no. is already a thing um when you get to college and you don't cite your papers you're going to immediately lose your uh you're immediately going to get kicked out of school because they're going to think you're plagiarizing <laughs> and then I got to college and like every professor was just like just you know write your sources somewhere like i don't give a fuck about mla i like that if you kill the squad then the they go the engineers go down as well it's a good convenience detail mm -hmm. no health packs question mark they have uh they have bomb collars so you know their host dies. So, you know, they they know shit. Can't let that land, landing in the enemy. Having hands. good public transportation is a privilege. Like unironically, <laughs> don't it's, have good public it transit. Actually, it you has, know what that means? It is actually a sign of a more affluent area if they have good public transit and like alternative. Yeah. Well, uh, multi that was, that was transit. The, that was the joke I was going to make. Is you need to pay more taxes. Well, that's the weird thing is the most valuable homes in this country are all in neighborhoods that have public transit. Yeah. It's almost like it's Act a desirable feature and people will pay more money to live in that kind of area. Actually, it's it's you take it a step further. It's walkable city, like walkable mm -hmm. neighborhoods and stuff. Those. Those are like hot commodity now. I saw a headline. I really I have to look it up. I have to read the article itself, but it said like, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately for millennials and Gen Zers, uh, the suburbs are winning out against uh, like sustainable cities. Well, Just I can like, buy that because if you're designing a city around sustainability, of course it's going to fail. Well, no, 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 like sustainable, like walkable cities and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it was, I was talking. I, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember the yeah. thing off the top yeah. of my head, but that's basically what I was saying. Is like the suburbs are winning in the U.S. in terms of, and it's probably looking at like new home construction stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's probably like, yeah, and it's, yeah, that's that's. My friend was like talking about moving to North Carolina, so I was scouting it out and stuff. And I told him like, dude, I really don't like how they're developing down there. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, it's all fucking suburbs. It's all suburbs and highways. And no, it's I will like not pay the HOA fee. Copy pasted. Oh yeah, they all have HOAs and stuff. It's like copy pasted fucking like houses built to order. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, do you want the do you want the granite it's countertop? So weird because I, or do you want the? I the grew up in Washington countertop? where like every house was like an expression of. Mm -hmm. Like it was very diverse neighborhoods and buildings and stuff and so it's weird yeah, it's like same. moving to other parts of the country where it's like every house on the row is exactly the same see it used to be like that where every house like around here where every house is very unique and stuff and now it's just everything's a mcmansion it's like a mm -hmm. three floor four bedroom three bath which is hilarious because no but none of those houses don't fucking sell nobody wants yeah. those fucking houses they want the two bed two bath because, like, nobody has six kids anymore. They have, like, one. If. Like, where's the starter homes and stuff? Oh, you gotta get the you gotta get the apartments for that. Or you mm -hmm. gotta get a condo for that. Okay, how much does that shit cost? More than a mortgage for a regular house. Cool, thanks. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't it be one of our streams if we didn't somehow end up ranting about... <laughs> like I said, we're we're uh, the other side of the horseshoe of uh, <laughs> yet another urbanist talking talking about Starfield and uh, housing. I like that he eventually decided. You know what? Reno sucks. I'm moving to Seattle. <laughs> I mean, I liked it. 
It was nice. It was clean. Seattle is a nice city, but I wouldn't want to live there. I don't like the local politics. I wouldn't want to live there because it's super fucking expensive. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the thing, too, is uh, we make the same amount of money no matter where we live, so we're incentivized to, like, yeah. basically move to Europe. Fucking nowhere, yeah. Yeah, well, move, honestly. move to Europe if you want the city experience, and, like, move to the middle of nowhere if you want a rural experience in America. Yeah. I mean, I'm being incentivized to just continue living with my parents because, uh... Save Rinse my free. money. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Rinse free, maybe one day buy a house. You're like 50. It's like, well, I get along well with my parents. They're getting up there in their in years too. So it's like, like I had to snow blow yesterday for two hours. And it's like my parents couldn't do that shit. Like they would fuck, literally die doing that. So it's so it's either uh, you know. Me and my siblings, we start paying to get, like, house aides and stuff to come in here, or I just stay here, live rent-free, and, you know, do the occasional thing. I have no clue about VTuber drama. I was seeing v it on Twitter. VTuber drama? Yeah. It was, it was shit a while ago that I saw. I don't know if anything recent. So I haven't checked, I haven't, uh, checked X Tower in a couple of days. Dextero. I think it's Dexerto. Dexerto, whatever. <laughs> you know the place. You know the website. People with real jobs want to move to America because money. Listen, internet jobs are real jobs in that I can gentrify the fuck out of Mexico City. <laughs> They're actually like trying to get the Americans to move out yeah yeah they're trying to get the remote workers to leave and that's not even that's expensive. not even the worst of it like the crazy ass gentrification in south america of like guyana and stuff or really uh, I, I haven't heard of that yeah there's all kinds of like fucking guy of uh like south american countries that uh are having an influx of just remote workers that are driving up local prices mm, um not happening in ecuador i can tell you that <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend is uh his fiance lives in ecuador so we i get the i get the news on what's going on with that country and the it ain't good you know what a lot, it, it's weird though because like those countries do need like they really would benefit from uh foreign investment but yeah but foreign the money, investment the money needs isn't, isn't. the money needs to go to the people yeah that's that's the problem it doesn't really yeah. trickle down in that sense whoops maybe that's the solution to my health problem <laughs> kill yourself no, that's the canadian approach <laughs> I think Hawaii Oof. is trying to pass a bill to ban foreigners from buying residential property. I don't see why they didn't have that, because they have the fucking Hong Kong yeah. problem. Yeah. If your country is defined by, like, limited space for people, then you got to prioritize the housing of the people who are born there over people trying to move there just because Hawaii is nice. Plus, there's other Pacific islands that are, like, way better deals if, that, if that's what you're going to go for. This isn't even politics. I moved the discussion away from talking about Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> talking about this. I'm, this I'm biting my fun. tongue. I'm biting my tongue about some stuff going on right now yeah. with uh, with housing in New York. <laughs> we'll just uh, that's been we'll a, just that's been a problem that. since like I don't know the 1890s. <laughs> It's a shame my family lives here. That's all I gotta say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, man, if I could leave. See, my 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 friend doesn't have that issue. He's like, I'm going. Uh, I'm stuck. Really. 
All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna kill it's myself. It's funny that then. you say that about Ukrainian refugees fitting into Norwegian societies. I know somebody who's Polish, and uh, they don't fit in there. But I guess there's a bit of bad history. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can listen to this guy on YouTube explain it. Uh, check out Vlad Putin. <laughs> He'll explain the entire history of Russian. Man, that interview was something else. I will get slightly political on this. That interview was something else. I, I like to dumb people that were like, man, he's making a point that, that he, he would pursue peace if NATO stopped supplying them weapons. Yeah, because then Ukraine would lose the war and then the war would be over. Like, of course he's going to say that. I didn't even watch it. You have to be kind of dumb to not get that. That's what he's saying is the war would be over if you stopped supporting one of the sides of the war. Shit, it's ending even with us supporting it. Yeah. And it's kind of the problem is that, like, long term, Ukraine isn't, like, just, Russia has the manpower. They have the manpower yeah. and they've and the successfully industry. switched to a wartime economy, so... And especially the industry. Yeah. Oh, hey. That's kind of... That, that was, like, that was the only hope that Ukraine really had was that they wouldn't be able to get up to like full wartime economy but uh like the, the sanctions would hurt too much and stuff but it you know, they they did it and i that's something i definitely won't get you're into, expecting though, people to have basic deduction skills in the u.s patrician yeah, well, it's like p American brains are so fried by politics that they don't even understand the basics of just a guy saying, if we won, the war would end. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a partisan issue to me. What is winning? We need to redefine success. Listen, listen, Putin's Putin's on that Truman. He's on the Truman grind. He's mm. gonna first he needs he's on the trust building right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to he's really trying to switch over to that retention, but mm -hmm. really needs that trust right about now. I like that Russia was uh calling out America and the UK for bombing Dresden when the Soviets requested it. That was a really fun headline today. This was back in World War II that they're they're suddenly complaining about something we did in World War II, which I'll admit it was fucked up. But the Soviets asked us to do it. And Putin even just now brought a uh, continuity between the Soviets and the Russians. Anyways, enough enough politics. Back to complaint bitching about trains. I uh. So I got a I got a camera recently, like a big boy camera, mm -hmm. Sony. If anybody's curious, it's the Sony uh, Sony Alpha Three R. Yes, yes. Yeah, you were Sony like Alpha Three R. K picture. Yeah, because <laughs> that's too easy to downscale it. Listen, I, listen, I have Discord Nitro. I'm gonna use it. Um. Yeah. What were they like? Yeah, so what were they like? Forty megabytes. Yeah, <laughs> they're like thirty megabytes each, something around there. The raws are even crazier. That's yeah, a, that's the JPEGs that are fucking. Yeah, no, that's that's compressed. Yeah, uh, I was like, one twenty eight gig flash card. That should be enough. And like by the end of the first day, I had like twenty percent filled. I was just like, all right, we are not going to be uh, doing. Yeah, you're gonna need raw... one of those little SD card holders. Yeah. Like I well, had. I just I just stopped I just stopped uh, capturing in raw because I don't really need that. The JPEGs are like insane enough as it is. Anyways, I found a new obsession, which is uh, taking pictures of planes. That was genuinely fun. I so, like suddenly I get that that live stream channel where it's just they're just standing out there, taking videos of planes coming going by. I kind of want to do that with like trains now too and ships. I like how all my hobbies that I've been picking up are outside. Yeah, it's a, it's important. Gives you more things to talk about in your videos too. It it actually does. Yeah.
like I can make hiking analogies and shit like that. It's 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 nice, but taking, it's also taking nice. Taking pictures of like... planes hasn't been made illegal post nine eleven. Actually, taking uh people filming that shit is really useful when those planes have accidents. Yeah, because then they have a lot of more documentation to work with in terms of like what was going on with the plane. Becoming a vehicle autist, mm -hmm. I've I heard. Uh, my my favorite label is train otaku. <laughs> that's 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 my favorite. That's the favorite, best label I ever heard. Disc golf is not an elite outdoor hobby. I'd say it's like kind of high to mid tier. Where Disc do you where do you where do you rank uh, cornhole? Fucking what? Cornhole? You never uh, heard of cornhole? Sounds gay. <laughs> the the game with the beanbags? Uh, not in my area. Really? See, I always assumed it came from your area, because like it it only recently popped up around here. Suddenly, everybody's talking about fucking playing cornhole. I'm like, I think the only thing we export is meth. <laughs> I don't know, it has like a Midwest vibe to. I guess not. It might be from the Midwest. It is a huge, you know, amount of space. I know you're used to New York, where everything's defined by a thin strip of land. They could be, like, invaded by the Germans in four hours. Right. <laughs> uh, one second. We've lost private session. I do like saying that we should have like walkable spaces as equated with uh, eating bugs and uh, living in pods. I love being able to walk places. What you need a Spartan for? It's just because the same types talking about ur livable urban environments are bug eaters. Well, see, the problem is the people who are already on board with it are going to be city types, and city types, of course, are going to be you know, your climate activists and all that. So I totally get I get the association, but I don't know. That's also like equating gun control with like. Right extremely conservative not gun control but gun as guns as a hobby with like extreme conservatism when it's like yes there is an overlap but you shouldn't <clears throat> close yourself off from a hobby just because a lot of rural people are into it rural people are into it because of like hunting and stuff militias hey, that, which is hey a chat innately more rural accessible hobby so i'm considering buying my first firearm any suggestions also, I had to answer that. Somebody who, like, never calls me called me, and I was just like, uh-oh. But it was all fine. Yeah, normally I ignore phone calls when I'm, uh, when I'm streaming, but like I said. I get one phone call a year, God damn it. Yeah, so growing up in an area where, like, uh, you know, people aren't used to guns or hunting or anything like that, mm -hmm. people have, like, some, uh, a lot of misconceptions about hunting and firearms. Yeah. And uh, they don't understand that, like, literally, like, even in New York State, hunting is, like, controlled by the Department of Environmental Conservation. Which because, is like, true literally. In most places. Yeah, which because it's like literally without hunters, there would be like tons of like species just like running rampant, destroying like ecosystems and stuff like that. So it's like Fucking really deer. important that people get out there and hunt. Yeah, exactly. Deer. A 
and to resupply. Actually, I'm out of ammo too. <laughs> nice. It's the Halo Infinity way. That's just the Halo way in general. I've done that CE too. New York State Law's gonna uh, limit your. Uh... Yeah, the problem the problem is gonna be like handguns or handguns, gun handguns, handguns are a bitch. I'm not really. I wouldn't go with a handgun for first firearm anyways. I was thinking more rifle. I might actually get like a hunting license next season. Not even, not even because like uh, I want to hunt, but tracking looks like fun as hell. I was, so I'll just go out and just track. Maybe I'll go out with like other people. And I'll just they can have shoot my the tag. deer. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can take the tags. I just want to track. And it's not even like I'm anti hunting or like I'm vegetarian. I just don't want to be bothered with like having to butcher a deer or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah, that's like a lot of fucking work. I'll just go to McDonald's and, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll just outsource my, that work. Get my hamburgers. Yeah. But like tracking and stuff looks really fucking fun. pay someone to butcher it hmm yeah but i still have to transport it i don't have a i don't have like a pickup or something i don't want like a bloody fucking deer yeah just get a quad a bike bloody i can't drive that legally on the roads around here <laughs> do they even have wild animals on long island yeah we do a lot I'm of deer. not people a lot of deer and raccoons got raccoons and squirrels and uh the occasional possum i don't know do stray cats count as wild animals <laughs> it i really do live in like a weird place because um like we don't even have bears or like wolves or like it, literally no no predators whatsoever the most dangerous thing we can come across is a rabid, uh, like a rabies infested uh, raccoon. So like, you can understand why people don't usually hunt around here because they don't need to do it for like any sort of defensive purpose. Whereas upstate, they have to fucking get people to go out and hunt the black bears and shit. Actually, I don't know if New York does that. I'm pretty sure Jersey has that, though. They have bear season. I don't know if New York has that anymore. I saw someone complaining the other day about wolves being in their area. Slings are a real patrician choice for hunting. Uh, my brother-in-law does okay. archery. I probably... I'd probably pick that up, too, just so that I can get into, like, hunting areas. Like, literally, I'm considering getting a rifle just so I can just get go a on, like, hunting lands when it's hunting season. Just get a spear and start spear hunting. All you need. I wonder if that's even legal around here. Get something with a low mag size, single shot or five yeah. shot internal mags. That's probably all I could fucking buy, to be perfectly honest, in my state. Yeah, that's what I was kind of looking at. You guys still need guns for protection, right? Against nature? No. <laughs> Not where I live. Wolves are barely in the lower 48. And, like, grizzly bears, you can get, aw get away from with, like, bear spray. Yeah. It's this engineer that's like a huge resource dump. I need to die. Don't you need a permit to hunt wild animals? You don't need one to hunt boars here. Uh, over here you do. But it really, it more has to do with, um, they just want to know like, uh, what, like the population, like, uh, what's getting hunted and everything so they know for like conservation reasons mm -hmm. it's a fucking mess though like i tried uh figuring out like all the different hunting rules like with what lands and shit like but, that and it's just like no i've never i've never saw wild animals as a threat anywhere in this country 
like we were talking about bike packing across the country earlier none of those yeah. guys carry guns yeah because it'd be a hassle yeah if you're going if your bike all that but your bi your biggest concerns would be snakes and uh people's dogs oh fucking feral dogs dude like holy mm -hmm. shit you want something you want something that i've almost had to shoot multiple times feral <laughs> dogs like that not even a joke not even a joke the brutes are gone. I wonder if they... Oh, no. Okay, they found an area. Wild hogs are considered invasive species in Texas. Yeah, there's some... Um, They're invasive there's... species in North America. Yeah. There's, like, a certain hog that they had in, like, Canada. It's, like, this really fucking smart uh, hog. And now it's, like, out. And it's, like, a serious problem. It's like down in the down in the states now. No, nah, it's never pit bulls. I've never had issues with pit bulls, but that's because they're not legal. Oh, my area, in Canada. Oof. My uh, my condolences for your. It, it's rough being a gun owner in Canada. Be native. Canada has some really nice wild land, though. Like, Canada is a wet dream for uh, anybody, like, any outdoor enthusiast. Like, crown land and stuff? God damn. I like that some guy was, like, some guy called, during the Never drama, called me unhinged for carrying a gun to shoot dogs. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, the police told a cyclist in my area that reported a dog attack that they should have been carrying a handgun. Like, yeah, yeah. That's Le just it. Legitimately, if you go to the cops and say I was attacked by a dog, they're going to ask why you weren't carrying a gun. <laughs> I mean, like, lacking that context, if you live in another area or, like, you live in Europe or something like that, I can understand. You can understand why that sounds a bit wild? Sounds, yeah. But it is a bit stupid. You have to understand that. We let know. Americans own dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, true so true and you know how americans are the brute plasma rifles one well, of the you know, greatest weapons you know what they the say series. there's no such thing as a bad dog just bad owners yeah gunless urbanites are clueless it's true yeah but do you know how to handle and uh when a crackhead why is do they not kill feral dogs i'm not sure what the issue with feral dogs is i mean it's not like a consistent problem i have it's like once a year i run into dogs yeah. and sometimes they they'll want it, they'll try to chase you and sometimes they won't it's usually just some owner lost their dogs or abandoned their dogs and they turn feral it's like trying to go to war with the emus you know like that didn't work for australia i'm sure Going around shooting feral dogs wouldn't work either. Um, Here's something. Got him. <laughs> Most dogs that chase you just want to play. Most dogs that chase cyclists are going to try to bite you. If you don't uh, discourage them. Yeah... Cause you're uh, you're coming in their turf, you know. Mm -hmm. And doing what a what a good guard dog does. Listen, you know how expensive healthcare is in the states. Why would you even risk getting bit by a dog? <laughs> Man, yeah, emergency emergency room visit, rabies shot. Yeah, hey, look, that's easy. Like goodbye savings. Bucks. God forbid you have to do any follow-ups, which you probably will. Yeah. You had to get stitches? <sighs> oh, right, they'll have to do blood work, too. So, all right, there's another 250 bucks because the, mm. the phlebotomist isn't going to be within your network, just so you know. The hospital might be in your network. The person taking your blood probably won't, or the lab they send it to probably isn't in your network. So, I mean, if that was a solved problem, maybe I'd be a little less wary of dogs, but... 
I hope you didn't like break a bone when that dog bit you because then you're yeah. talking about an x-ray then 100 bucks right there 150 bucks just you know what though just tell them it doesn't hurt because if they give you the tylenol it's gonna cost you another 50 bucks <laughs> sometimes they do spinal taps on rat rabies bites Healthcare is such an easily solved American problem. The problem is that the federal government doesn't want to invest any money in our people. They want to invest all of our money into other countries. Yeah, too busy trying to win the geopolitical game. Well, you know, God, God damn it! You I know what I could do with ninety-six billion dollars? I miss the time where like healthcare was in. Like, like that was the topic for like three yeah. years in like discourse It's like, yeah, let's make healthcare affordable. Can we, how the fuck, like it's only gotten worse, right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's only gotten it's so much worse, get especially after COVID. It's because people get distracted with pointless social topics. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, what about like how everybody's like property taxes are just like blown through the roof because like local governments are going bankrupt or, uh. You know, well, like, that's that we'd have to acknowledge that car dependency is an issue with that. Or like car insurance just keeps going up because you know everybody's driving and texting while driving and stuff, and it's like, mm -hmm. and, be, and because they're trying to rip people off, like, come on, yeah. Or uh, you know, like the failing infrastructure. You have bridges falling apart and stuff. Oh, well, I well, we just want to talk about social well, issues. Well, and see, um, healthcare tourism is only a thing because our healthcare standards have dropped, like <laughs> proportional to how much more expensive it's become. So we pay more to get less. So of course you're going to go to some fucking third world doctor. Like, the the you're the third world doctor is already at your hospital, like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty sad. Falling it's pretty wild. Shit. This is why we talk about games. Talk about the yeah, video I took, games. I took out a I took out a new credit card and I just put all my medical bills on that. No interest for eighteen months. Fuck it. Keep my I'll keep my cash for a little while longer. Speaking of which, I think I have to make a payment on that soon. And the best part, too, is, like, um, so many people have, like, no literacy when it comes to, like, navigating the healthcare system. You know, ask a, ask the average American, like, uh, what their deductible is. I'm just going to look at you like, uh, what? Yeah, what's what's your deductible? What's your co-pays like? What's your max out of pocket? Uh, I had like I had a friend. He's like literally like twenty seven years old. I was asking him these questions, and he he didn't know what those words meant. I'm like, dude, that's um, you really should know that. I'm not asking you to like memorize uh what doctors are in your fucking network. Just uh, what's your max out of pocket? What's your deductible? Do you, do you have an insurance card? Do you, do you at least insurance got Insurance is for pussies. Mm, yeah. Are they still charging people for like uh, not having health insurance, or did no, they? No, that was a that was a horrible idea, and it just didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, Trump repealed that, I guess. Fuck, I think it, it got repealed in the Obama administration. Yes. <laughs> I did not think they did it for more than a year. They definitely weren't doing it by the time I was making money. Then why are they still sending me shit like proof of uh, proof of insurance coverage when I have to do my taxes? I don't know. I don't even know why the IRS does that stuff. I don't know why the IRS does half the things they do.
the shit. And if you, if you're not getting charged for that shit, you just fucking go on and share it if you're uh, if you're young and healthy. Uh, not a financial advisor. <laughs> Actually, in in a uh, in the state of New York, this is one of the good things about the state is that um, I always say it's like New York's good for two things: if you're a student, or if you're sick, or or, or if you're like below the poverty line, and you just get everything for th free. So three things, but um, yeah, even for like young people, it's like kind of silly not to have health insurance because it's like so fucking heavily subsidized here. You can basically get it for like nothing. I was paying like thirty bucks a month for my health insurance few years ago yeah uh, coverage sucked but it's like uh, you'll have coverage if you have to go into the hospital they will negotiate prices down on your behalf just having that alone is like great you look at the charges like one fucking walking clinic charged me like 700 bucks and my insurance is like uh no 200 or 150 actually There's a nice view of the uh, uh, Oni building. How do we get to it? I haven't been paying attention. I'm literally, I'm just sitting here reading chat. <laughs> reading chat and talking. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing it's not my screen that's being broadcasted because it's like, this is the most boring fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, Chad, do you need subway surfers? No, the stream's not boring. It's just, we're talking about no. things that people don't always care about. We're talking about, like, American issues, too. So, like, anybody in Europe is, like... Well, they can laugh at it. I don't know. It's like kind of the same deal that I proposed with the the one hundred dollar game price tag. Is like I'd pay more in taxes if I actually got more as a guarantee, not uh, as yeah, like, not I've... as like a vague promise, but like like if tangibly I received more. Yeah, and then that's the um, no problem with it. That's the fundamental thing that Europeans don't understand about Americans, and it's like why don't you guys want like all these how like social services because we don't trust our government. That's why. Because they've been proven, they've proven time and time again that they cannot be trusted because they're fucking incompetent. They waste money, they corrupt as shit, and people would rather have the money in their own pockets. Like, well, fuck it then. If they can't handle it, I, I'll handle it then. It was like, it'd be great if I could live in a country, I would love to live in a country like Norway or Finland or something. And it's like, yeah, I lose half my, and not for nothing, the U like US's nominal tax rate is like 40%, which is like only like 10% less than like finland's yeah but we get like your real taxes yeah yeah like your real taxes that you spend in the u.s are almost on par with uh with european nations but you get so much less out of it i have dysfunctions more than non-function but that's kind of the thing is like we did that we blew that up we blew that up on this stream <laughs> it's just like such good uh assets too yeah no this game was not an asset flip like whatsoever and then euros import a bunch of people who don't pay and take the money out and wonder why the system's failing i mean the u.s has the same problem too we just have a larger population, so we're able to uh, absorb the uh, absorb the issue. And we got the states to, you know, we're more decentralized. 
And then, we have the Fed who can just literally print money because they have access to money cheats. Mm -hmm. And we trust that they have good intentions. <laughs> that That is the ultimate irony, right? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> we don't trust our government except when it comes to monetary policy. We have to. Yeah, we have to. We literally don't have a choice. We have a gun to we, our heads. It's like, all right, do you want monopoly money then and not no? just here okay, then... and not just here either there's so many countries that are dependent on the usd yeah ecuador <laughs> and it is like kind of the international standard as well so it is a reserve currency for a lot of other countries even if they don't adhere to the standard yeah you want to talk about too big to fail. The Federal Reserve. At some point you question well, if it even can fail. It hasn't, at, it hasn't been functional in a long time, and yet it's still going. At some point you start to question if we even need money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how, like, insane everything is. It's like, what, like, what is money? Is cryptocurrency like is that just an irrelevant discussion? It's not even like like the technologists is like, no, no, no. We just don't need a standard of like storing value anymore. Like value is people's desire. And people want to go out and revenge spend after COVID. So we have a booming economy, even though all indications are saying that we should be in a recession right now. The rest of the world's in a recession, but fuck that. Definitely, we're America. We're definitely a clown market. <laughs> you know, what should be shall not. <laughs> Just rack up that fucking credit card debt. Fuck it. If the Fed can rack up debt, why can't I? I'm just going to refinance it when the interest rates are like 1% again. Because they're going to go back down to 1%. <laughs> Nah, I don't buy it. You don't buy that they're going to go back down to 1%? Not the way that things are currently being run, no. Because <laughs> if the aim is to get inflation under control, it will literally never get under control unless something fundamentally changes about the way our system's structured. Well, I mean, you know, the raising of the minimum wage across the board is yeah. not going to help. No, somebody's going to come in and they're going to want the stock market to rally, so they're just going to cut the rates. Fuck it. Inflation? We're so yeah, just, fucking back. Just massage the numbers. Stop counting people's rent in the CPI reports. Not everybody pays rent, right? Look at look, half the millennials live with their parents who aren't and they're not paying rent and stuff. Why are we counting rent in CPI anymore? Fucking get rid of it. Bam, there you go. Inflation just dropped two percent. So you gotta start thinking like uh you gotta th start thinking like a statistician here. Mm-hmm. I think it's a fundamental thing in America. You ever like? Did you ever read the Strong Towns book? Or like? No, I really, I really should. The basic, the basic principle theory is that uh, towns in America are stuck in a growth paradox because the road infrastructure liabilities they accrue is greater mm -hmm. than the amount of revenue that those roads service can generate. Yeah. And so, in order to pay for your old road network. You have to build more road network that you can't pay for. Yeah. And so it's just it's stuck in a growth <clears throat> paradox. I think that's where inflation comes from. Uh probably. I imagine a big driver of it is transportation. Yeah. Because we're just incurring these increasing liabilities of road maintenance. And then we wonder why yeah. like there's so many potholes and yeah. dysfunctional roads. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> Here's the two solutions. You either, um, you either start building like you know new inf uh, like walkable cities and you know start reducing the demand for vehicles, mm -hmm. or you reduce the costs incurred when building infrastructure. How do you do that? You make smaller vehicles. No. What are you talking about? You can't make smaller vehicles. People want big vehicles. Everybody's dying in vehicles, so you, you need the bigger vehicle. So, like, for example, 
No, 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 no. You, <laughs> rather than using asphalt, thank you. You use gravel, or yeah. actually, even gravel is probably well, too expensive. What I found fast. We'll use, what I we'll, found, use, we'll use microplastics. Yeah, we got a lot of that floating clothes. around. What I, yeah, what I found go. enlightening was um, asphalt bicycle paths last significantly longer than asphalt roads because trucks don't mm -hmm. drive on them. Oh, yeah. No, trucks trucks are, like, fucking awful. That's why um, usually your side streets last significantly longer than uh, your main roads. It's just trucks. But now everybody's going to be driving trucks because everybody's going to be driving 9,000-pound EVs. Which, mean, which, of course, means that your road maintenance liabilities are going to go up across the system because the roads are being damaged faster. Yeah. We need smaller vehicles, we need lighter vehicles, just because it'll be cheaper to maintain the roads that those vehicles are driving on if we have to have a system relying on cars. Yeah, but people aren't buying smaller vehicles, they're buying larger vehicles. So we gotta Yeah, and then and then vehicles. somebody will bring up like, well, it was the it was the liberal government that imposed those policies. And it's like, yeah, we think those fucking policies are stupid too. Like we get it. It was like an environmentally focused policy that said we need to have uh, heavier vehicles, right? what the evs you mean not just evs but like uh traditional like suvs and stuff they can't make environmentalists were saying that they should have heavier vehicles yeah like they can't because of safety and environmental regulations vehicles are increasing in their weight oh right right, right. yeah because like hybrid engines are heavier and shit yeah you need more tech in there like a catalytic converters and mm -hmm. blah, blah 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 and that's that stuff adds up oh yeah it does and then you have cars that weigh a ridiculous amount of just driving around which of course is more dangerous for pedestrians that get hit by those vehicles but yeah and also makes the roads they drive on fall apart faster god damn what me dying a million times no the grenades cooking off <laughs> yeah uh no evs is like the ultimate just shifting the blame yeah like trying it doesn't... to no 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 cars will work cars will work we just need yeah. one more yeah, yeah yeah we need a new piece of technology that's going to make them work technology it's like, it's well i keep over, bro. i've been well i've been saying the we're not saving the planet like that ship has sailed like we're not hitting those benchmarks or, or anything we're just like going to need some different kind of technology and system to save the planet we... but <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, we need, like, some sort of, like, miracle technology at this point. The question people really need to start asking themselves now is, okay, how do we live with this? Yeah. How do we live with, you know, cities sinking? How do we, mm -hmm. uh, how do we deal with all of these, like, issues and stuff? Because I, I genuinely think, like, at this point, it's a lost cause. That, uh, like, yeah, Antarctica's gonna... Like well, all the ice caps are going to fall. I always, melt I'm always, up. I'm always hesitant about bringing up the environmental angle with urbanism because it turns a lot of like conservative it's a people's starter. brains off. Yeah, it's a non-starter. Like, oh, there's a much, you, there's a much simpler you care about it for that reason. There's a much simpler and a much more relatable angle to take, and it's the personal economic angle. Yeah, always go for the financial out. arguments because conservative yeah. people understand when you say that, like, hey, it's a lot cheaper and people would be able to save more money and flow that money into different parts of the economy if they were not relying on huge car payments you know it would save retail large like transit hubs where you can build like a mall around and stuff i love like uh one of the things i love watching is like um people exploring japan and it's fascinating like how healthy their like retail market is over there and it's yeah. just because, like, all their stores are built, like, around, uh, like, their major malls and stuff are built on top of, like, uh, fucking train stations. Like, it's so simple. Such a simple idea, and it's just like, yeah, it works. And it's, just, it's, like, it's fascinating how many issues could actually just be solved if we had, if we weren't car dependent. Yeah. Well, and then Americans go to non-car dependent countries and are like, that was so nice. <laughs> I love walking around this town. No, they do that in the fucking, in the U.S. Yeah, they do that in Disneyland. Yeah. And not even Disneyland, dude. There's neighborhoods around here, like the historic neighborhoods where it's like, I love coming down here and walking. Sure, I have to drive to get here, 
but I like to walk around here. It's mm -hmm. just like, yeah, you know, you could have more of that. And it's even more, it's even more dissonant when it's like a New Yorker saying that. And it's like, have you been to New York City? <laughs> yeah. But uh, that there's two types of people around here on Long Island. It's the people who never leave the island because they hate the city. And then there's the people who have been to the city and are fine with it. And it's like, it's, sur it surprises me as somebody who's like been to the city a million times and stuff is like, how many people genuinely are afraid of it? It's like, it's just, it's just weird. Cars are a luxury. They should be a luxury. They should be owned by like, People with a lot of money or people who are like really into the hobby, right? That's that. And that's where I come in. So that's, this is funny too. Like people will hear me like saying this and be like, oh, you want like everybody to get rid of cars. You want to ban cars. It's like, fuck no. I love cars. I love driving around in cars. I'm willing to pay for my car and everything like that. I want less people on the road so that my fucking insurance rates go down and there's less traffic on the road. I want less traffic on the road so I don't get stuck in traffic all the time. And, you know, being able to take public transit, like, I don't, I don't, I'm really not a fan of flying. I would much rather be able to just, like, get into high-speed rail and, like, hit the West Coast in a day and a half. Yeah, I hope those high-speed rail programs in Texas succeed. And California. Mm -hmm. They're doing one between uh, L.A. and Las Vegas. And it's private. Oh, shit. So, we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling it won't work. Probably not. The, L the LA one at least makes sense because it's connecting a route that a ton of people drive every year. Yeah. I mean, the problem, too, is, like, it really is like the development of it because you're dealing with like so many different jurisdictions and stuff mm -hmm. like towns counties villages sometimes like out, out fucking around here it's insane you know like on the on the lowest level actually on the lowest level you have the school districts the funny thing indigo <laughs> is that we're already there if the trains were on time amtrak could easily fill that niche of driving across the country because mm -hmm. i got across the country in about comparable time to driving it's just that the trains were late. It actually, it, it for like on and, the East Coast, it actually works. Like, yeah, New, like New York to Florida is actually like perfectly viable. A lot of people like from up here, if they're going to DC, they'll take Amtrak. Yeah, you're not going to have uh, high speed rail between Seattle and New York, but you can have yeah. regional high speed, high speed rail, right? Yeah, it's like. Europe doesn't have Europe doesn't do high speed between you know Lisbon and Warsaw. They do high speed between like Lisbon and uh, some other fucking city in Spain, Portugal. Mm -hmm. Like they they do that inter region stuff, and it's insanely efficient how how they do it. But that's how you get around that whole America's a big country problem. Yeah, America is a big country, but it's subdivided into smaller states. Yeah, because, like, a lot of people, if you're going to travel across the country, you'll just fly, right? Mm -hmm. Just take the five-hour flight. But a lot of people do traveling, like, to go visit family. And most people don't move across the country away from their family. They usually move, like, two states away because it's cheaper than their home state. So that's a lot of your interstate travel right there. Mm -hmm. So if you just fucking, like, put in high-speed rails for that shit... Yeah, you can reduce a lot. Yeah, feel free to ask a question about the Starfield video if you have one. Whose Starfield video, mine or yours? I don't think they specified. <laughs> oh, he added me, so probably mine. Okay. All of your family's on the opposite side of the country. Well, you said you didn't like Seattle. Generally, it's the weather, so it's like, yeah, what's what's the exact opposite of Seattle's weather? 
Well, I mean, planes are always going to serve a niche, but it's just like cars where it's got to be a luxury. Actually, the exact opposite probably like Arizona. Hot and dry. Why don't you see? Seattle wasn't even that cold. New York's definitely colder. You said on one of your streams that you will make a quick retrospective style video and everything including DLC and stuff is out. So what happened there? Uh, basically... That's when I set out to make the project from the very beginning, you know? Like when I was, was deciding that? Cyberpunk versus WoW Classic. Like, the big problem with Cyberpunk for a long time was the DLC wasn't out. Whereas now that that's a thing, I would consider it as for a project, right? But I would still disqualify Elden Ring as a concept. But with Starfield, I never set out to make a quick retrospective on it. It was supposed to be, you know, a shorter, four hours short, but... Yeah. I'm taking a risk right now, so don't die. Alright. What is this music? You've never heard this before? Yeah, there's a, there's a saxophone piece that's not on the soundtrack for this part. Man, what a... Fuck, we, we really lost a good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Marty O'Donnell. Really did lose the goat there. Yeah, I was trying to find parts of the map we hadn't been to yet, because I saw we were kind of looping the same parts. Because <laughs> that means we also get more of the soundtrack. Marty was apparently making his own game. That would be interesting. I, dude, there's so many, like, developers where it's they announce something like, yeah, I'm independent now, and then you just never hear about anything from them ever again. It's well, like I'm, six, ten years later. Indie's hard. And I can see it be, is. being I have, yeah. career AAA having difficulty transitioning to indie. Mm -hmm. it's, that's, it's just one of those things where... um. I'll hear about, like, you know, somebody going, I'm just like, I don't know. When I see it on Steam. Well, I mean, you've got, like, Nate Perky Pile. He's not on Steam yet, but... Yeah. I would say that, he like, seems... his game's gonna happen. Yeah, his, seem... his... his seems uh, pretty close. It actually looks, like, pretty up my alley, too. It looks pretty good. I'll definitely be checking it out. I hate Ford so much. I hate looking at small town pictures from the early 1900s and seeing every single one with a trolley system. No, that's the thing. Is like <laughs> we used to, it used to be a solved issue. We unsolved it. Well, I would look at like the Netherlands for example, because people, some people will like argue against the Netherlands, saying that well, it was rebuilt that way. Actually, it was rebuilt to be a car dependent system. Yeah, and, and people then, fucking hated it. They had this movement called uh, Stop the Kinder Mord, uh, which translates to Stop the Child Murder. Uh, they were very blatant with it. They were not afraid of like, uh, they were not afraid of like, well, you know, the tone's a little harsh. And, you know, isn't it a little overplayed to say that we're stopping child murder? They were like, no, stop fucking running over kids with cars. Let's design infrastructure that's better than that. And so like, they took out a lot of that post-World War II infrastructure that they had built and replaced it with better variation. So yeah. it, it being a post war a lot of, a lot of that is not a lot of that infrastructure. I mean, granted, a lot of that infrastructure did like it takes a while. They got they started doing that what in like the seventies, I think. Uh, yeah, that's around when the uh, the movement happened. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it, it's fucking gonna take like fifty years or so. But I mean, we're still building new develop. Like that's the thing with the U.S. is that we still have like a shit ton of buildable land. So it's like we could at least be building new developments mm -hmm. correctly. I, dude, I love seeing new developments that are like, yeah, so copy we've got, pasted no, 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 no. suburbs. Even better, 
uh like tight urban little livable spaces that have dedicated parking sp parking lots and then it's like a two lane road access area like remember <laughs> where we were at in dc yeah like those like that that little like uh suburb of hotels had to be like what four to five thousand people yeah all imagine all of those cars packing onto those two lane roads that connected all of those buildings to like the main <laughs> arterials in the dc like so yeah i mean we, that we place did was this. a nightmare I don't, I don't have to imagine it because we did this in yeah. my city skyline stream yeah. <laughs> well i'm just using the real world example of arlington yeah. virginia yeah or, was city. it arlington or was it capital city uh, crystal city crystal city, but it's, yeah. it's a part of arlington yeah it's it's right before the bridge that goes into dc proper turns out turns out i have family that lives there i like came Damn. home and i was just like shit talking that place super hard yeah. and like my dad's like oh, your cousin lives there right mm -hmm. i was like it was so right. weird it like they obviously tried with it but it just felt soulless That's yeah the problem the problem like, was the like, fucking Iraqi kebab place was across the four lane road. Yeah, I'd have gone to that place if it was on our side of. Uh, hey, at li listen, at least at Boulevard. least you had functioning crosswalks. Yeah, right. That they were that they were signaled. I, I wouldn't trust them like rely like, consistently. <laughs> there was that one guy walking home from the hotel with the like a uh, heavy attitude. Guy was our spirit animal. <laughs> And yeah, like DC is one of the better cities in terms of like that sort of stuff. They have mm -hmm. like the second best because then the, metro the network in the then country. they can feel like they're actually doing something to solve the problem. Because like, well, they they look around where they're at and it's like, well, it's solved here. So clearly, like the average American is served by the DC metro. And I love the DC Metro. I thought it was really cool, but it was really, it was, it was really good. It was really, it, it was access, it was accessible, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you've never been on like the uh, New York City subway, right? Yeah, no, never yeah, been to New York. Uh, if you ever come to New York, you have to ride the network, like ride the network and stuff, because you will, yeah, you will be flabbergasted by how like convoluted and esoteric it is. It is so no, I, I look forward to being confused like, when I go through there. It's like, oh, you want to go to Brooklyn from Queens? That would, you know, be like a 20-minute car ride south. Uh, no, that's actually going to be an hour and a half because you have to take the train into Manhattan, go down through, like, Midtown, downtown, and then double back across through the Rockaways and shit. Might as well stop at Coney Island. I think that he's like screening the shots that were going for his grunts with his shields. <laughs> Whereas like DC, it was just like, all right, do you want to go this way or that way? Almost all of the stations were single, single Ooh. level. Rural America might need platforms. cars and rail isn't financially viable. Well, of course. Yeah, if you live in the middle of Alaska, you're probably best served by, like, car and, I don't know, yeah. bush plane. Of course. But most people, most of the U.S.'s population lives in, like, urban areas. And we like mentioned this absolutely... before. Like, at the turn of the 19th century, the 20th century, most towns had trolleys. Yeah. Most has had, towns had, like, some form of electrified rail. I find it fascinating too. Like, we can't even get the fucking like train infrastructure right. Where it's we have third rails. Like, what other country uses the third rail system? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, of course, if you're living out in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna need a car to complete your yeah. Costco trips. Yeah, like if you're living in like Nebraska or something, but. Uh, I mean, I would assume. But if you're living in Topeka, you're Kansas, out, you're probably you're served by a bus. There, 
Like if you're living out there, you're kind of into the lifestyle. I mean, it, it sucks if you're not into the lifestyle. And you well, don't and have there's the so few people out. out there that you could ride a bike places and like not get run over. Yeah, because there's yeah, not that much true. traffic. That's true. People used to ride horses places, so. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe uh, rural Texas in the middle of summer, riding your bike is probably fatal. I don't know though, because you get that you get that breeze effect when you start going quicker on a on a bike. Yeah, it's doable. I mean, the main thing with like living living by the bike is just knowing the time of day, knowing the local weather. Yeah. And probably the routes too. Like you could take routes that are shaded mm -hmm. if it's cold, if it's like hot. Well, that's the thing too. Is there are places that are trying to build this type of infrastructure and they don't know what they're doing because they just build a sidewalk next to a four lane arterial <laughs> that has no shade on it for like five miles, and it's like cool sidewalk. Do you fuck, want to man. kill people? Fuck man, that's <laughs> that's that's luxury. Yeah, half the fucking bike lanes are just painted in the gutter. Mm -hmm. Uh. My shitty little town has one bike lane, and it is uh, it's a gutter lane, and it goes out of town to a uh, like, <laughs> to a trail. You, it services you want, nobody. You want, your, you want your bike lanes? Get the fuck out! It literally starts in the middle of like uh, that's a of, message of, right of like there. an arterial connection that's like literally at least a quarter mile from the nearest house. That. I'm telling you, that is a message. Yeah, no, it's, it's get the fuck out. Yeah. There's um, there's been a bunch of like development recently, uh, in my in my neighborhood and stuff, and they're talking about like you know building more affordable housing and stuff, Section Eight, and stuff. So, my town decided to start taking land and building parks there instead, because they're like, yeah, we don't want affordable housing. So we're just going to be so like they took this giant property near my near my house place would have been worth millions of dollars to a fucking developer. And they just built like a giant park there, just a giant like baseball field system, like tons of athletic fields and everything. I'm like, all right, build your fucking affordable housing there now. It's time for me to learn the numbered districts here in New Mombasa. They're numbered. Yeah, there's numbers on them. In theory, you could learn, like, what areas are which based on their numbers, if you paid enough attention. Fascinating. It, it's the little things, you know? Yeah. I remember New Atlantis. Mm. Well, listen. They couldn't do it in... They couldn't do something like this in Starfields because they have all those generic NPCs that look beautiful. No, Just I, stand there staring I, at you. You know what the problem with this? The problem with the fucking Starfield NPCs isn't just their soulless, like, bug eyes. It's also the fact that they stare at you. Yeah. You walk by and they all look at you. Granted, I'm walking around my fucking Starbone armor. I expect everybody to be staring at me. But when I'm in, like, my regular, like, normal clothing and stuff and they're still staring at me, fucking uncanny and weird. Yeah, it's something that started with Skyrim, but at least made sense because everywhere in Skyrim like, felt like a small, a small town. town. Yeah, exactly. And like they would greet you and stuff. These people just stare at you. Um, it's so fucking weird. No, the problem with gutter bike lanes is that they don't serve anybody other than the municipality getting to say, look, we have bike oh, infrastructure. Fuck, fuck. No, I'm sorry. I can do one better. Fuck the fuck the that's that's still bougie getting the painted gutter lanes. Yeah. <laughs> no the best is the single sign that says share the road yes there you go there's but, your bike infrastructure well see <laughs> that's like just feel good nonsense Gu painted but <laughs> painted gutter bike lanes is um it, it's insidious because the website they, they'll claim it on like their city website that they have like yeah. bike infrastructure yeah 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 and then you go there and it's like, oh, this isn't bike infrastructure. This is a fucking gutter. It's full of broken glass. <laughs> yeah, no street sweepers come by to like pick up the glass. Mm -hmm. There's all this broken glass and plastic from all the cars that keep getting in accidents. But this, this one's accessible. At this dangerous intersection. Squad bikes. We haven't seen any ghosts. Usually ghosts show up. Man. 
my dream... My dream is to live on just, like, a giant property out in the middle of nowhere. And just have, like, quads and dirt bikes and, like... I want a property where I can justify owning a bobcat. Yeah. I fu Dude, I fucking want a bobcat so badly. You complain about the car-dependent infrastructure, and yet you participate in it by driving <laughs> mongooses around New Mombasa. Curious. <laughs> They put public transit in Cyberpunk. I haven't tried it yet. It's kind of weird and jank. It's obvious. It's like very clearly a post launch edition. Yeah. But, you know, it's there if you want it. So they're we... adding um paint jobs to the game. I saw that, like uh, active camouflage paint jobs. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting because it probably it probably means that it was like a engine issue that they had like uh that you couldn't repaint your vehicles so they had to come up with like some sort of uh some sort of like weird workaround it's funny because it's like it's a g they keep saying it's like the last update is the last update and they're just like uh, uh, just one more thing we just want to add one more yeah thing. man imagine that imagine a developer that's like they didn't even say that their uh that their game is a platform for future content and they just did it anyways yeah they're just sitting there listening to what people want to say I mean, I still have zero hope for Cyberpunk 2, though. That's... They announced, like, the team, their crack... You know, their crack, uh... You're the only one worried about it because you're the only one checking resumes. Hmm. Yeah, they listed a bunch of, uh, a bunch of games that I'm like, yeah, I really don't like any of those games. I mean, it's not even, not even, like, a... I'm just indifferent towards them. It's like, no, I actively choose not to play those games because they're terrible. Well, that's the other thing is we're getting, like, conflicting reports on Cyberpunk, too. Yeah. It's like, it wasn't going to be a thing, like, six months ago. And clearly something changed. Nah, people liked Phantom Liberty. CD Projekt Red fired a bunch of people, so now they can afford to. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not going to pre-order that game, I can tell you that. Everything is always downhill forever. <laughs> don't, don't, don't have hope for anything. Be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Now, what what was our saying when we were watching all the all this Starfield Star, content? Starfield will be good. Starfield will be good. This is a no black pill zone. Mm -hmm. Black pill free zone. Put them away. I finally was able to work the uh, Starfield will be good meme into my script. Nice. I was I was really struggling to figure that one out for a while. I could never find like a just a good here, point come here, for come it. here, come here. Chat. Starfield will be good. Starfield will be good. Starfield will be good. Starfield will be Starfield good. Will be good. Starfield will be good. I sacrifice myself. I sacrifice my body and my blood to ensure that Starfield will be good. Even to our dying breath. I will buy more Creation Club content. Oh, cool. I can boot you for stepping yeah. into your fire. Yeah, repeatedly. That, that's like an old uh, siege tactic was uh, stepping into people's thermite to get them kicked from ranked. I love that shit. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, I loved booting people in, in Halo games and stuff. Yeah. We used to three stack siege so that you could we could vote kick people. <laughs> if they were like if they just refused to play objective and tr the game was better when we could do that oh my god i just remember this point in in mcc's history where it's like you would get banned from multiplayer for like they put you on a temp ban for quitting games but not for getting booted so what you would do is you would just if you didn't like a game you would just betray your teammates until they would just boot you yeah. and people would like catch on like that's what everybody was doing so then pe you would just be able to kill people and they wouldn't boot you so you'd just be running around just team killing everybody it, what a fascinating game 
And of course, like everybody was pissed because it was like, oh, we're playing on fucking Foundation again. Why is this even in the rotation? Foundation was a shitty map in Halo 2. Why are we playing on Foundation six times in a fucking row? Yeah. With SMG starts too, no less. It's like, that's why I want to quit. Or the fucking net code or it picked like a host or whatever. It's supposed to be dedicated servers. It wasn't. It was still peer to peer. So then they, you know, they give somebody in the fucking like Brazil host when everybody else is NA. And it's just like, cool, thanks. Thanks at three for three. Thank you. Three so of course I'm going to be quitting. Or the ranking system didn't work. So it would match you with people who were like grossly out, like either outrank you or below your rank. Don't you dare smurf. I like you games where smurfing is an issue. Yeah. <laughs> That's a I fun... love games where it's like you have to de-level. You have to yeah, de-boost. Because the skill-based S... matchmaking is making yeah, your SBMM. worse. That was a joke that I was going to make. Is like MCC's matchmaking was so bad that you would swear it was SBMM. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope. It's just fucking awful. I'm so glad I got out of like competitive multiplayer shooters before the whole SBMM cancer took over. Yeah, like, I cannot imagine much. playing modern Call of Duty. Like, I'm getting a bunch of hearts and stuff <laughs> as I'm like ranting about this. Somebody in chat's somebody yeah. in chat's enjoying this fucking rant. Don't play with your lower level friends for real. Yeah. <laughs> just i i really i can't imagine still like being a call of duty fan like post black ops 2 like once ghosts came out the writing was on the wall what was what was happening and it's just like just get the fuck out at this point it's almost like a niche audience right? <laughs> they've re-niched the game i i'm curious like Fortnite definitely beats them out, right? Like, Fortnite yeah, has Fort to have more Fortnite players. has fucking Peter Griffin. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, where do they stand up against, like, Apex or uh, Valorant or, like, the games that everybody quit Call of Duty to go play? I mean, dare I say Overwatch? Still curious. Well, no you know why? Uh, competition. You know what? I bet a lot of people. I bet like the search and destroy crowd all moved to fucking siege. No, they did, and then like dispersed from there. Based on how <laughs> hardcore they wanted to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can only play like cancer. Arma. I can only play Arma three like uh, multiplayer based. mods. That was me for a few years. I need like six buttons just to crouch. Listen, it's only two, and it's, like, layered stancing, okay? So, <laughs> stance up, and you stance down. That game's, like, horribly optimized, right? Like, oh, runs, yeah, like, no. Dog like, shit. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. They had to, like, go to the root just to, with Reforge just to make it, modernize it. And even that's they probably going to fail. Wait, they remastered the game? No, Reforged is like a the prototype for Arma 4. Oh, okay. Wait. Didn't that come out like ages ago? Uh, Define ages ago. Like four years ago? Five years ago? Or am I thinking yeah. of something else? I think you're thinking of something else. Reforged was like set in the 90s. The Halo community is an incredibly sad place. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what uh, community? We we concluded earlier that it was like worse than Fallout. <laughs> because Fallout New Vegas versus Fallout Bethesda fans will be uh like they'll agree that they like Fallout. Halo fans think that the other Halo fans are posers. And like at this point, anybody who's like classic halo fans won't even associate like i wouldn't consider myself part of the halo community is i just refuse like the this, the developer that i liked is gone 
uh, you know, it's never to return. It, there's no point in me associating because being part of a community like implies that I still have some sort of like hope that one day it'll get good again. There is no hope. Like seeing MCC come back and then like subsequently kind of just die, uh, kind of just put the nail in the coffin for me to like ever consider myself part of the community. Because like, that's the thing. Elder Scrolls games, you can always go back to like, uh, you know, Morrowind or whatever. Like the game's always going to be there, assuming the technology and stuff like it's actually supported. But even then, then you got you know, Open MW and stuff. But like Halo, I can't go back and play Halo 2 the way I want to play it. it. Just doesn't exist. How's it gonna resolve this conflict? So, again, that's kind of the problem with like multiplayer games and like their communities is that by their very nature, they're pretty much transient. It's really dependent upon like the studio continuing to do a good job people remaining interested in the in the game itself so that it maintains a healthy population there's a lot of different things at play so wow jackal sniper just had my number you know sometimes you're just destined to die speaking of destined to die destined me destiny 2 It is an interesting game. Just like, just a, how does this happen? How does something like Destiny 2 actually get made? How, how does, how does that happen to a studio? Uh, not having the corporate cor culture to just chase the sharks out when they attack. Oh, Indigo brought up Destiny as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I brought it up. And I checked out of Destiny immediately. I played the beta. I was like, oh, this is really cool. I can't wait to play the other, like, 90% of the game. Then I got the game itself, and I was like, oh, the beta was one-third of the content in the game, and I'm done with it in a week. All right, guess I'm going to go sell it now. now. I didn't have... Uh, the problem, too, is, like, I didn't have, like, a a team like a group of friends to play like uh you know the dungeons with and everything like that so that definitely did help team and retention than revenue uh based it's actually somewhat well documented what happened with bungie well that's the thing it's just if you were tuned out because i just after Bad destiny idea, one after i checked out of <laughs> After I checked out of Destiny 1, I basically just mentally filtered everything Bungie, everything Destiny related. So for 10 years, just Bungie basically did not enter my radar. So one day I turn around and it's just like, whoa, what the fuck happened to Bungie? Like, yeah, same. what is this? What is what are these microtransactions? What is this like? What is this battle pass? System? I had heard what about it going fuck? on and I was just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I've always heard like grumblings and stuff like, oh, the Destiny players are angry again. There was a weird balance change and stuff, and it really pissed off. And I'm just like, well, whatever. And then one day I actually decided to look into it because of the Justin Truman discussion. That was the eye opener. It's just like, whoa, hold on. What is this? And playing the free to play. What's going on? Well, that came afterwards. Well, I, well, I see. Because I played the free to play bef like a year when it went to Steam for the first time as free to play. So I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll try it again. And I tried it, bounced off of it again. I was just like, all right, Destiny ain't for me. And then we watched the fucking Justin Truman discussion, and then I went back and did the free to play introduction, and it was like so much changed. It was so much worse. This is a man struck right here. Forgot they announced nice. Marathon as an extraction shooter. Oh, that's just hilarious. So light, I can move it with my own body. This is how you do freight. I like how Bungie was like a bitter pill that Sony swallowed. Like it was a poison pill. Yeah. 
they went in they bought bungie so that they could tell their studios how to make live surface games and that <laughs> yeah and that blew up in their face god somebody had to have like lost their job over that shit. i'm sure and now like the last of the last of us live service game got canceled i was shocked when i saw that that thing was in development for so fucking long sometimes the moral thing is to just uh just cancel it cut it like thank you but that way people stop bringing it up every time you think yeah. about playstation <laughs> But it's also like it's good it's good for the industry to just like have this bloodletting of the live streams live service games because it just discourages uh developers from doing it because it is a busted model like you look at bungie and stuff and it's exactly what i was saying i was saying this is like i think it was like over a year ago no ODSTs bungie literally people bungie literally cannot make something that's not live surface because their entire monetization model their money flows it all depends on having that continuous mo uh, in continuous income and lo and behold fucking final light flops and then a few months later they're like they come out and they say like yeah we're in like serious financial trouble right now and it's like how your game makes billions each year how are you in financial trouble right now it's like because bungie employs like some ridiculous number of developers and stuff because they need to keep that fucking content treadmill going. And their fucking server infrastructure is probably all messed up. And they probably don't have a lot of cash on hand. It's probably cash in, cash out. And the system's so inefficient that, like, there's probably entire departments that don't do anything. Do anything. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, yep, that's that's the live service thing. Like, once you get on that tit, it's till death do you part. Do you think Helldivers 2 will stick around? Um, depends on if it can keep, keep the momentum of whatever it's fucking online is of like this um, coordinated campaign thing. That yeah, yeah, I don't even on. know what it is per se. I really like this simulated kind of skyscraper landscape that they've created where it's like, it's not the full city, but man, it, it looks seems like, like it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember New Atlantis? <laughs> No. You know what's fascinating? Here's 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 a fucking uh, thought that I just just came up with. So remember how like the excuse for all the cities being small and like all the Bethesda games is like, well, you can go into every single building and yeah. explore like every single room and stuff. Hey, what can you not do in Starfield? <laughs> well, it's the same thing with Radiant AI. They got rid of the that system yeah. and made their made their game. But they unique. still made the Skyrim cities. Yeah. I really want to know what, just like what happened. What happened with Starfield? We what? definitely are not getting the full story. No, 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 no. Absolutely, I'd love to. I'd love to know more about what happened with that game's development. And I mean, it's the simplest answer: COVID, remote mm -hmm. work, lack uh, of a central design document. <laughs> yeah. No, listen. Using design documents is outdated, but also Bethesda does actually use design documents. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know if I can believe you. you. You you said it yourself. You're not a game developer, so mm -hmm. what do you like? What do you know? You really, re you really should not be talking about video games if you're not a game developer. It's just that simple. Oh, maybe that's why he didn't talk about death or uh, uh, fucking Starfield in that video. He's not allowed to talk about video games now, as per his rule. Oh yeah, yeah, there's another rule we gotta add to the list. Don't ever talk about video games. <laughs> Unless you're a game developer. Well, you've dabbled, right? Wow. Yeah, I got I've played... burned so hard, I respawn still on fire. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, look what at the, the grenades. Fuck? What the fuck was that? Uh, the the weird fast respawn system that they've that they this game has now. Uh, mixed with being lit on fire. Thanks. Thanks, 343. Here, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to boot this player? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What the fuck? How many times was that? Five, six? I I think so. That's not normal behavior. That's not. There's usually like not. a respawn timer. For explicitly that reason. What the fuck? Thanks, 343. I like that we were able to instantly engineer it too. Like you would think that we would have messed up like the positioning or something on the first yeah. try and like had to go find more, but no, like we instantly nailed it. Very easily repl replicable. Why did why did Spartan Ops infect my Halo 3 ODST? I can't criticize my collapsed roof because I'm not a general contractor. It's gr know. like it really does work. And I, I literally use, uh, I do the reverse Uno thing in my script. I, I think you said this, actually. I think this is a quote that you said, where it's like, well, by that token, Emil can't criticize YouTubers because he doesn't know what YouTubers, like, what yeah. goes into making a video. Yeah, that's something I said. Yeah. That's something I said before the Never video came out, like. Yeah, so I said that, and I'm like, so we can, you know, play this game and stuff, but this just creates non-constructive discourse, and it's just, like, stupid. So how about we just, you know, let people have their opinions and then just, you know, evaluate opinions based on the merit of the arguments they make. Is, I swear uh, the sun is coming up. Is it coming up? Like, come here, come here. Oh no, it went down. What the fuck? Like, look at the stream. Look at the stream. Oh yeah. What the fuck? It must be some kind of bombing or something. Like. Oh, maybe. There were definitely god rays coming from that direction. Oh, what the fuck? It's the little things, you know? Listen, Emil's a nice guy. What is it? Like, wasn't there something like he shared his grandma's cookie recipe on twitter or <laughs> is that just a fucking schizo never thought that... the other night when i was coming home i found a cat with a can of like canned corn stuck on its head and i pulled it off the cat's head and it like this... had been out in the rain because it couldn't find cover because it was its, its head was stuck in a can because i'm a nice guy cat. <laughs> because it's a cat yeah <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Is this actually a true story? Yeah. <laughs> um, that one doesn't count. Uh, cats are stupid. What about the and, woman uh, I came that across? That cat deserved to die. What about the woman I came across in 40 degree weather that was walking home from the hospital that uh, I gave my phone so that she could call somebody because her phone was dead? Jesus. Well, listen, it's not nice if you start taking credit for this stuff that you do. Yeah, yeah. You just have to post it on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you were a nice guy until you took credit for saving all those turtles from the four lane road. I um I always return my shopping cart. Yeah, I'm I'm a pro return the shopping cart guy. <clears throat> you see I, I I want to build a high trust society. That's why I believe in the in the ur urban walking infrastructure and stuff, because you need that for it to work. And so I always return my shopping cart. I'll even return other people's shopping carts. It has to be really close for me to do that. Yeah, usually. You see, the reason... This is the detail I'm leaving out. The reason I do that is because I did that job sometimes mm -hmm. in the snow. Because the cart kids would call out. So then we'd have nobody out there. So they'd be like, hey, private... You like doing bitch jobs that nobody else wants to do. Go outside and push shopping carts for two hours in the snow. <laughs> Try not to get hit by a car now. Mm -hmm. It's a bitch job. Sucks, yeah. It's it's hard. You gotta like learn the hack of like uh, stringing up the clipping all the uh, the child seat belts together so that the carts don't like pull apart, and then you gotta mm -hmm. like shove them and stuff. You know, the guys who work at, like, fucking Walmart and stuff, they got it easy. They got that, uh, they yeah, got that the... machine that pushes it for them. And the carts are, like, designed to, like, stack and work with that machine and everything. So it's, like, actually really easy. Yeah, and they have the money to maintain their carts. 
<clears throat> yeah, that too. Dude, the fucking super center that I go to, I swear to God, they get new shopping carts like every four months. Do you know how fucking expensive shopping carts are? Oh, yeah, no. I... They're like, at least around here, they're like legit 400 bucks a pop. And then, and they have like the bougie ones too with like the cup holder and everything. And it's like, this are like 800, this, this is probably like 800 bucks for those fucking shopping carts. And they buy like, it's a super center, so they have like 2,000 of them. That place does business, so. Aldi. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, oh, yeah, I Aldi think it, with I there. Think it's a, yeah, Aldi, Aldi, Aldi's coin, like the coin deposit. That's like the, you know, forced opt-in, high trust society. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be tricked into doing it. The weird thing right. I found out is that in a lot of places, Aldi's like a trash store when it's considered like the it's the considered the good grocery store in my area. Yeah, oh, it's definitely the. It's not the trash store, but it's definitely like. It's above it's above Dollar General, but like just barely. Man, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> and you guys must have some really shitty grocery stores out there. Either that or like it's just a regional difference. It could be. They're probably more focused on our region. They're like we can't compete with those super fucking WalMarts and out in the out in the Midwest there. You know where we can really compete? In a place where real estate is really expensive and wages are really high. It's like that's what their business model is about. Small footprint stores with like barely anybody working in them. I love those job postings. It's like, yeah, we're going to pay you 25 bucks an hour. Uh, the reason is, did your stream die? Hey, are we down? It's like buffering on my end. I don't I see your chat. You're probably just going to have to re refresh. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I have a fucking ad block installed. So YouTube's become. Any... No, no, no. But it's like, the... so there's a thing right now because of like the um the war on between YouTube and oh, the ad yeah. blockers. Uh, if you have an ad blocker installed, like YouTube becomes like shit. I heard that was on and the ad are... blockers end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people were blaming YouTube for that, and then the ad blocker developers were like, uh, actually, guys, that, uh, that's, that's us. We need to, like, really improve our code. I mean, I have my ad blocker disabled on YouTube because I have premium. But, um, yeah, I think it's still fucking me up. Like, I probably have to uninstall it. I'm just like, fuck that. <laughs> I'll just deal with YouTube bugging out sometimes on live streams. Yeah, that's when it's when uh, it, cr it crashed my browser one day. I was like doing some other GPU intensive things. All right, let's uh, stop and stop and pause it. Hit live again. All right, that should that should. And YouTube is its own fucking nightmare. Well, it's still better than Twitch. Yeah, but I mean, like you know, getting pissed on better than getting shit on i guess <laughs> the uh one, one thing i liked about twitch was that they don't just perma ban you if you do something wrong yeah yeah they they actually know how to like uh do a one week suspension but mm -hmm. their rules are also stricter so can't win them all someone got banned for 45 minutes recently i forget who it was it's like that's you know that's nice at least you don't have to worry about like getting a strike and then the automated system has it out for you so mm -hmm. it takes down your other videos and stuff man i was rooting for never knows best during that whole thing too yeah he was kind of like that's... in our community then and getting fucked by the system but then like I oh it turns out like... maybe he deserves it <laughs> Yeah, like I even like went out publicly and like I don't remember if it's in my Discord or something. But I was like, I shared that video. I'm like, yeah, this is fucked up. I think up. I reposted it on Twitter. Yeah, I think that's what it was, and then I probably like favorited it or retweeted it or something like that. I've already un unreposted it because I do that <clears> on occasion. <throat> my old posts. So there's no proof. There's no proof. 
yeah, I, didn't make, I didn't make a big deal of it, so I can't really take credit if there was any resolution as a result of it. Retweeting well, for the algorithm. A, it took a while. It took a while for him to like fix it for him, I think. Mm -hmm. What probably like happened is he probably got a content manager. Uh, maybe. Meanwhile, for me, with my fucking Fallout 76 video, I didn't even dispute it, and they still told me that they manually reviewed it. <laughs> Denied it. Yeah, just I didn't even bother manually. Like, I, I knew. I was like, alright, this you, you got me, I guess. We played with fire, and we yeah. lost. Yeah, I played with fire, and I got burnt. Now, I'll, I'll wear that like a badge of honor. You signal Keep boosted him by I'll calling him a cuck, again. duality of Pat. Well, I called him a cuck before he started having the problems. That was part of my theory was <clears> the near video, which was the first one that he had issues with, came out in late November, like two weeks after I called him a cuck. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Or like a week issue after. With... Yeah, the near. It, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was right. It was three videos. It was the near video, the sex games video. Well, and the sex then games the... video started it, and then it was the near started video. Started it near video. And then the, his history of video games video also got flagged. Yeah. Yeah, so it was three. And I saw that. I'm like, dude, the fucking. And the second know, channel the got taken going. down. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking. Uh, that's fucking scary because I like. I post the. Remember when they were doing that, like, thing with, uh, when they officially, like, codified the rules of, like, no cursing in 15 minutes, in 15 seconds, and, like, they were retroactively going to people's videos that were, like, delisted and, like, yeah. flagging them and shit? I like shit. that you can get in trouble for having videos in your playlist that violate the rules. <laughs> like, you didn't make the videos, you just have, a, a like, a playlist of videos you like, and one of them violates the rules, and now you're in trouble. That's that's that happened is, more than once. That is incredible. Snipers. Fuck the snipers shielded. <laughs> Should be able to respawn. Well, you know, you needed ammo anyways, right? You see, this is what we were planning on doing with the firefight. Like, this is this is what the stream was supposed to be. It was us for, like, four hours just mindlessly yeah. playing firefight. Our mistake. Because we're on, like... Are we on legendary or are we on, like... Yeah, we're on legendary. But okay. the squad size engagements are so small that... Yeah. There's... And we don't have the skull modifiers. And we haven't seen hunters in a while. I'm starting to get a feel for, like, how this is generating encounters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're gonna have to do that ODST video now. You're yeah. gaining that esoteric knowledge. Gotta apply it somehow, right? But yeah, anyways, I think that never like mentally associates me with his channel's uh, struggles. The bad times. Yeah. I called him a cuck, and he's had issues ever since. Even though... You... You cursed him. That's the problem. Now, see... In the literal sense. It wasn't... It wasn't you that cursed him. Somebody's gonna have to tell him that the Starfield curse is real. Yeah. And he got cursed by it. it and like it's anybody, retroactive. Yeah. Like, it's not just Starfield videos. It's everything to do with Starfield is cursed. Yeah. <laughs> That's in my script, in the conclusion. Look, listen, we talked about Starfield in this video, and we had problems with this stream. They updated the game in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, the curse strikes again. The curse is real. When will we learn? You just, you just have to say the magic words. I think NKB just wanted to be a contrarian. That would be the case if it wasn't obviously a hit piece. If he, if he didn't throw everything other than calling me a PDF file uh, at me, then... And you know he looked for it, too. 
you know he was looking for like examples of like come on patrician be a yeah. sex pest in your discord server yeah yeah, yeah. Gro groom some miners for me so i can say that yeah. too it was like that one guy that like watched a Mahler video hoping that he said slurs and was actually disappointed <laughs> when he didn't. Now I'm curious though, like what is the worst one that they've seen? They said the what was it the um Quantum TV one was pretty bad. Um, like that whole drama. The synthetic there was, man. Was yeah, Synthetic there. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to watch their coverage of that. Yeah, you could probably ask Rags. Yeah. For a bit of lore. In fairness, if he's actually in the Discord, the amount of shit he could have gotten. But he only made the video in three weeks, and that was like a three-week period that I wasn't particularly active on the Discord, so... Oh, hey, our mongoose is are still here Mongies. i think there was somebody feeding him information i do too i th i think there was somebody like with ill intentions too i don't even think it was ill intentions towards you i wouldn't be surprised if it was ill intentions towards him they wanted to like stir the stir him up and shit get him riled up i don't know maybe Maybe I'm just giving too much credit. I want it, I want his next video for it to be him coming out and being like, so somebody on Discord was feeding me bad information and I didn't know the full context of the cut clip and thought that that was it. I want him to <laughs> say that because I would get to call him stupid for not noticing that it's an obvious cut. But at least he's honest. What a fun game. He constructing squads. Yeah. Rapid I, I like the the uh what's it called like you can throw the grenade in there and it like en enhances yeah. the damage of the grenade yeah it's cool especially with the spike grenades yeah the spike grenades you see them all like bounce around in there it's a good sandbox halo 3 really does have i would i would venture to say halo 3 has the best halo sandbox combat wise yeah as much as I love Halo 2, the BR I, does dominate listen, a bit too much. A bit of good advice. If you're going to do a takedown, learn the fundamentals of like a successful takedown video. Because like Actman had this problem video too, where like in his, general. His his knowledge of like takedown videos was dated when he was going after Quantum TV, and so he fucked up a lot of it. Because <laughs> he just wasn't up to date with how it works now the meta yeah not even just the meta like what you're allowed to get away with and like mm. the best way to do it like um for example if you're going to make a video where you try to teach a person a moral lesson do your absolute best to not be a hypocrite <laughs> how does it feel kretosis how does it feel dude that that was unhinged <laughs> like kretosis got the unhinged part like it, it, that's when we stopped watching the that night yeah. that's that's when i got that's when i got spooked and i was just like i don't think he's well and that's when my mental illness theory yeah. kicked in i've come around since to the mauler yeah theory which is just he's Confidence. just really dumb yeah because yeah. it's like just the sheer like amount of errors and stuff in the video and it's like dude how long have you been making videos for you should not be making like these sorts of like fundamental mistakes still you need to appraise what you can get away with and take the take the take the w that you can feasibly get even if you are really really want to epic style own that guy if yeah. you can't don't do it yeah and don't take people out of context especially in like easily provable ways that's good advice too But yeah, it's like it's worth learning the fundamentals if you're going to do it. Otherwise, just don't do it. There's no upside. Yeah, you don't have to make the Emil Thimp video. Like, it's, I don't think anybody was clamoring for that. Like I said, it's an interesting premise, but it's also like a 15-minute video. Yeah. 
There's not a whole lot there. I think it would be more interesting in context of like other things with Bethesda. Like maybe like the history of some of the big names at Bethesda. Like here's how they got well, there, blah blah blah. Here's here's uh here's commentary the takedown video rule number one. There's no such thing as a good rushed commentary video. Right? <laughs> Like, think of it like this. You're exposing Enron. Are you, do you want that to be rushed? Yeah. Well, listen. If your summary is longer than the... Yeah. Which is just great, because it's like... His videos... It doesn't even say summary. It's like breakdown. That yeah. implies analysis. Does, does, he, does he have to spell it out and say analysis? Like... Is breakdown one of the one of the banned words? Are we not allowed to use that? That just implies. Somebody. Well, it implies mental unwellness, and that can be uncomfortable for certain audiences. Ah, uh, yes. Say, I had a breakdown. I had a breakdown while playing Starfield. I'll give him this. The whole drama made me realize I owe an apology to Lawrence Schick, not Emil. I'll be making that video. Um, bit curious. Go on, Zarek. These long-range engineer encounters make me want to unalive. <laughs> Good thing I got this pistol. God, they have, like, such strong shields, too. You know what it is? It's, like, a lack of long-range plasma weapons. The yeah. only thing you got is the beam rifle yeah we're we're like running out of decent long range like power weapons for this yeah is his shield still not popped he's not trying to run away yet so i guess his shields aren't popped yet like i almost just want to take care of the ads first That's not how the encounter is supposed to go, but that's... I mean, no, it's a legitimate it. option. You can, yeah, like, gotta... overpower the ads. Like... Is that See? Teamwork? ESL Lore Master did the vanilla base game. Very skilled individual, made horrible lore. He was just stuck at a bad job. Wrote the narrative for Baldur's Gate 3, I unfairly blame. Um... I don't know if that merits like an apology, but, but you know, you do you. If you feel it's necessary, then go for it. You have my permission to. <laughs> yeah, you could do like a tweet or like a pinned comment on whatever video. I don't know if pinned comment goes for like, I think. Twit longer, or whatever people use these days for long. long I do both. That's what I would do. Well, I don't think there's like with Z in Zarek's case, you know, he's probably talked shit on a lot of different streams. Ah, uh, right, that is true. Apology inside a video talking about why ZOS is bad. Oh yeah, go for that. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, don't don't urge everybody to apologize to Emil Pagliarulo uh, prematurely. I look forward to Zarek having a video on ESO, like a comprehensive video on it. So whenever anybody tells us to do ESO, we'll be like, just go watch Zarek's video. But you're not satisfied with strategies coverage? <laughs> he did an ESO video? Oh, yeah. Stepped into that ring. Which, I mean, good on him, but... At the same time, I don't like flip-floppy YouTubers, so... I feel I don't know if it's just like I've been completely unplugged for a while, but I feel like there just hasn't been much game like long form game analysis content coming out. No, it seems dead right now. I feel like a lot of people just stopped making stuff. I mean, maybe it's on me because I don't actively go out looking for it anymore because like literally most of what I watch on YouTube now is like camping videos. I think like people will do it once and then like you ever just do something and it was such an awful experience that you never want to do it again? 
Uh, playing Starfield? Yeah, I kind of like that. Working on the Starfield video? Yeah. Well, it's like exactly, but imagine applying that to like the genre itself, and it's like, yeah, it yes. makes sense why people quit. Yeah, why people, people fall just off move on it. On. I, I fucking love it. I think it's a minority it's like, of us that are actually into doing it long term. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm more subsumed into doing exclusively it than other types of videos, and that's why I upload less for. Yeah. Yeah, it's like for me, I have the opposite issue where it's I feel like I should do some shorter stuff, and it's like yeah, oh, or I feel I like should just do, do another long too. project. Don't get me wrong, I feel that too, but... I thought these vehicles were like... In fairness, Classic WoW Oops. is a unique project and it's taken a long time to get all the footage, so... Take a look at this, America. This is These are the EVs that we need. Mm -hmm. These aren't gonna... These, are these aren't gonna collapse. Roads. These are Yeah, probably. These aren't gonna collapse garage... Parking garages. Look at this, we've got a smiley face on it. How adorable. See, it's like friendly. It's actually in a balloon. Let's do the uh, flame test. Look how easily they flip over. Well, yeah, it's you know. And they didn't immediately incinerate. Look at them; they're li they're light. These are lightweight vehicles. Like I said, they're not nine thousand nine thousand pound vehicles that are going to collapse parking garages. A lot of what it could have been said has been said. I don't necessarily agree and i mean there's always new stuff coming out that people could cover i genuinely think that people are less interested in doing it now than they were before and i think it's because part of it is that like sectoral or sorry sectarian kind of conflict of like well a good video isn't a long video so that disqualifies a bunch of people right there mm. And then you have the people it. who are like, I only watch long videos because, you know, I just like to queue up a bunch and let it run on my second monitor while I'm playing games. That too, if you take pride in your work, I feel like it's hard to kind of live with that whole, no, 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 I use your videos to sleep, but that's not a bad thing. I'm not insulting your videos. And it's like, yeah, but how many people are going to take pride in you being like equivalent to rain noise? Yeah. Uh... That's why I don't make videos for the sake of pride. I make videos because I like making them. Here's, like, here's how we deal with foremost. this fucking problem. You know, I, lo I love, you know, I love that people watch my videos and stuff. I love people who give me feedback and stuff, and it's, it's all fine and good. If you want to just watch my videos when you're going to sleep, by all means, I put them out there, and that's that's how you handle it. That's what you do with it is your own business. I got what I wanted out of it. That was make the video. A little ad revenue doesn't help or doesn't hurt. But that was like literally from the get go. Do you take pride in saying it's second monitor content? Oh, I'm fine with it being second monitor content as long as you're playing the second monitor game. Yeah. Like, uh, trust me, I've done my share of like Civ Five, Metal Gear Solid Five, uh, Rim World, you know those types of games that are like made to be played alongside youtube and i'm sure you know what the yeah. people who made those games they probably themselves don't take pride in being seen as like second monitor games what a game where you need second monitor content on yeah it's not not necessarily need but like are conducive to yeah yeah playing with in that manner would you call your videos deconstructions or critiques uh, I once made a political compass of the terms that people use, uh, and like I de if deconstruct they're... in order to critique, kind of like do both. Hang on, or I me... try to anyway. Honestly, no, that actually that actually gave me that kind of puts into words like how I feel about my older content, uh, where I would deconstruct or and actually even certain parts of. Uh, my Skyrim Mage video. Where I feel like I'm deconstructing for no apparent reason. I doubt Hideo Kojima consciously constructed Metal Gear Solid 5 to uh, be a game where you play it while listening. <laughs> I get that the, like, look, I, I've myself have said the whole audio tapes thing, but that's only like for a portion of the game. 
Where am I? Oh. I am looking for the political compass of uh, review terms. I just use the terms. I'll throw everything around because, uh, you know, SEO. Mm -hmm. I literally just. I'm on that Damn, game. Is it not in here? Damn. What the fuck? What the fuck? I died and respawned so fast that I didn't even see my death. I yeah, was I heard just... the I heard the beam rifle go off. Yeah, yeah, that 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 had to have been it, but it was like it was one frame and I was back. That was so jarring. I wish I was recording that. Well, this is not what I'm looking for, but I will put this up anyways. Yeah, put it up on the stream. I got it, I got it running. I fixed it. What do we got? Analysis, review, retrospective. What is 753? What is that That's time the Morrowind stamp? video. Uh, is this something somebody made like, in uh, I your think Discord I'm, or something? I, I, so someone made the Venn diagram and asked me to fill it out. Okay. <laughs> this is the closest I'm going to get to the political compass. Yeah, I pretty much agree with this. A review retrospective shouldn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. The concept of a review retrospective, because a review is like a consumer at the moment thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas a retrospective implies oh, passage have of that time. I where did I have that idea? I think it was with City Skylines 2. I had the idea of being like, <laughs> do a video on it and call it a retrospective. Well, see, I consider my Starfield video a retrospective because I go over like the development and marketing of the game. So, yeah. like, that video does represent a, a passage of, like, what, three years? Mm hmm I mean, especially considering how long we were talking about it in advance. Like, if you consider it the culmination of all that streaming content we did... It's been part of your channel for, like, what, half of its lifespan at this point? Yeah. Maybe more? Just talking about and speculating about Starfield. So I don't consider yeah. it out of, out, of the, out of left field to say it's a retrospective. Plus, you know, it's your branding. But I don't think it's the ultimate retrospective. I'm not going to be like, uh, no other retrospective it's can ever be made because I made, I made the Starfield. retrospective and it's like, fuck, at this point, the Skyrim retrospective doesn't count because I didn't cover all of its DLC because there's fucking more. Yeah, there's new DLC. They added more creation Thank club you, stuff. Thank you, Bethesda. Meaning my video isn't even fully comprehensive. You, you're going to have literally. The, you're now going to have a more comprehensive video. literally wanted my next video, my my part four, to be like thirty minutes longer. Actually, I don't know if that's true because you don't talk about stuff that I do talk about. So. Yeah. No, they they complement each other. This is yeah. like no, like seriously, like. Hand in hand, we're going to give people over 40 hours of fucking... Is it uh, fair to call it Skyrim a retrospective content. before the final update has come out? Well, that's the thing, is my fucking video, mm -hmm. my Skyrim video, more updates yep. were made since then. So I yep. feel like past a certain date of like 2010, you can't even you, you guarantee, to, you can't even fucking guarantee you have to put, you have all to, of the content like, will have come out. If uh, Personally, I, th I don't... I think it just has to be like a game that you had like some personal experience with. I think it's just a coverage like, of a period of time. And you're covering everything that's happened up to that point. And I think I did fine a lot of like talking about Starfield up until now or up until yeah. when that video came out. But also, Listen, you know, it's it's the it's the joke part of the title like yeah. The analysis part is what I personally self-identify it as more than the retrospective part like i put retrospective a quick retrospective in the title because i wanted retrospective seo heat and yeah. it was a joke it was like a funny joke to be like oh it's, uh, it's not quick it's not a retrospective uh.
How would you describe this reaching and hyper focusing on a single side quest for two hours Muppet style? That's just like, I mean, it's analytical, but it's also scraping the barrel and like scraping the barrel analysis. I. Uh... If you were used it like that, if you were using that as like a springboard to like go into other discussions and stuff like that, that's it one thing. But just like sitting there, hype, about. yeah, yeah, like, like sitting Dunn there, like was silly, hyper analyzing a and quest, was, being like that shit was going three hours, word for word, like breaking down every every yeah. uh you know bit of dialogue in the quest or whatever in the 15, 20 minute quest. It's like yeah, it's might be a bit might be a bit much i like that the health packs are respawning mm -hmm. no it's like it's almost like they intended for people to kind of just play like this yeah there are what the fuck? they accommodated for it where did they're like you know go? there might be uh there might be two people who just want to wander around the city chat where did the brute go did you kill a brute He's... nope we Use killed this cloaking device. We killed three grunts. Where the fuck's the brute? Chat, there was a brute. He here, went out right? for cigarettes and never came back. Just hang on, this is my smoke break. Drew makes things out of passion. Camel and Fudge makes things out of a job. Yeah, and that's why I want to get out of Bethesda. <laughs> get yeah. out of get out before I'm scraping the barrel in five years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, my long term goal is to just get out of video games entirely. Like what I'm learning with this is with this channel is what I'll be taking to my next channels. Like, I definitely want to stay in video production. I fucking love video production, but uh, I feel like because all channels, all YouTube channels have an expiration date. People don't like to admit it, but they do. And it's just like literally, it's how the algorithm works. You produce enough videos, eventually your own like success creates inertia that you're just not able to escape and then suddenly your channel just starts dying i've seen it happen like so many times so it's like you really do want to have some sort of after this channel no, idea and i have tons of them so the, the the bethesda barrel scrapers abandoning starfield is not a good sign for starfield like yeah. if those if those guys can't make a mountain out of the molehill of, that is that game then yep like they're fucked like okay look at how much they scrape the barrel on like baseline skyrim stuff like not even really getting into the dlc right now starfield is going to be the inverse where it's up to the dlc to even like make something that people can... starfield's post-launch support has been so fucking piss poor that like people are reporting on fsr3 like being what other game gets fucking news coverage on just adding fucking upscaling. like dlss yeah like upscaling like nobody but everybody's waiting on like starfield like bethesda actually do something and it's been six fucking months can you believe that game's been out six months and they have yet to do any sort of content update and like just quality of life shit like city maps you know things that somebody modded into the game in the first week without um, mod tools remind me hearthfire when was that before or after dawn guard i think that was after dawn guard okay i was like i'm thinking about the break that like skyrim had right mm -hmm. i always say it was like six or seven months before dawn guard came out but at the same time <laughs> like we had uh god let him cook mounted combat and gotta let them cook well yeah that's the thing is like they were having like updates like they were making quality they were actually making quality of life 
improvements with some of their updates and stuff. They were actually adding features and stuff with updates. But it's it's beyond that though. It see because it's it it all comes back to them saying that Starfield is a platform. It was always envisioned as a platform. Key fucking the well, key fucking thing to note there. What was what's different with us is that we're uh, we're markedly business people by trade, and we're being very honest with the fact that we're business people. Yeah. But like we enjoy it. We're business people, but we enjoy it. And that's a lot more honest than people that are like business people, but like want to be have Hecarina and Hecarino uh, chunguses as their fans. Somebody was talking <laughs> about like the cult psychology of uh, having a unique name for your fans and all that. It's weird <laughs> that I got, I got hit with the cult label when like I've been very never done very yeah, never straightforward done that, with the transactional nature of the relationship between me and my fans. And people stick around for a long time in this community despite that transactional relationship just because uh it's just, it's straightforward i always like i've always believed that being genuine is like the number one thing to mm -hmm. being successful on with social media like just in general it's just like you just just gotta be genuine you gotta find some way to let that show That was me on Twitter talking like... about the cult or club like nature of naming your fans. Does this sound like something that you would talk about? What uh what do you name your fans, Eric? <laughs> Why are there so many schizos that, like... and thread personalities in your Discord? I'm not sure what it is, but I do I do have a penchant for attracting it's because I'm fairly unhinged as a person. You're unhinged and you're also like lax with the yeah, with the band hammer and stuff. I don't ban schizos. Yeah, if anything you encourage it. Yeah, because it sometimes it's sometimes just a schizo funny space. content. Well, not even and not even like free content like that I can exploit and make money off of like no, just, just genuinely for, as just like a hangout fun. space like yeah. it's having it's like having bar regulars that are alcoholics like <laughs> yeah, the merciful thing would be to kick them out, but like I think all the regulars would prefer when the alcoholic uh, bar flies are, are there every weekend. Yeah, you're trying to create something. Yeah, like uh, you're trying to create a space there. You know what you're trying to do? You're trying to make a cult. That's what that's what you're yeah. doing. I see. I see. You see right through it. It's weird. Uh, a cult is when people repeat what you said. Mm -hmm. I think that just means that I would my video was successful and like nope. clearly communicated nope. a message. Nope. You're, I like that some of his leader. examples too was like it, in fairness to him, like he included how, the ones that it had my clarification in it. I like how a lot a bunch of his uh, complaints were about like. Uh, it could just be boiled down to you had a strong thesis for your video. Yeah. If if listen, if you were just weak limp wristed this shit, we wouldn't have a problem. Man, and he is kind of right. You know, nobody would have given a shit about ML if I had just made like a lame book report, you know, non critical video. Would it though? I don't know. He would I still think he was getting shit regardless. No, because um I think he's. It, it's weird that he attributes to Kretosis me learning it when I think that Kretosis was derivative and cashing in with things that he had already said, but he was still cashing in on the end. Yeah, see, the Same thing. With that Blaze TV guy that flopped like it was nothing, and with everybody that the, talked about it. The high handed, the high road here, like if he was really being driven by, uh, you know altruistic goals was to make the video unmonetized and just be like hey you know i'm doing this pro bono mm -hmm. go to my patreon if you know but it's like but it was a whole month's you're... work how can you do a pro bono well exactly well that, and that gets into the how he could have won scenario i don't know if Derek, you were here for that but i think he never could have won if he actually <clears throat> no i don't have to tell you this because you said it is there he could have won if he just attacked it from the angle of you could have been more clear with your wording and see the see the harmful results of that 
Because that's a lot harder to argue against. Yeah. And it's important to make to draw that distinction of being like, uh, of say, like, saying like, uh, keep going south. Be- what? Keep going south. Oh. Yeah, <clears throat> it's important to make it's, that it, distinction it, uh, of um, that your words had a negative impact on Emil personally and stuff. Because if you just said you could have said this nicer, and it's just like, yeah, so. Yeah. It's like, um, that's almost as bad as a fucking semantic argument. Which, the well, video which, yeah, the video is half the semantic is. argument. So. Yeah. Especially with the Kretosis stuff. Like, holy shit. Yeah, that really was, like, just quibbling about the meaning of words. Personal experiences. Versus first-hand experiences. And it's like, bro, you know that, like, English... The English that's spoken in North America versus English that's spoken in Britain is almost enough to be considered distinct languages comparable to like portuguese and spanish yeah right like you might have a completely different definition of words so you can't really semantically quibble about this stuff i'm glad everyone got to see never knows best as i see him i mean not everyone i think efap is right in that they gotta they're gonna have to like revisit that well a couple more times before people really start to buy yeah Uh, just look at bethesda you know, it, people need more than just uh, Fallout 3. Fuck. This they, fucking they area Fallout every 3, time. Fallout 4, Skyrim, Fallout 76, Starfield. Some people were still holding out, and it was, it was Starfield that really, really did it. I think the carbine's more likely to succeed. I love the carbine spread in Halo 3. It's so good. Do you still lift? No, I need to get back to it. I need a gym. But, like, that's been an issue I've had for a long time. I'm probably going to get more into kind of long-distance cycling at this stage in my life. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Like, I really do need to do, like, weights and shit, but I just mm-hmm. rather yeah, you need Yeah, you need the weights for sure. Mm-hmm. You need to bulk up a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you saw me. I was like, how do you know this? <laughs> I was thinking about... Uh, I think it was yesterday, actually. I just had this overwhelming urge to just revisit West Virginia. I was like, I could do that. Yeah, no, I think uh, revisiting would be fun, especially during the uh, summer. Summer, yeah. Summer or... Late like fall when yeah. fall like foliage starts. I think that would be a good, good time as well. I want to do like a Appalachian Trail, not the app, not the not AT, yeah, but yeah, and one of yeah. those in that area. Yeah, I, we're back I, here I, I just because too. it's so nice looking. <laughs> um, I also want to do the Blue Ridge Mountain uh, scenic drive. It's like a three day thing. You go through like four or five states or something it's supposed to be like one of the most scenic drive in the u.s or one of the oh, that could be cool yeah i just don't like road trips as much as like i don't want to be more so- I, I feel like bikepacking is like more self-reliant because you are the mm-hmm. engine yeah like if i am going to do a road trip i want to do like the noah caldwell gervais style of like it's a car that you know how to work on and like I think he he drove like a one of those like Volkswagen vans across like the American Southwest. That's fucking like <laughs> that, that's that's a show of like mechanical skill. Uh, he did he did the fucking um the Fallout video in a Firebird, I think. Mm-hmm. Like an old ass Firebird. I was just like Jesus fuck, dude. I was driving that hitting those roads in a Jeep Wrangler, and I felt uncomfortable at times. Well, he's from Washington, so he's going to be a lot more comfortable with mountain driving. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is getting into those, like, smaller... Like, we don't know what community Never is from, so we don't know what specific dialect of English he speaks. Mm Mm-hmm. It very well may be possible that uh, he's speaking a different language than us. Like he can still communicate with us, but words mean different things to him. Because, yeah. Like, they actually mean different things to him, and it's causing, like, serious conflicts. 
I think but, you, you know, part of, there's a part being... of the UK where they just freely use the C word. No, no, he's way too soft for them to be like from that <laughs> kind of area. He's probably a Londoner. I asked the Mauler where he thought he was from. He didn't know. Yeah, he couldn't parse the uh, the dialect. He was he was a fucking dead ringer for the the impression though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had it down, but he has got experience with like that that phenotype. Yeah. <laughs> the whispery YouTuber man. Yeah. Well, that's why I never got into Never Knows Best. Uh, he's, I, I, he's, I he that was something. always somebody that I had to watch at 1.75 speed. Yeah. Fuck, we've, like, we've watched it at 1.75 speed, and that's how long it took yeah. us to get through that part. I was like, EFAB, we did pretty good. And then I was like, oh, wait, we didn't speed him up on EFAB. Yeah. By the way, go watch EFAP number 270, legendary. Legendary stream appearance. Didn't mention uh, car free living once. <laughs> Mahler knows people like never, I bet. I'm sure. He tried to disparage me over Spurg, so I feel like he's got weird UK sensibilities. Well, that's just a, that's just an Anglo thing. Bizarre authoritarian culture. How did those guys fight in the First World War? Or sorry, the Second World War. I mean, either or, but. Yeah, yeah, I know the theory of like all the good men died, but holy shit. <laughs> Well, I was reading um, the First World War. I read Guns of August, and uh, the Brits, uh, they weren't exactly the most reliable allies in the beginning of that, beginning of World War One. just put it that way. Well, I've, they didn't want to be in it, didn't they? It was some like of them they were did, dragged in. some of them didn't. It, they probably felt the same way we fucking feel about Ukraine. Like, Uh... I think we're more gung ho about Ukraine and than they stuff were than they were about. I don't know. I feel Germany like, in World War One. I. I feel like the conservative base in America is like, dude, it's not our problem, like yeah. very staunchly. So, nothing like coming back from a shitty Valentine's date to a pat private stream. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> that happened to you. Listen, That's we're here. Rough. We're here for the brothers. Don't feel uh don't feel ostracized by a sh shitty corporate holiday. That reminds me, I gotta gotta ask my friend about something. Have you ever been to Germany? I have not been outside of the United States, but I do have my passport now. I have my enhanced license. I can drive to uh, Mexico and Canada. Oh, that's pretty cool. Use that as a passport. Yeah, it was like an extra 30 bucks. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm very tempted to do anyway. uh, like Fairbanks to uh, Baja, one of those rides, which is uh, Alaska to the tip of that peninsula south of California and Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'd ever do, like, if I'd ever want to do, like, uh, tip to tip on the Americas. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit hardcore. Uh, there was a there was a woman that I was watching who was doing that, um, Itchy Boots, which is a biker from the Netherlands, a motorcyclist from the Netherlands. Well, the problem with visiting Germany is that it sounds a lot like America in terms of, like, car-dependent <laughs> infrastructure and stuff. They're very much into cars over there. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's. Uh, I mean, they've got their communities. You got the autobahn there. Yeah, I mean, like they literally invented the concept of that of we use for highways. Yeah, but at exactly. the same time, like what we what we copied is the most functional part of the road network. Yeah. Yeah, we copied the interstate system, and that's probably like the literally the safest part of, of our road network. One of the only like really good things we have in the U.S. in terms of like infrastructure this song reminds me of mass effect mass effect yeah <laughs> that the uh the theme yeah what is it the novaria Unch uncharted worlds that sounds like oh, uncharted yeah, worlds yeah, 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 yeah. the one that plays the uh menu 
map. I wonder how France ranks in terms of like. I've heard they've been improving and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, all European countries are going to be a lot more approachable. There's a reason bike pack or sorry, backpacking across Europe is like a, a thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Problem with tip to tip in the Americas is no roads in the Darien Gap in Panama. No, that's part of the challenge. Yeah, you got to get through that place alive. <laughs> well, yeah. See, that's the that's the real challenge is like that dealing with all the jurisdictions, all the different currencies and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it. There's a reason it's a challenge. That's not that's not a bug. That's a feature. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool that we still live like in a time period where stuff like that is, you know, there are still challenges out there. I feel like we're fast approaching like some sort of uh, future where uh, you're just not allowed to leave your homes. Yeah. It's like, too, car it's too carbon just... expensive to like. Yeah, yeah, have... exactly. You can't do like so many different things. I really don't want to live in that society like you you can't even go outside hiking or anything because yeah. like your footprints will damage the fragile ecosystem i would just like start i don't know going country to country and like visit yemen or something like just do something dangerous no you can't no you can't do that because you're going to spread invasive species and mm. i am the invasive seeds. species yeah I'm the invasive species and I'm the apex predator. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Tip to tip in Africa might be easier depending on which countries you went through. Um, sure. <laughs> like, don't get uh, me wrong. I know about I know about bike packing in Africa. I don't know about bike packing all of Africa. Like, aren't there like twenty three wars going on right now? Uh, yeah, and like a bunch of countries that whose like governments collapsed and stuff. There's like three different military coups going on right now. I don't know. Did it, did Ethiopia? Was it Ethiopia? I think they're at war. Uh, over Eritrea. Yeah, yeah. But who, um, when is Eritrea not at war? I would look at it as like a language thing. Um, I can learn Spanish, and like that's all well, I really would need to learn. A lot of European, or sorry, a lot of African countries speak either English or uh, French or Spanish. I want to speak French. You fill in the line from uh, Outer Worlds. Literally yeah. the only Looking line French. anybody ever quotes. Yeah. The one, the one like funny moment in that game isn't that sad yeah a game that's like supposed to be like humorous i guess mm -hmm. and it's just like one, the joke one line it's is just... A, it's just a generic uh anti-french yeah. sorry francophobic uh sentiment yeah i think you could easily learn enough french to like get around so how many wars on how many continents happening at once defines a world war uh involves a major superpower um it depends when people call it that it's just a title really. it's a major it's a war when i can be drafted and i got like six different reasons why i'll never be drafted funny i was i was concerned when i was a young man about that it turns out i should have never been concerned because i never <laughs> would have passed any of the uh any of the uh physical you know Mm -hmm. Evaluation. Don't don't self tell too much. You guys are still going. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of how it goes. We just kind of talk and stuff. I mean, we probably should wrap up soon. I do have to like eat dinner and go to the bathroom and continue working on the Starfield video. Yeah, I'm de I'm delaying the Starfield video hours at a time. <laughs> I'm at least gonna finalize the conclusion tonight then i'll play in shrouded and go to bed <laughs> mm. 
No, we haven't like it's it's been five months. We have to make up for uh we have to make up for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this will be the only stream for another six months. <laughs> I still gotta do my cyberpunk stream. Yeah. Cyberpunk stream to promote my Starfield video. That was the idea that I had months ago. Two months ago, I think. Yeah, pretty much. So I sure should not playing Starfield. <laughs> Drones have God, greatly man. reduced the need for drafting. True, just like the cotton gen reduced the need for slavery. Well, I mean, it's it's all well and good, right? Because like. But you the think US, they're not going to take the chance like, to throw bodies into the meat grinder? Just to depopulate well, like, a little bit? And like the U.S., what is it? Like two-thirds of the male population is like unfit for service well they don't they draft women now too so all oh, right sorry we draft women now don't want to diminish my uh participation in the american system jesus what mm -hmm. the fuck oof all my grenades no oh you died too all right You guys should visit Europe before we become a conscript frontline again. I almost feel like it would... Well, yeah, you got to see the before and after, but I feel like you guys are going to be better after your massive global war. With who? China? They actually have a similar issue. A large part of their population is also... Uh, yeah, who the fuck can even field an army? Like, genuinely, who can do Total War in the modern age? Russia. <laughs> They're already, like, fucking scraping the barrel. I know. Well, they haven't they haven't mass-mobilized yet. Did we both die again? Yeah, it keeps oh, happening. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like the real war is in infrastructure. You just blow up somebody's fucking power plants and it's like mm. game over. Hit the fucking satellites and the yeah, cell we gotta, towers. Let's go back Done. to World War II style total war and like just watch as our countries completely collapse. It, was... Dude, you don't even have to like because like World War II is about like, you know, carpet bombing entire like cities. And so you don't even have to do that. Like literally just you don't even have to fucking just send send in like a fucking uh data breach and shit like that just mm -hmm. fuck up the, an economy hack their power grid and just like force a bunch of substations to overload and cause like millions upon millions of damage dollars of damage and that would take like months to repair and fuck up their uh just delete a bunch of like just corrupt a bunch of uh like uh you know databases and stuff Like, the reason we're not seeing that right now is because everybody's playing with kids' gloves on, because that's basically a Cassus Belli at this point. Everybody knows it. I'm willing to bet, like, the U.S. and China and stuff, we all have, like, fucking crazy-ass computer viruses we could unleash at any given time that would just wipe them out. And human viruses. Yeah, and human viruses, too. Yeah, let's not forget that. The ever-important human virus. I think everybody's learned their lesson on that one, though, where it's just no, like... China immediately repeated the mistake. <laughs> China doesn't have the stability to declare total war. Fucking nobody has the stability to declare total war. I don't think America could survive it. Like, genuinely superpower to superpower war. I feel like our mm. country would just, like, internally collapse. I think if we were... We cannot be the aggressor. We, like it has, yeah. it has to be like a Pearl Harbor situation. Like we get, like unequivocally, we are in the in the right. Then what you would probably see. I mean, you even saw when fucking Ukraine happened for a few weeks. Biden's approval rating spiked. It's probably mm -hmm. the highest his approval ratings were during his presidency so far. Like, it just it just happens. Like people rally behind the president and everything. I think we could. I think it would work out. But like I said, it, it 
very much it depends. Would, it would depend on, on who's president, and the problem is we've maintained yep. like the what? The... I just killed myself with. You that. jumped into like an explosive barrel. There's another no, one like, here if you want to try it again. This, no, 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 this, the fucking the the ta the radio tower thing. I just like meleeed it. I like meleeing them and like knocking the legs out. Yeah, I just like laying them, and yeah, it didn't like that, so it just like kicked me and killed me instantly. It depends on who's president, but the problem is like. They have engineered a 50-50 split system, so I feel like, let's say that it started right now, the conservatives would be against the war. Unless it involved Iran, I guess, but... No, like I said, it, it has to be, like, a Pearl Harbor situation. They, as in whoever you subscribe to as being in charge of the world. Since every, oh, every, every ideology has a belief has a uh, they they blame everything disney. on disney <laughs> uh telecoms wayfair i don't know who is my boogeyman uh fucking microsoft <laughs> I might be like, I think it's Amazon. I think Amazon's my my boogeyman. Area we haven't been to. They they just they just have their hands in too much shit for me to ever like trust them. Where did you go? I, you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself and I'll respawn on you. Instant respawn. Oh yeah. This is a nice area. Mm -hmm. I found it before. I really think there is a... I've like found all the areas in ODST. Oh, I'm sure. Well, if you do the collection thing for like, uh, you know, the journals yeah. and stuff, I'm pretty sure it takes you through like... Most of the hidden areas. Yeah. yeah. That's the funny thing is I haven't touched any of them. Really? Not in this account. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. This, but this you've done the... it before. Yeah, I've done, I've done all 50. Oh, you got it, right? The game is so fucking good. Even I... I don't know if I 100%ed it, but I got really close. This game had the Vidmaster Microsoft gets right? hit with a Monopoly lawsuit win twice already. <laughs> the government oh. is literally ineffective at doing its job when it comes to <laughs> regulating it. Which, the dumbest term I've heard recently is uh, the purpose of the system is what it does. It sounds like self-defeatist mm -hmm. and determinist. So the concept mm -hmm. is like, if the system is incapable of regulating Microsoft, then that's because the purpose of the system is to be incapable of regulating Microsoft. Right. It's not that there's just individual fuck-ups who handled the cases in the past that <laughs> that rush these things, you know. That they could not handle this slam And they probably are that corrupt, was... but... It's, I'm sure it's a combat. I've I I have this discussion with my with my dad a lot because he believes in like conspiracy theories, like all of them basically. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I've seen enough stupidity in this world to, like, I can look at a lot of shit and be like, it's probably just really stupid people being really short sighted with a like a just a healthy heaping of greed. Oh, finally. And he's like, yeah, they're out to. No, I actually, I'm not going to repeat the uh, conspiracy <laughs> theories he believes in, but let's just say it's you know. Yeah, conspiracy pretty, theories are only that out. until they get proven right. Yeah, I, I always hated that term because it's just a way of like uh, diminishing things that could be real. Mm -hmm. Even and I think a lot of them are like seeded and fake. Like nobody actually believes in like fake Earth. It's just a bunch of people that are paid to and then like spotlighted and given given a bit of an algorithmic push on the back end you really do you really don't think the flat earthers are real i think okay i think that there's like a small number of them that are real but <laughs> a lot of them are being inflated by like people that are like you shouldn't trust uh you shouldn't intuitively trust what you just what you're told in school you should like try to prove the facts for yourself that kind of thought process fair enough and then what happens is like the FBI is like, okay, we need to, we need to uh, discredit 
<laughs> we need to discredit little St. James and Jeffrey Epstein. So let's uh, let's push this idea that like conspiracy theories are inherently false. So let's get Google to like press the algorithmic scales on flat Earth so that it seems like a bigger deal than it actually is. That is like believed in by more people. And then, uh, oh, this is the brute that disappeared last time. You see, like even that, I have a hard time believing because it, like. In order to do that, there would need to be, like, some coordination between, like, different agencies and stuff. And I just don't think our government's but even, like, are, that With confident. the Twitter files, they showed that, like, they were they were stepping on the scales of, like, yeah, fake the PSYOP shit on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, And that wasn't, that wasn't just our government. That was, like, every government's intelligence agency I don't know. was I, participating in I look that at, kind of stuff. See, because I, I look at Google differently. Yeah, like I, I feel like Twitter is smaller. It's easier to control and manipulate and stuff. Google's fucking. That's a monolith. Well, who's to say Google, Google doesn't, Google agree, doesn't with understand. That, agree with that? You know, I would assume Google would turn around and be like, "Listen, we don't even fucking understand our algorithm. You're expecting yeah. us to <laughs> just look at like their issues with Bard AI and stuff." But the the AI thing has been really illuminating for uh for Google because it's just like it's exposed a lot of like blind spots within that company it's like what i say about youtube like youtube does not understand how their algorithm works nobody there yeah. does it does its own fucking thing i think they can definitely tip the scales on stuff though they do mm -hmm. that with like women creators and stuff like they've been i think they've admitted to doing that they'll have like certain I... creators they want to push because they're minorities and like they're trying to yeah be more diverse does, as a platform does it work like that or do they just have like a because like twitch has that but it's like a separate promoted uh it's page called, thing it, it, in the past it was called p score and they could like they could change your p score rating and you would get more algorithm hits oh okay so they can definitely weigh they your position a, in the algorithm they, they have uh they have a social credit system yeah no they do absolutely you want my carving uh, it's, I don't even care about what weapons I have. I'm li I'm literally just like autopiloting. I've been autopiloting. Facebook got caught lot. manipulating people's feeds to do psychological experiments. Their reaction to that was to add it to the EU EULA that they get to do with that. <laughs> no, like I totally I totally buy it. I think a lot of social media is just psyops and advanced propaganda. So. And like I said, like a lot of, I think these conspiracy theories are overstated. Advanced, listen, they're not psyops. It's not propaganda. It's just advanced marketing tactics. Oh, this is the same thing. <laughs> Another fucking engineer encounter. We gotta stop coming to this intersection. We gotta stop meeting like this. Yeah. I'm gonna light these fuckers on fire. Go ahead. Yeah, that's... Use your use your engineer shields. Oh, never mind. Uh. <laughs> I know someone who works at YouTube, and they say the site is so poorly optimized and complicated at this point that it takes months to update anything. I believe that. I believe that. But yeah. they they still have a way of controlling uh, algorithm placement. <laughs> Imagine if it's like that feature, like that Peace Core feature, whatever the fuck it's called, has been broken for like months or years, and they just don't know. <laughs> that I could believe too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like one of those one of those like random nightly build uh, features that they added that they never bothered like actually uh, supporting long term. So it's just like the code for it just broke after a while. Listen, we really got to get those shorts. That TikTok man. Well, you know the guy that made the shorts algorithm murdered his wife. Oh god, I, I remember hearing something about that. Yeah, he like beat his wife to death. Was that as a result of being plugged into the TikTok? <laughs> I could buy I could buy it. The shorts algorithm makes no sense, so. Wasn't it great when they spent billions of dollars on mini mark? Zuck's Mike metaverse that nobody <laughs> liked and nobody had any use for. Well, see, that's just classic investor scams right there. You know, it's not Meta's not stupid for doing that. 
it's the people who thought that it was going to be that a good idea work. that got yeah. fleeced. Yeah. I mean, Meta Meta's doing better than ever right now. They bounced back super hard because what happened was they drove down their fucking price. That's a great write-off right there. They get to write down so much fucking shit on their taxes as a result. Uh, they get to plead poverty, do some layoffs, cost reductions and stuff. One of the best things you can do with like a company that big is just to have a really shitty year. Yeah. And especially when you can tie it going to on, something so visible like going that. Going on uh, 30 shitty years. <laughs> it's all intentional, guys. So like you, you you create like a you create like a boogeyman basically for the comp for the investors. Like this is a thing that people really fucking hate. So mm -hmm. when we stop doing that, people yeah. come flooding back. You got to get used to the to the reality that a lot of the stupid shit you see is just a consequence of people ripping off people that are too dumb to have lots of money. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I always like when people get upset at venture capitalists on Twitter. Dude, venture capitalists are like a victim group. <laughs> There's no protection for those people. Yeah. They're dumb, and like, there's been various meta over the, uh, metas over the years, and it's like literally nothing new. Like, in the in the '90s, you could just say that you were oh, a dot com yeah. business, and like, yeah. bam, people were writing you checks. Didn't matter what's what your, hilarious. how dumb your business was. What's hilarious is like the metaverse was literally one of those uh, investor scams from the '90s. Like, yeah. so many, so many of those things popped up. You know what I love the most is fucking Microsoft making. Did uh, do you remember uh, the like like the me's the me knockoff that they had the avatar? Yes. Do you know those came back? They really. It's yes, yes. It's part of Microsoft Teams now. You can have virtual meetings with those stupid with things. <laughs> Avatars. Amazing. I just want to know, like. How? Who? Well, Who? They had, they what had the company assets. will ever will ever use that feature? I guess, like, if you're hosting something for like a bunch of children, like some sort of event for a bunch of kids, or like, I don't know, like some sort of like mental health thing, or, like <laughs> a special education program or something like that. But like, I do not see like. Uh, Exxon Mobil getting on their investor calls and everybody's using a fucking Xbox 360 avatar. Well, see, the the, the COVID relief free money limited uh, incident, that's a whole different kind of scam. We're just talking like investor scams, right? This is separating like. Are you talking, are you talking about the, the PPP? Yeah, PPP scams. <laughs> where so much of it happened that the federal government predicted that it would take like decades to investigate everything that happened in just like a year yeah whoops whoopsie that's why they that's like legitimately that's the actual reason why they hired so many new irs agents yeah uh oh it oh. hitched up you it's got struggling that too. yeah we've been playing for too long i legitimately like want to know how long this mission Fallout 36 going is gonna is gonna kick us off yeah well, I'm surprised it's still spawning encounters. We're still finding, like, power weapons, so. Listen, 2007, 2008 Bungie is built good. different. They could not be stopped. God, I gotta piss so bad. Can you use the ODST skin for the 360 avatars? There was, I had that back in the day. There was a yeah. 360 helmet and uh, chest piece that you could get for those mm. stupid little Xbox avatars. Yeah, yeah, the yeah the ODST stuff. That you got it from playing this game. Uh, you, there were certain achievements you would get that would give it to you. Oh, so micro like that whole system was just ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. Microsoft knows like now is the time to get We're into bringing that. it back. After the metaverse flopped, I just don't. It's got, it was probably just one of those like pet projects. God, I've been beeping forever. I don't want to <laughs> kill myself. I'm going to kill myself.
spear. The fire like went away immediately. Oh, what the fuck? Did you pick up my fire grenades? No, they they cooked off. Really? Yeah, that that's the biggest RIP is losing your fire grenades. Thankfully, they respawn. <laughs> so we find them again eventually. We just did a big loop. Do you realize that? Dude, no, I didn't. haven't no, I haven't didn't. been paying attention. Don't even remote don't even ask me where we are right now. I don't even know what weapons I'm holding. <laughs> this is fun, but yeah. <laughs> My brain is so turned off to like what's going on in the game right now. Mm hmm If I jump from high enough and land on one of these uh fuel things, will it explode? Coomer is telling me to piss myself. I I am Fuck, I forgot my bucket. You know, I, I had my bucket during... No, the diaper. Well, no, no, no. I, I, the Starfield I, I, I presentation, I... they told you that you you would need to wear your diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I brought a bucket, too. I literally brought a bucket during that stream. <laughs> <laughs> I had it next to me. Well, you, you know, maybe they were right. Maybe they... Maybe they had uh, uncovered some new tech that like could remotely make uh, people piss themselves. I finished my sprite. I can piss into the bottle. Mm. I don't know if it's enough though. Is it, it is it powerful enough? It's if, only if you go to the restaurant. Do I have do I have sixteen do I have more than sixteen milliliters of piss in me right now? If 16. you go to the 9. restroom, I will make this chat political while you're going. <laughs> is that a threat? I think. <laughs> is that supposed to get me to go take a piss, or is it supposed to prevent me from taking a piss? No, I don't care what you do. <laughs> what time is it? 7 o'clock? Should we're, we wrap up? We should do 45 more minutes. 45 more minutes? Why? Like for the what? Even 8. Even 8 hours? Mm-hmm. All right, if we're going to go for another 45 minutes, I yeah, do go, have to Yeah, go for it. Go for it. So I'll be hey, back. chat. Let's talk about Joe Biden. <laughs> PlayStation 3 also had a PlayStation Home with a playable avatar you could customize. Yeah, I think everybody everybody was circling the drain on uh, those ideas. Joe Biden, wake up. Well, the telling thing with Joe Biden is that they can't find a younger guy. And this was a problem they had in 2000 as well. Like, the Democrat primary basically boiled down to them dusting that guy off and bringing him out of retirement because the Democratic field then was so colossally stupid that yeah we'll just get the 80 year old man to do it because that's better and the problem is like all the problems we had back then are just you know add four more years wake up mr freeman wake up and smell the ashes trump is 77 no i agree they're both old as fuck How did the DNC deem him as the most electable candidate? Uh, because that's how bad, dude, that's how bad the 2020 field was for the DNC. I mean, like, when uh, this happens every time. When they start talking about, like, bringing out Michelle Obama and, like, maybe Oprah, that's when you know that, like, they're desperate. You've lost your connection to Xbox Live. Did we lose private sessions? That's the important question. Who's your favorite U.S. president? Man, that's such a complicated question. You gotta, like, divide it up into era, right? Like, you got the rowdy first... What was it? 40 years? And then you got, like, 1810 to the Civil War. And then you got the Civil War era, and then you've got, like, uh, cowboy country to the First World War. And then, like, from then on, history just gets so convoluted. Washington's always a safe pick. Uh, what about um, John Adams? I feel like he doesn't get enough credit. And ironically, Richard Nixon? Eh, could be. Lincoln, Washington, Adams. 
Washington only because he didn't want it. Well, that's part of the mythology. I was actually talking to my dad about this the other day, how, like, the educational system really needs to, like, just get over themselves and commit to the whole building the American mythology because, yeah, 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 we're building a, a theocracy and all that. You guys are lame if you're worrying about that. People have to have, like, a ingrained national pride and system, like, pseudo-theocracy in order for, like, there to be enough pride and function in the historical educational system which of course bringing it back to that whole the purpose of the system is the outcome or whatever like historical education is broken because they want a mass of people that are fundamentally uneducated i talk about this a lot with him how like systemically we need three sections of american history to cover the full breadth of our country but we're stuck with like 1930s ideology when it comes to teaching history which doesn't count for anything that happened after 1930, and it makes sense to divide history into two sections back then. What's that? We're talking about oh, yeah. we're talking about best American presidents. Uh, best mm -hmm. or favorite? What was the so question? Was it favorite or best? My favorites, uh, Grant. Yeah, I was gonna say my favorite would be like I don't know William Taft. <laughs> Uh, I said best was like John Adams or something. Yeah, yeah, that would probably be a, a good one. Or or Jefferson. I mean, Je Jefferson did the uh, you know expanded America a bunch. Yeah, and uh, he kind of shaped modern American politics, for better or for worse. I say for better because it was a bit of wild uh, before then. Yeah, I, I just like Grant because I like him as a person. And, um, I give I give a lot of credit to somebody who managed like, to take uh, power. Or like William Polk. Take power after, uh, after the Civil War and kept the country from falling back into Civil War. Yeah, but Reconstruction could have been done better. Uh, yeah. That's the problem with everybody that was in that era. Holy shit. Did you teleport to me? I think... No, I think I died and, like, instant teleported to oh, you. Oh, one of those? Yeah. Johnson ruined reconstruction. Yeah, I believe that's the that's the common thing that's taught. Yeah. Uh, the truth is, is that it was like it was a group effort. There's a lot of people who were against it. Yeah, we learned about we learned a bit about English history in American history class, particularly about like the Magna Carta and stuff. It doesn't go a bit too crazy, and uh, the paradigms shifted over the course of my life. To focus more on like Amerindian <clears throat> history. Like I've actually I've taken American history like three times over the course of my life, and uh each time was like it's, radically it's, different. Yeah, yeah. In terms of like what the what the uh paradigm of it was, but like they're too cheap to I was saying that we need like three units instead of two because we desperately need to teach kids about American history post nineteen forty. <laughs> Because, like, a lot shit. of modern 19, conflict is informed by that stuff. You didn't even get that far? 1940, shit. Uh, maybe for, like, a couple of, like, one year in high school, we got up to, like... Well, like, 1945 like, is the end of the Second World War. And that's typically where, like, a lot of American history education stops. Stops, yeah. Like we, you know, we did a victory lap uh, a, a week of the Cold War. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <clears throat> yeah, I really enjoy learning about like near modern history. Mm hmm. What is your favorite period for like his history? Yeah. Uh, probably like the Enlightenment. Mm, that's a good one. I liked, when, I, like, I liked when the Europeans yeah. discovered caffeine. That, that was a funny yeah. funny meme. <laughs> There's like a bunch of people that were routinely caffeine drunk and chocolate. all the time. Yeah, a bunch of people who were routinely drunk all the time were suddenly like doing uppers. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like where the temperance movement was based in. was like, don't drink alcohol, drink caffeine instead. Yeah. Be productive. Um, Temperance was a mistake. <laughs> Talk about an embarrassing movement. 
it's it's sad too because there's so many examples throughout history of just like you just look at fucking ancient rome with like what augustus tried doing like you cannot you can't legislate like what people are gonna do like recreationally and shit it just doesn't work well especially since temperance served as the foundation of like the drug war yeah <laughs> man talk about a you've you you never watched the wire right yeah i've I seen like this comes i've up seen enough scenes at this time. point on like youtube every time. every time every time we talk i feel like i ask that question yeah, yeah see if i've seen the wire because <laughs> it, it just blows my mind that you watch generation kill several times but never watch the wire i love generation kill but i also love like iraqi history so mm. iraqi history or the like, iraq war modern iraqi history like uh Post 1950. Okay. This song slaps. Oh, yeah. No, I love learning about, like, the Republican Guard and uh, the Ba'athist Party. And, like, the divide between the, the Shias and the Sunnis and what led to Kuwait and Iraq. Mm -hmm. It's just it's an interesting, like, time period. I'd love to visit Iraq sometime. But, uh, problem, I'm an American. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to answer my own question of what my favorite time period is. Mm -hmm. Because, like, recently I discovered the glory that is the American Civil War. I know it's a fucking meme, mm -hmm. but holy shit, dude. It is a historical feast. Like, any aspect, like, military history, of course, like, that's what everybody thinks of, but, like, Political mm -hmm. history, legal history, social history, business history. Like, oh shit, it, it has everything. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it, it's so well documented. And, and yeah. So much out there. And you can go, like, as an American, you can just, like, I can get in my car and just drive to Pennsylvania and visit, like, the battlefields and, like, all that shit. It's still there. Like, I want to go and visit a grant's uh mausoleum in new york city we should have gone to the stonewall museum when we were in west virginia he has a museum there uh yeah we we talked about it we saw the sign for it oh yeah yeah but it's just yeah i know i know it's a meme but the civ american civil war is like really f just fascinating from so many different angles uh if I was to broaden, if I was to ban like anything American, talk world history, shit, I, the Enlightenment, Renaissance era. Mm -hmm. I, I like I liked the yeah, um, fall of Constantinople. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff. I I like the uh, the discovery of the New World. I hate that that's... part, but that's because of the, I hate the way it's been taught. Yeah, oh no 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 like yeah it's it's taught like absolute shit in schools but like, like it's actually reading the primary really... sources of like the accounts of what it was like that's where you get yeah. the good stuff is fast and you had so many like really like interesting wars that occurred as a result and everything mm -hmm. east east india company it like early colonialism is just so much so like Mid to late game EU4, we'll say. <laughs> My favorite time period. And I just have a soft spot for Rome as well. I, I feel like any fucking history, whatever. What era of history do you think isn't represented? Uh, I mean, Anything like with the Middle East. Yeah, I, I would honestly. say like Eastern European. Eastern European, yeah, that's another good one. I, I'd say, like, yeah, like, a lot of Middle Eastern stuff. And it has to do with sources. Uh, mm -hmm. Just bad record-keeping for a lot of that stuff. Well, and record-destroying by like, yeah, modern kind of theocracies. Yep. It is fascinating to learn about, like, the Islam's golden age. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, how was, well was a... they were doing.
for a time. There was a lot there. That there was a time where it's like they were like Western society, Western civilization basically fell into the dark age since like, but you know the the East East prevailed. A lot of stuff they rescued from like Rome and everything like down. that. I don't even know enough. It, it you know, fuck. It's got to be African history because yeah, I know so little about it that I cannot even say if it's like it's almost yeah, it's almost a meme. Yeah, me. it's like it, like if it just even like obviously it has to exist, but yeah, there were like kingdoms and stuff that were documented and had yeah. record keeping. Yeah, for, I'm, I'm changing my answer. It's it's got to be definitely like, in terms of like an educational paradigm. I mean, I, I I imagine it's getting more coverage now, just because like you it's know, being studied more we're now. Living, yeah. We're living in a post twenty sixteen era. Well, not just a post twenty sixteen era era, but I would say like a lot of academic uh, advancements in Africa as well. Mm -hmm. we're, like, well, I mean, it's also like technological. Um, you know, we have more technology that can like penetrate the jungles and the deserts that are over there it's, it is a difficult terrain to like do academic work over there and then the geopolitical issues over there too mm -hmm. so there's a there's a whole host of different things well actually they just they just turned up like a huge thing in um might have been Ecuador. I think it's actually Ecuador. They found like uh it's an under underwater uh like ruins. Uh I don't even know if it was underwater. I think it was in the jungles and shit. They were using like uh LIDAR to like mm -hmm. penetrate the ground and stuff, and they found just like a massive fucking city with like intricate road networks and stuff, and nobody thought a city like that existed that like a city that old existed. And uh, especially down in that area, it was just like, you know, everybody well, knows it, about like the Aztecs and shit like that. And it's just like, I think the society might have predated them. It definitely uh, challenged modern understanding of like uh, mm -hmm. our architectural capabilities. Sure. Yeah. I definitely yeah, think yeah. that humanity is much older than like. Than we. What, what I was taught when I was in sure. school. Uh, yeah, I agree. I was taught like the upper breadth of. When I was in school, I, the upper breadth of like human existence was like fifty thousand years, and I think that's like we were probably we were probably here way longer than that. Obviously, we were we were you know tribal for a lot of our existence, but pre collapse Amazon cities. I, yeah, that's kind of what we're talking about. Is uh, <clears throat> yeah, what you're talking about. You're mixing things up. There was a thing that was like off the coast of Ecuador and then in the Amazon, like in Brazil, around the river, they've been like doing LIDAR studies to uh, find all these, these huge like mm -hmm. megalithic cities. Yeah. Oh, holy shit, a ghost. <laughs> it's finally showed rare, up. Rare ghost spawn. Random event. Shit, now where's the mongoose? Just, just when we think that like we've spawned all of the fucking events <laughs> i knew that there was a ghost on here and i was wondering like maybe mm. we hadn't um spawned like maybe we hadn't done the necessary missions like you have to do like enough missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah what is this track uh, this is in the yeah this is in the soundtrack i've listened to odst soundtrack quite a bit <laughs> It's a really good, like, uh, if you're having, like, anxiety issues, really good tra soundtrack for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, when we were playing Halo 4 and it was just, like, repeating the same chords over and over again. Yeah. And I'll compare that to this where it's, like, we've been playing for how many hours and we're still hearing, like, new music. Mm -hmm. No, this game's soundtrack is a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. I I would argue it's the best Halo soundtrack. Did Private Sessions just say Underwater? Is he from New Jersey? Underwater? Uh, I'm from New York. People get mm -hmm. caught up on my pronunciation of milk. Milk? 
Yeah, I say milk. I have an accent, believe it or milk. not. Milk? Like elk. Uh, for, for... It's wrong, yes, but... Well, I've caught on that like, sometimes it's funny you say wrong because sometimes you'll say wrong like wrong. Mm -hmm. Like you add like a K to some like uh, NG words. Mm -hmm. But uh, now for me, it's root. That, that's that's, yeah, one, that's when you said nern root. <laughs> well, and see, that's, that's, like, that a weird, that's like a weird, that's like a weird like reintroduction of declension into English where it's like because of the because mm -hmm. it's in the construction of nern root, it makes sense to me. I would say root otherwise, but. Because it's like being put at the end of another word, it makes more uh, sense to me to do it that way. Interesting. But yeah, I, I, uh, Jesus, I say, I say, milk like elk. Milk. God damn it! Now I'm gonna start saying it like that. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna uh, start. Uh, what the fuck is it? Because I've unironically, like I, I ironically started calling it Nernroot, and then mm -hmm. I started unironically calling it that. Oh yeah, it just, that, like, that's how slipped in. That's how uh, your accents change over time. <laughs> yeah, it's like how all those people, how everybody says like for real now and stuff. Or mm -hmm. uh, damn, I already have there's other beats. there's other words that I straight up refuse to use. Like a bunch of Gen Z words I refuse to use because I just don't want it like seeping into my brain. Mm -hmm. Like I've just I, I learned, learned I've been on this Yolo. earth. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, but you've already spoiled it. Like mm -hmm. you said it. I've been on this earth long enough to know like the best way to not say a word is just to never fucking say it. Yeah. Because All if right, you start on. using it ironically, one day you will use it unironically and then that's it. It's game over. Can I? I don't see why people why care I... about pronunciations. Yeah, there is a uh, way. Because it's the internet. Yeah. <laughs> well, and there is like a, uh, there is like an academic. <laughs> yeah, like an. Uh, way to speak, and that's what my father mm -hmm. speaks. That's how he talks. But I have picked up like accent stuff from the places that I've lived. I didn't study I just... English the way he has. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I learn by ear, so. Just being glad I didn't fucking pick up some of my, uh, some of my dad's bronxisms. <laughs> he has a, he has a weird accent for certain words. Backyard is one of them. Uh, artichoke. Uh, what else do we got? Radiator. Oof. Yeah, radiator. <laughs> That's. I've I've had this discussion with him before. I'm like, you do know it's like it radiate, right? Like, how do you say radiate? And you know, he'll say it correct, and it's like, yeah, okay, now just apply it to to radiator. That's what it does. <laughs> I had a friend. I have a friend rather. Um, in high school, I used to make fun of the way he would say orange. He would say orange. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, but it's an O. He's like, yeah, but orange. And like, we would go back and forth on this for like, it was like, we probably had this discussion like every day for like two weeks straight. And then it was probably like three years ago, I think. I like, we were talking about something. And he said orange. I was like, holy shit, you said orange. He's like, oh yeah, I agree. Like I force of like i changed uh how i said it like a few years ago because i realized you were correct yeah <laughs> like i noticed that i say like a lot uh in our podcast stuff so i oh yes. when i went on to efap i uh consciously went to the Con effort of yep. trying not to not say try it. not to say it yeah just to look less like an airhead yeah yeah, yeah. uh yeah i've noticed that a lot is i noticed when i fucking edit our larps mm -hmm. half half of what i say is like and it's because i don't use us or ums or anything I, I need something there some people stutter which i find like really insufferable I think that, yeah i think that's the worst way to handle that uh, mm -hmm. kind of dilemma i like oh man it's weird too because like that one has 
like some sort of level of social acceptance because I see pundits like on news channels and stuff all the time they do that. Dude, someone was it's almost like to say that Joe Biden has a stutter. Like that's his problem. And this uh, yeah. that's far from far from <laughs> his problem. <laughs> uh average electric but... car. Damn. Yeah, I, f I I just I feel like the stuttering thing oh, it's almost it like somebody here in like a speech class says like don't say uh or ah uh, or um or whatever stutter because you like you just want to keep making noise you don't want to let the the person you're talking to get a word in edgewise so you just uh, uh, uh and i i hear it i just it drives me fucking insane but yeah i like scripting stuff out because it you get to yeah remove a lot of that from the way you speak although i've learned to kind of leave some of that stuff in oh yeah like I use really a lot and just a lot in my scripts. And I'm cognizant of it. I can like control that control F and like count how many times I actually leave it. But I do it because it kind of like dirties up my delivery a bit. I don't want to sound too academic. So I kind of just Damn. leave that shit in. I like uh I like turning and like just shooting them in the head. It's really really <laughs> powerful. All right, five minutes, folks. Is there anything you want us to address? Now's the time. Oh, we got 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I thought you said 7.45. Oh, I said 8 hours. Uh, yeah, I thought you said 7.45 for 8 hours. No, I said... What the fuck? That, who fucked it up? Well, I mean, you can just look. What's, what's, your, what's your OBS say? My OBS says 7 hours 41. Okay. I'm going by that. Uh, I could have sworn you said 7.45. Yeah. Uh, that math wouldn't check out, though, because we started at 12. So it'd be 12 to 8. I'm going to know. Yeah, we need 20 more minutes. 7.41. Because I All said right. the even 8. No, I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. And then I went and... said 45 more minutes. Yeah, I think... I Because I, when I looked at it, we were at 7.15. Hmm. I think you just didn't check the time when... Uh, did you guys talk about Dragon's Dogma 2 at all? Oh, no, I am actually looking forward to trying it. Is it? It's not out yet, It's right? not out yet. I think it's in March. I'm looking okay. forward to things in March, believe it or not. Mm. Fun. What else are you looking forward to in March? Uh, the second part of the Dune movie. Oh, yeah. I like. I, I really like the first one. Are, are, we, are we stockpiling beam rifles here? Yeah. Like, this is not <laughs> the first time we've dropped one here. <laughs> I, I have you read the books no i just okay, like the so, first dune one um i did read the first book and i really liked the film i thought it was a very good faithful adaptation mm -hmm. my main critique with the film is that it just kind of ends yeah and it's just like oh all right for taking now as long as it has it's definitely a bit of a downer in the yeah universe. Yeah, yeah like sure if they work. if they left it like that and it was like, yeah, we'll be back in a year. Be like, All right, it's, but it's shit. When did that movie even come out? 2021, that... 2022. Oh, okay. Yeah, not to not get off topic. We're talking about Dragon's Dogma 2, but. I'm looking forward to in March is a full private session Starfield video. Luckily for you, you don't have to wait until March for it to be out. I swear it's like a week away. I mean, it's been a week away for like three weeks now, but been working on it I, I can only i can procrastinate with enshrouded only so much yeah but i am going hiking tomorrow so we'll see have you or we'll private read any token that. i haven't but my plan is to this year before father's uh day. i dabbled in it oh ho the hobbit obviously i've read that i actually didn't read uh the hobbit it's pretty good like uh like school read mm -hmm. like obviously it's a young kid so so the hobbit you... was like my go-to uh in english class i would just read it because we were uh not english class advisory we were expected to read the entire read. time yeah yeah I, I had the same thing actually we, yeah yeah we even called it advisory mm -hmm. damn i haven't heard that term in forever what a fucking dumb idea <laughs> right yeah, nothing, nothing's going to make kids resent reading more than 
forcing them to. Yeah. Advisory. Yeah. Advisory got way better when it was became like a, a place that I could do math homework. Mm -hmm. uh, but that didn't happen until high school. That like they started letting kids use the advisory period how they wanted. I just did my uh, homework during lunch breaks and stuff. Are you gonna make that Attack on Titan video? Do, does the world need to hear my take on Attack on Titan? I feel like. Did they finish I, I, releasing the yeah. ending six times? Yeah, they finally finished it. They find they finally uh, disappointed the world. <laughs> I feel like um the problem with it is I needed to have had it out before. I mean like Yeah to time it because I feel like all the anime people are like on onto it now why it's a soggy piece of shit. <laughs> I heard there was an epilogue coming though. If it's anything like the manga epilogue, uh, no, I, wait, no, they showed that manga. I mean, they were just, they were just setting up for Attack on Boruto, so. I've never seen this before. My yeah. beam rifle had one, one left. Like literally, it was oh just yeah number one. Did I've shoot? never seen it charge. Yeah, it shot. It's like um, it's like stamina in uh, Skyrim. You but, only need one to pull off a power attack. Dragon's Dogma Two. Did you hear the fast travel thing? No, their, I, I haven't heard anything about their it. games director. Like was like talking about how uh, if games need fast travel, then their world just isn't interesting enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shot. Which, I mean, talk about endearing yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. On the heels of Starfield. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't actually mind Attack on Titan. seemed thematically appropriate. The problem is, in order to earn the ending that uh, Isayama wanted, he had to butcher a lot of characters and make them non-observant to Eren's psyche in ways that were inconsistent with what they had done up to that point in the series. Damn. Can you? I have a question for the audience here. Can you be a weeb but not like anime? You can read manga, or you could be like just no, 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 like not that either. Uh, All right, so like, so really, my into Jap Japan, like urbanism. Yes, yes. Yeah, so my thing is, is like I love the food. Mm -hmm. I love like a lot about their society. I love their 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 city, their urban planning and development and stuff. I really want to go visit Japan. I want to ride their subways and stuff like that. I I just have like a lot of like just weird random None knowledge of this about sounds weebish because you're not Japan. being uber defensive on the internet about it. Okay. Is that that's the line you you have yeah. to be like super defensive that I also like Grimes like a lot. <laughs> I I have opinions on their infrastructure, but personally, I want to see it at least once before I go around the go around espousing the benefits of okay, it. Okay, so I'm seeing yeses in chat that you can be a weeb, a Japanophile. Elon Musk's ex Grimes. Yeah. So, funny thing about that. I was really I was heartbroken when i found out that elon musk and grimes were dating so i was like that's it i have no shot <laughs> no chance ever again and they broke up and it's like all right i'm in i'm, I'm in contention again but we're so bad i draw i draw my line i draw my line at the richest man on earth <laughs> all right i think we're I gonna don't... spend the last 10 minutes we've got two minutes left uh just adding mm-hmm I think, yeah, uh, as someone said in chat, you have to kind of supplant your own culture with Japanese culture, you weeb. Okay. All right. He's quoting uh, Francis of the Phil from that. <laughs> you guys are dead wrong about the library being good. It's the low point. 
fucking wrong. How can you say that when two betrayals and fucking uh, keys exist? I am so fucking glad somebody else agrees with me that two betrayals is not a good level. I like the con. I like I've made it I've... clear before. I like the. Con I love the the three way conflict concept. Yeah, and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had so many fucking arguments about two betrayals. Like, just, I'm like, it's just a fucking bad level, dude. Honestly, I'm not I even, even love that big the, of a fan uh, of attack and control room. I even love the revisiting prior levels idea. Yeah. I, I think of keys and two betrayals, um, two betrayals does it better, but like the maw does it the best. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm also just, I'm not a fan of Halo 1, Halo 1 sandbox when things like really open up. I just feel like there's not enough long range, like the game just doesn't give you enough long range weapons a lot of It doesn't the time. give you the sniper rifle often enough and see. Yeah. So it's just like, what cool, you have to I'm do is get it, get it at the start of two betrayals Magnum. and use the fucking ammo exploit for the entire level to have the sniper the entire time. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, I'm not a big fan of vehicles in Halo 1. Well, okay, I, I disagree on the every level's a bad level on Legendary. I've gone through Lasso up to the library, and I have to say that, like, man... Like Halo 1? Yeah. Truth and Reconciliation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be one of the roughest fucking levels I've ever played on Lasso. The Scorpion turret aiming in CE is so bad. It's bad, and yet I'm used to it. Yeah, it's like you gotta you gotta develop a feel for it. All right, we are out of here. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had my back there. Yeah. Dream video <laughs> for me to make. That's complicated because um I feel like that was the Skyrim video for a long time. Hmm. Uh, I've said it many times, but I'll say it again. It's RuneScape. Yeah. For me. You're I don't know how I would do that. That's a big part that's of my. That's a big part it. of my problem. Is in my post Skyrim world, there was like a conflict of like, what do I do now? Yeah. I'm willing to go on the record and say. When I finish my RuneScape video, see, because it will be, it'll probably be a series. Um, when I finish that, mm -hmm. there's a good chance private sessions will be retiring shortly thereafter. <laughs> Become an urbanism or travel log channel. Uh, I, I've been considering a uh, business history. That's that's been the yeah. idea I've had in my back pocket for a while now. Either I that or something that has to do with like camping and hiking and stuff mm -hmm. one of those any games you play that scratch the morrowind ditch i would say a lot of like survival games honestly <clears throat> oh yeah like valheim. enshrouded enshrouded valheim yeah because survival games are very much on the uh like prepare for the journey you know take this seriously obviously it's not storytelling it's a different different beast but and that's kind I, of why I I like... I'm more of a mechanical guy than a storytelling guy, and yeah, absolutely. I've kind of given up on stories and games, honestly. Uh, but yeah, uh, I kind of, I think the reason I like Valheim more than Enshrouded is just the procedural fucking world, and mm. like, you can do a lot in Enshrouded, just staying at home uh valheim is like eventually it's like all right you really got to go and kill one of those bosses yeah and uh yeah i, I kind of appreciate that and you know, and death is like so much more hardcore in valheim so it's like a lot scarier i wouldn't say new vegas is my dream project believe it or not new vegas i think about ways i could things i would talk about and things i would do with that video from time to time but like not nearly to the extent that I was thinking about Skyrim while making the Oblivion video. A monitor. Chat, you're on my main monitor now. Congratulations.
You have my full undivided attention. Do you ever want to do a Destiny 2 video? I've got some stories as a longtime addict. We were talking about it. Oh, like, is I are do you the, the one who I do the interviews, you do the I do the interviews, you do the uh like history lesson. Okay, maybe. Would you maybe ask me? Nah, I'm asking if uh, this is the dude who DMs me. I don't think so. Unless he's using a different name on Do you think there's any good New Vegas video? I'm not up to date on the lore of New Vegas videos. <clears throat> Is a Mass Effect video in the cards? The problem is, for me to consider it a good New Vegas video, it has to do what I want to do, which is Fallout 3 versus Fallout New Vegas. Okay, so you're, you're somebody else. It's it's hilarious how, like, we threw that idea out about, like, the Destiny thing, and so mm -hmm. many people have reached out being like, I want to do I, it. Yeah, I think they, they want to be heard. I want to, like, my I... idea with it was, like, the CoffeeZilla style talking to, like, scam victims. Kind yeah, of. yeah kind of video i like I, I was literally i had an idea i'm like what we might end up having to do is like create like a spreadsheet of like how much time people have in game and stuff and like if it gets to be like so much we'd have to like prioritize people who have more play time yeah but i don't know the problem and we were just we were discussing this is that um we just don't know when we'd be able to work on this project yeah you're booked for the year i'm not sure what my side project lineup is but i mean i've got so many games vying for my attention and i feel like more and more are like tugging at my heartstrings like please talk about me uh while i do the warcraft thing i'm trying to stay on the warcraft <laughs> thing for as long as i can keep the momentum up on it before i uh do a side project bungie released a complex community puzzle which the reward for was releasing a weapon a week earlier than it was going to be <laughs> Those things always how, feel fake. How how does a how does a company like this exist? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like it was like fucking Bethesda, where it's just how do you continuously just give people ammunition to make fun of you with? Just cluelessness, like a genuine disconnect from the audience. Yeah, that's that's really what it comes down to. We do not. I mean, Beth Bethesda is amazing because it's like, yeah, we don't know why Skyrim was successful. We don't know why people liked exploring in Skyrim. It's just like fascinating. Well, yeah, I was thinking about last night, like Bethesda's devs don't know why Skyrim was successful. <laughs> <laughs> and like Starfield really shows it. Like, their, uh, well, yeah. their pattern since Skyrim really shows it. I think they've been like, Flying around in the dark trying to figure out what was it? What do people want? Yeah, what's because the Because they can't they can't control right place, right time, you know. They need something mm -hmm. that's controllable to replicate it. And uh I don't think they can. Well the problem is uh you need like, you know you need to be capable of like introspection and you need a lot of like creative people and you need some good leadership. And these are all things Bethesda is clearly lax now yeah um so yeah and i do not i cannot imagine microsoft will make any of those things better because uh they've demonstrated they are very good at fucking up that within companies that they acquire so but yeah we're about to uh head out uh so quick shill shilling session Working on a classic WoW video, still working on it. Um, that's the big project that's going to be released this year. I think we're at the twentieth anniversary. Is this two thousand? Yeah, it came out in two thousand four, right? So today yeah. would be, or this year would be November twenty third. So maybe I'll shoot for like a November twenty third release date. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's going to be the big thing I'm working on this year. Uh, what are you working on? Uh, I've got my Starfield video. Like it it's it's so close to being done see the thing is is like i've been joking about like enshrouded delayed the video and stuff but the other thing too is um i just i've lost so much interest in doing this project but that has only like made me want to do a better job on it i don't want it to come across as like i'm phoning it in though so this is one of like the this is probably the most dense like edited video i've ever done 
Like there's so many different, if you're not actively watching the video, at least part two, you're doing yourself a disservice because there's a lot of jokes that are just visual. Yeah, I can't wait um, to see the preview for it. Yeah, it it's going to be done soon, I promise. Uh, and then Skyrim. I got to start spooling that up again. Skyrim yeah. Part 3. Possibly Part 4 this year. We talked about that. Possibly Halo yeah. 2. So. I don't know about Halo 2. I, uh, I kind of... 10 seconds until we die. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, it might, thank you, might be thank Bioshock. You for, thank you for coming out, guys. Go watch EFAP number 270.